we're back. Welcome back, guys. You know, sorry, you know, we had a little bit of a technical difficulties, but, you know, as a miss, you know, we, we got it back, you know. We got it back. We're good. We're good. But during that, the bots did manage to take UFC with Billy getting a submission victory over Jekyll. Going, actually, he did it with a reverse arm bar. I've never seen that in UFC as I was watching. You know, he tapped him out. Huh? Anyways, the voice in my head is talking. But um, And so from that, we did see them get to the third round of the fight. Got actually near midway point. I think there was about a minute 40 left in the fight when Bubbles tapped out. We saw Billy, you know, a couple times actually. Bubbles was able to get him into a takedown, one of the slams that Billy was doing. Bubbles did it multiple times against him, kind of giving him his own game back at him. Mm -hmm. And it was unfortunate that he got tapped out. But up next is going to be Dead by Daylight, which which is going to be a Cobra setup. So we're going to be able to see if they want to run as killers or survivors. I think they're going to go for killer. Um. I would think either between Jekyll or Strix going in for killer, but I think I I think mostly Jekyll will go in as killer. I don't remember the killer he played last time, but I think the Cobras are definitely gonna go killer's way. And so then because of that, we would be seeing La Bamba, Paku, Flyboy, and Billy going in because Saturn is not Saturn is not here, and because of that, that's a spot missing. Yeah, so I mean still either way it's gonna work out. It's a four V one. Um, so that's good, but when these five v five start rolling, you would need. I would, hopefully you would need Saturn there to yeah. you know mitigate that. But hey, we just gotta see. We're gonna get into some dead by daylight as we get these. Uh, oh, we're gonna as, be seeing Jekyll as yep, the killer here. Jekyll as the killer. We're gonna be seeing Flyboy, Paku, and Billy sent so, in with La Bamba. Next wheel spin, and next wheel spin is gonna be King of Fighters. You know, third out there is doing backflips. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But yeah, we got Jekyll as a sur- uh, not survivor, as the killer. We'll see what killer he's going to be. And, you know, we have Paku as himself, Flyboy is PC3, Billy is himself, and Labamba is PC6. We're going to see what map they're on. They're on Raccoon City. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's a. Uh, ooh. Um, what's, what's her name? I forgot this killer's name. But. Um, I believe the killer's name might be AC. Something or no, that's not singularity, but one of the I wasn't when when this killer came out, um, people was saying that you know she was not that good, um, but I don't know maybe Jekyll does got a plan going with a drone coming out. Um, let me see, I already sees one survivor going, two of them. Okay, okay, so we will be getting a guest commentator in here soon to get. You in this, you know, to inform us about this Dead by Daylight action going on. And we are seeing Jekyll actually get a hit off one of them so far. So if they get hit again, they are got a hit on Paku and actually downs Paku right there. Oh, that's nice. So from what I'm seeing, uh, one of the perks that uh, Jekyll has is uh, I don't think that's chilling thermos. I don't know for sure. But uh, so this killer is the artist. She's got okay these little. Mm-hmm like cameras that people can walk into and it will notify her of where their location is at. That's uh, why you're seeing these like drones. The drones out. that he throws up, right? Okay. I see the artist. I remember I forgot uh, her name, but she did seem familiar. She has drones that she could throw up um, basically to like notify where like the survivors are at. And then, ooh, Jekyll got a hit and it seems like on La Bamba. Okay, that, okay. Oh, gets another hit and downs La Bamba actually. And they're actually getting a target found, so I'm guessing that one of the drones actually uh got a, get a notification of where one of the survivors is, get the hook. And Maybe we're gonna one s- of the more killers that is like a difficult killer to learn. Not a lot of people are able to pick up the ability to learn this type of killer. Okay. That makes sense. This this killer does seem like a more difficult killer than the rest. Um Really, because when I played Dead, Dead by Daylight, I would never see this killer. You know. Oh, actually, oh, picks him off the, <laughs> picks him off the gen. Oh no, that's gonna be a free hook. Yeah. So we're just gonna focus on that gen. Yeah. I, man, was not looking around, man. We're gonna see La Bamba and Paku actually both taking off the hooks from their earlier sist- uh, the earlier times that they were on. Both need to get healed, and we still see Billy as the one to not be hooked and or hit. 
in this entire match so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as you see, I guess that's okay. I see. So the drone is doing like a little sensor thing where it like sensors around, trying to see who walks in that you know area right there. Yeah, I think of them as like a motion detector. Okay. Okay, so now we sense. see La Bamba actually getting healed. So possibly Paku is next. So maybe they found each other and decided to get the heal down. And I believe they have, as Jekyll's drone has found one or two of them. I think. If you look on the left hand side, you see a circle around some of the players. It's like a yellow, brownish circle. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the detection that they've walked into it. Okay, yeah. I was wondering that because I was seeing it because I know it was like, I was thinking that might have been like the, the detection of the sensor as Jekyll puts up another drone. And as he's using the radar to try to see where, you know, where the survivors are at. Really good gameplay going on from Jekyll. Um, really, you know, because this wasn't, I'm pretty sure this wasn't, as he gets it down on La Bamba, this wasn't the killer he used last time when he played. But showing that Jekyll, you know, he's branches out with the killers he knows that by daylight in and out. And here you know, we as, see as he gets out of the hook. La Bamba getting hooked for a second now. So this is going to be kind of a priority for them to get to. They still have not gotten a single generator during this round, which is now we see Flyboy going down again. So <laughs> two of them now, two of the four that are actually playing right now are on their second hooks and both in the same area. Yeah, two hooks and it seems that uh that Jekyll knows where both of them at from what I've seen. That one of them's like in the little sensor thing as he is looking on the radar. But yeah, if oh one of them actually PC three was actually out of there and La Bamba if he doesn't get saved soon you know he's gonna be out of there too so it's just gonna be up to Paco and Billy and if that's the case uh, Flyboy that has been taken out. okay so Flyboy is out of here La Bamba does get off the hook so there's still a chance um I would guessing they're probably going for a heal Jekyll going back to a monitor around sets up a drone Jekyll is placing these sensors in like perfect spots Jackal yeah. definitely knows what he's doing with this killer, showing that he knows how to play it. And because of that, we're seeing Paku down. He's going to be going for a second hook, I believe. La Bamba is basically one tap if he gets hit again and will be uh, out of the game. Flyboy has yes, been taken that's, out. That's and, and Billy the Goat is the only person in this match to not be found, hit, or even hooked. And one thing to note is that there, there's still five gens. There is still not a single gen has been done yet. So we could see a vent, or we could see a vault play come into this game, but it depends on the strat. We do see the first gen getting completed by depending Billy, I believe. Strat, and then also depending if they know what the hatch sounds like to mm -hmm. find it. Yeah, because again, it's 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 not hard, but it's not easy to find a hatch. You know, because <laughs> because especially, you, especially if you don't know the sound that it gives off, you're, you're gonna walk right past the word. Yeah, like there's been many times when I played Dead by Daylight, and I've always walk past the hatch and it's just funny Jekyll hitting the wall I don't know what he's doing but definitely Jekyll knows his thing as he sees a survivor that looks like Billy right there he's finally found Billy now and uh it actually has happened before this season where a player was the last person alive for their team and they were able to get the vault and win the game and that was Amethyst who was on the Wolves who is now actually on the Cobras she is here tonight in the UEL so in this little run back here, we do see Billy going down, oh, taking Billy one tap. Oh, Billy actually going down. Oh, now going for the Mori. Oh, then that's going to take Billy right out of there. And we're going to see Billy get Moried. And I can't. Oh, there we go. Yep. And he is dead. I'm looking at the wall. Wow. What a Mori. All right. So we see two of the four taken out. Paku and Labamba both are, if they get down, they are out. So this is this is life or death for them. Yeah, they both got of them it. are healed up. Flyboy and Billy taken out. Billy is the only one in this game to get morried so far. Wasn't even hooked. He just got straight morried. Yeah, and there's still like four gens left. Regardless, this game is gonna go to points, and I don't know if unless they get the hatch. I don't. I don't yeah, I don't, I don't believe they be have enough. enough. Yeah, I have that uh, one survivor left. Yeah. So one of them would have to end up being a sacrifice. For them to get that hatch. And if they if they do plan to go for that, but from what I've seen, yeah, trying Here to we see just keep Paku getting over. taken out, being the last. So Jekyll's now going for La Bamba. He sees La Bamba. And yep, he yeah, got that's, La Bamba. That's a game. The Cobras are gonna take DBD. Going for the Here Mori we see kill. the Mori on 
uh, La Bamba. Yeah. Paku Paku is left up, but I'm looking with at that, we are looking at a one-to-one -one game. Cobra's taking Dead by Daylight thanks to Jekyll as the killer. Yeah, the art is showing out. Um, yeah, I mean, Jekyll showing out with the artist. This just in. We have been given the information that she's got a dragon radar. A dragon radar. Wow. And here we're hearing outside. Let's go Jekyll. So the Cobras are taking this game. Big game to take first half. It's going to be one to one right now. And they now have two minutes for the bots to set up. Yep. Now going into King of Fighters. Um, that Dead by Daylight game, it shows that Jekyll, he really knows his stuff in Dead by Daylight. Running the artist, a killer I've barely seen. I think you that's said, my first time I've seen that this killer. this is the first time we've seen him this season run it? So it wasn't even the same killer he ran last time? No, definitely was not so the Jekyll same So Jekyll playing as a little wild card here, showing that he doesn't actually, so no one knows his strat. Yeah, you know, definitely knowledge checking. Uh, oh, look, we have a photo from Flyboy now. But definitely knowledge checking, you know, the bots for, you know, if they know how to play against this killer knowing the strats against it clearly jekyll knows that okay they probably don't know this and oh my i mean no this is good this is going to be a good kof game and so here we're going to be able to see la and tk both go in for this and hogeki too and strix go in raging he can go in so for they, this as they well. will with this game whatever goes through the cobras will still have two left that need to be played so two is an anchor or as flyboy if i could be mistaken flyboy might be anchored here um no, you're going to see, I think you're going to see all three of them because unless Saturn is not here yet, you're going to see on the bot side, La Bamba, Paku, and Flyboy. And we finally, I think this is going to be the first time this season we Paku finally get to see fun. Paku finally play uh, King of Fighters. You know, Paku, as you know, he talks about King of Fighters a lot. I think King of Fighters is like one of his favorite games. Um, you know, even growing up when he, you know, just King, he just talks about King of Fighters a lot. So I'm expecting to see something out of this. On the other side, I'm expecting to either see LA, TK, and maybe Strix. Maybe. And then so with that, we would possibly see Hogeki and Raging Cage and being left as an anchor. We are going to get this wheel spin yep. up here. And I called it. Yep. LA, TK, and Strix going in for uh, um, for King of Fighters, for the Cobras. Up next is going to actually be Wreckfest. Oh. So that's going to be the Cobra setup. We're going to see a 5v4 in Wreckfest. And then as Billy third, as go, third was is going doing to have flips. to go in. <laughs> so Billy, Billy being the person who was anyway able to go in for this is going in for Wreckfest. We still have not seen Lucky Saturn yet. It's still not here. Mm -hmm. And as we see, and uh, we see Flyboy going in first. Um, again, this is the first time we've seen Flyboy this season. So we're gonna see what what he brings to the table. You know, maybe, you know, he could be a shooter. He could be, he could be an all around. He, he could, could be, be all around. Maybe you know? that's why they brought him in. Maybe mm -hmm. they needed someone versatile, and he's the person that they've seen and decided against this Cobras team, you're going to help. Yeah. And again, yeah. so far, you know, we're just getting some butt button checks, you know, making sure their buttons are correct. Mm -hmm. And Strix, you know, Strix, he's that strategy slash fighter type of player. And, you know, I, I've heard him talk about King of Fighter. I've heard him talking about, you know, playing uh, the character he's playing right now and Hell. Who is a wrestler, you know, who's who what who would people say is one of the more complicated characters in KOF, but Strix is going in saying like, oh, that's not no problem, going for a combo. And like these cancels, oh what a combo from Strix and into the grab. Oh, that's already like 30% right there. And we are yep. gonna be seeing Strix playing as the angel and Flyboy playing as Joe. Up next would be a dinosaur if Joe uh, Flyboy is taken out here. If Strix is taken out, we'd see a Rugal. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then you know we see a Joe dinosaur Yamazaki. We do see Flyboy actually taking some life off before getting taken out. Strix taking out one. There's a possibility Strix could go for a full sweep after taking out Flyboy. With that, we are going to be seeing La Bamba coming in. I'm honestly impressed. Strix has been saying he's been working on the the Angel. That's how you that's how you pronounce no. it. It's Angel. Angel. But you know. Strix has been working on on this character. You know this character is hard to play. I tried to play this character and boy, I could not. My fingers was, they was not, they was not doing it for me. So I was like, nah, I'll play somebody simple like Terry. But obviously, like you said, Strix kid here could go here for the sweep. And let me see who's going in next. 
it's that is La Bamba. Bamba. And, and I believe La Bamba is playing as the dinosaur. dinosaur yep. So we're going to see a dap up of respect, sportsmanship, mm -hmm. only in the UEL. We're all, we all are friends. Yeah, of course, of course, you know. At the end of the day, we're here to learn something. At the end of the day, we're here to compete. But as we're going in, Strix going for another jump in. And this is going to be another big combo. Strix did get to regen, not full health. So and, Strix yeah. is almost at full health coming into this fight. And There's if, a possibility that he could get a perfect knockout here. Yeah, and if that's not going to bode well for uh, Billy, no, Paku, Paku going in. Um, I know Paku is really good at KOF, but, you know, trying to go through three people and Strix probably going to almost Strix, get full health back. You have back. to go through Strix, LA, and TK. Yeah, which is... A terrifying three. So to go in, to go Strix to go is now through. one off from a sweep of the bots. Paku Paku has the chance to actually get a reverse sweep by taking out all three. Paku Paku is going to be on his last life here, mm -hmm. so it is a one v three. Going for that classic Yamazaki look too. I like that. I like that. And here we see Paku Paku actually uh, playing on a fight stick. Yeah, Paku, like I said, KOF is like one of his favorite games. He talks about KOF a lot. So I'm expecting to see something Yamazaki too. Um, Yamazaki, how would I say? You know, he's an unorthodox type of character. He does a lot of brawler-ish type things, you know. He, but he, he likes to grab you, but he does have like command grabs. He can play the rain game. He's scary up close. And, you know, I know Apaku knows what he's doing with Yamazaki. But against Strix, Strix's been showing that he knows what to do with his Angel. And it's just, this is going to be a, this is gonna be a good KOF match. It's going to be a good KOF match. As we see who's going in, um, looking like they're trying to set up something. It looks like Paku's stick is not working from what I'm seeing. Which is, would be a surprise. You know. And, you know, he finally gets to play this game, and his fight stick isn't working. Yeah, the, that would uh, be uh, that would be the type of luck that you get to play the game that you've always wanted, and then the thing that you use for it does not work, it might not connect. Uh, yeah, I remember one time I brought in my hitbox, and like it just wouldn't connect, and I was just like, "No, man, I, I can't, bro. <laughs> I can't." <laughs> and I had to end up playing the controller, and it was just like, it's "Did so you different. at least end up winning, or was it just?" No, I didn't win. Uh, because if you at win. least won, then you could have been like, look, maybe it was just supposed to be. Maybe the controller was like, look, we'll try it with the controller today. You win. Like, come back to me. But the fight stick here, hopefully going to get connected so we can see this final round. Strix mm -hmm. with the ability to sweep. Paku Paku, if he takes out Strix here, then has to go on to either LA or TK next, which would then be the start of his reverse sweep. Like I said, uh... This, like I said, this is going to be a really, really good KOF match. But then again, Paku, he has a hill to climb. To go with T Strix first, TK, and then LA, which is just, a, like I said, a terrifying three to go up against in like that any is, fighting game. Honestly. And could you imagine if they had Jekyll in instead? Yeah, that, that, Jekyll, like, the fighting game champ, by the way. We have yeah, Jekyll here, who's sitting in the background with the fighting game belt, by the way. But mm. we can't forget that Billy the Goat has the first to 10 belt. Yeah. So both teams have players that are the best at their category and can prove that by having a belt to their name. We've seen them take these challengers. We've seen them beat them this season. And actually, Magnus Sam of the Cobras is looking to take on Billy the Goat for that. Yeah, but Magnus Sam is looking to get, you know, take on Billy for the overall belt. You know, I know Billy, not Billy, Magnus Sam has been prepping for that. So that should be good. That should be good. You know, we do have out. Magnus Sam in attendance today. Uh, his first game for the Cobras after getting traded from the Bandits on trade deadline day late before the uh, transfer window closed. Yeah, it was definitely, uh, like what Hollywood would say, a watch bomb. You know, I guess no, I nobody think, really I don't think expected, expected that. Yeah, in the nobody that expected was quite that. literally like a mic drop. Everyone was like, oh, like everyone instantly had that reaction of shock. Yeah, Cobra is getting Magnus to him, and the band is getting a couple picks from what I remember. You know, definitely, you know, definitely was a, a, a trade. And we can't forget that the Cobras, the Cobras also picked up Amethyst. She got picked up from the Wolves this season. So the Cobras have been making trades this season and have been playing this smart. Now they are going into playoffs. Once playoffs does start, they are going to be starting up against this bots team. So it's just going to be a familiar face. I believe this will be their third time. Third time. Third time facing you? I don't know if they've played each other before this season. Oh uh, like, no, this is the first. This is the this first, is the first meeting time, the this first, season. Okay, so this was, they did play. They played one last season. So in the playoffs, it's going to be their third time like playing. Their like their third overall. as yeah. Overall. So that little third appearance with the Cobras taking one so far. Mm -hmm. This is game two of a set. 
Yeah, definitely. Like, and I know the bots, you know, looking back at last season, they was thinking, oh, last season it was supposed to be an easy dub for us. We were supposed to walk in there, do our work, and then realizing what happened when the Cobras actually won that game. When literally nobody was expecting the Cobras to win that game. And the Cobras won you know, against the bots. Can you say that again, voice in my head? Okay, so they're looking to reset it right now. They're just getting their meter back to where it was. You know, basically to be identical to how it was before. It seemed like we had an issue with the game. A uh, little technical difficulties looking to set that back up. We're going to get right into this because, you know, I, I definitely want to see this good KOF action. I definitely want to see that. You know, Paku, as he proclaims, you know, really good at KOF. And this is one of the games yep. he's looking for, and I know he's definitely happy to play it. He yeah. was able to be in lineup for it, wasn't uh, having to miss out because of playing Dead by Daylight. Mm -hmm. And so here that. we see, I believe both teams in the background have actually gotten Wreckfest set up. So after this game, once this goes through, we are going to be seeing a Wreckfest from both teams. Yeah, Wreckfest. Um, and historically, Wreckfest has been a game that could, you know, it's... It's it's finicky when you set it up, you know. Sometimes things could be work. An issue, sometimes yeah. things don't work, you know. Wreckfest is definitely one of that finicky games, so that's why you want to have the yep. you want to have it correctly set up. You don't want to go into it with a messed up setup and having to forfeit it. You want to at least try and play it through because that can be a win that can count on towards the end of the game. Yep. Here we do see now the fight starting. Yep, looking like Paku, we're going Paku into Paku on it. the left playing as Yamazaki. Strix on the right playing as Angel. Yep, we are going to be in. seeing a 1v3 here with Paku Paku. Paku looking to go in for the counter, but that didn't really work out for him. Oh, actually gets the counter right there. Going for the hop in. You know, uh, what Angel wants to do, she, want, she, she wants to be in Yamazaki's face. Getting those, getting those hits, getting those. Oh, getting the hit right there. Nice roll through. Getting those hits, you know, being obnoxious. Oh, Paku actually activating max mode and Angel going for that climax super. Give him a little hug and then going for that bulldog and here we can hear from inside our commentating room a loud shot of excitement coming from the cobras we do see paku taking Strix down to about 25 percent health yeah but paku just needs paku one good has hit. lost health he just gets one good hit here he can take out Strix and start the reverse sweep yep paku but, paku does have a oh, nice side switch of oh, going in oh goes for the shatter strike Right there, and, and the here we EX. see Paku yep. Paku taking out Strix. The reverse sweep is on. The chance of a sweep from Strix not on anymore, but that doesn't mean that TK or LA cannot cause this game to win and they can take the win. Yeah, and, and what we said before, if we thought that this hill was steep decline for Paku, it's He's even now steeper going up against now. He's now against TK, yeah, and, and then if he gets through TK, he has to go through LA. And he barely has any health to work with, so this is definitely going to be difficult for Paku. Paku is definitely going to have to work some magic if he wants to go through TK and LA to bring home a victory for the bots. It's, it's definitely going to be good. Let's see if uh, we are gonna see, Paku's going to have We are going to see kind of this hill to climb, like Global said. So Paku Paku can show us why this game is his favorite, why he loves to play it, can show us that this is his game. Oh, but we can also in. see TK here playing as Rugal. Oh, Mega Rugal. You know, Rugal, he's basically that, oh my gosh, he just lasers him and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we're going to be seeing KOF taken from the Cobras. We're going to be seeing a win from Je uh, TK. LA, TK, and, and Strix. Strix, yep. Strix doing really great for them to take out both Flyboy and uh, La, Bamba. La Bamba. And then taking Paku Paku to about... Basically, does Yeah, basically that. So no it was an help. easy setup. Um, Into Wreckfest. You know, Wreckfest... As everybody in the league says, the great equalizer game for, you know, this game can always be a 50-50. You know, there's always could be some strats going in, but, you know, this game is uh, definitely a real 50-50 type of game, especially with, I'm thinking, what we're about to see. We're about to see just buses. Versus buses? Or buses and buses, and, you know, they just try to wreck each other out. And so but, because of this, we are, Hogeki and Raging Cajun do have to go in. They are, they were the anchors from the last game when KOF rolled. So they are going in for this, which leaves LA, TK out. And then we're going to be seeing everyone go in for the bots, but Lucky Saturn, who is not here yet. Mm -hmm. we so, might see ooh, some racers do you think actually, we're going to see any racers from either side or do you think they're just going to go for demo 
Um, I think one person maybe probably on the Cobra side, and I just realized since Saturn is not here yet, it's actually going to be a four v five. Yeah, so they are going to be down a man, and depends on what strat they want to run. If they're going to run four buses, last night against the uh, Ravens versus the Bucks, we had talks about. Ash wanting to see couch play, so we wanted to see some couches get played. Uh, there could be a chance here, and if it does happen, shout out to you, Ash. I mean, yeah. Um, what well, things like I want to see, like you said, the couches. I want to see some lawnmowers. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. That would definitely be funny, but I don't think. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be teams, for a game. Yeah. I think this is the most competitive game of the week, so they're not gonna do it. They yeah. want this win. They the want Cobras this win. want this win. If the Cobras win here, they will end their season six and four. If the bots win here, they still have one to go, one game to go, and it would, they would be eight and one going into their game versus the Eclipse next mm -hmm. week. Yeah, that, that's definitely going to be a good game. Like you said, the Cobras they want to end this season off strong. They want to rewrite what 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 they did last season. You know, last season, you know, like I said, they beat the bots. That's basically what it is. They beat the bots. Um, Juki said that if they did it once, they can do it again, and they're looking to prove it. Right here. And here we right see now. we're going to be transitioning to Wreckfest with a yeah. wheel spin. We're going to see Paku Paku with his racing wheel. I'm For any of you that are new to this uh, to this game, kind of this league, we are going to be seeing Smash oh, rolled up next. Paku yeah, Paku has a right, racing yeah. wheel, plays X, most of his racing games with it, and that. is able to win those games with said racing wheel. That man is. Look at him go with that racing wheel. You know, it's definitely it's definitely cool to see this. Honestly. It is it is really cool. I really like the uh, racer yeah. wheel because it just shows creativity. Like yeah. he he's he's making a name for himself with it, and he definitely, already made his definitely. name. But this is just like, look, he has a, oh a racing wheel, but he's, he's gonna be getting wrecked right by there. one of the cobras. Yeah. Okay. So I see the cobras. I think they're all going green, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So we're gonna be seeing a green versus blue here. Cobras picking their color of green. With the bots picking blue, so four buses against five buses. Yeah, definitely, definitely like what we expect. You know, it's an all bus bout. You know, just going in it, just basically trying to hit each other out, trying to uh, break wreck each other out. You know, it's in the game wreck fest. And as we see, as okay, I'm going right under. But what we see right now. Is that uh, we see yep. bubbles in second place here with one of his teammates in first place? Both are racing. We do see Jekyll yep. actually running a racing car. Yep, like I said, I think with that 4v5, like you know, advantage, that they, can use, advantage they can use they can have, that, they have that luxury, yeah, they have that extra racer, and they don't have to worry about the racer getting targeted. Mm -hmm. So, so like the race can focus on the racing and like. The four other buses can just, just focus on wrecking. Yeah, focus on wrecking the the other four buses on the <laughs> bots. And as you see, Jekyll is here racing around, uh, playing around Billy with a bus. Because if uh, Jekyll does get hit, it'll yeah, take it's gonna, it's gonna it'll be a take lot most of the damage. We do see that Jekyll has actually lost some health, sitting at like around sixty four with damage to all sides but the left door. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely playing um, behind uh, Billy right here, trying to not get any. It's and right here, here we see yep. Billy running oh, him straight in, yeah, that's causing his brakes and suspension to get damaged, taking that's him down to 37 hurt. health. I believe he actually lost half health there. Yeah, that's gonna that that hurts. I'm not gonna lie, that hurts. Smart play by Billy there, you know, pulling him in, waiting to strike. Billy's showing that he knows what he's doing. Here we see Flyboy resetting. Yeah, trying or was trying to reset, didn't get the option to. Usually how they're like the resets go, it depends like if you're like stuck in one place or if you're going the wrong way, it'll usually tend to resets. But if the game knows like you're reversing, uh, yeah, yeah. You're and reversing, here we're gonna see out. Bubbles or whoever I do believe Bubbles is playing as himself. Yep. Uh so we're here we're gonna see Bubbles responding back in. We are gonna be seeing Jekyll come up, but gonna oh be getting cut gosh. off. Flyboy down off, to twenty four, but... but good job from Flyboy to cause him to stop. So he can't actually get this race going. He's oh, gonna reset. Nice job from Jekyll to reset. Get so that good strategic play from to Jekyll go, to realize to reset. Right and then we're gonna see Jekyll continue racing. I God, believe the man, Cobras Jekyll's have, flying. I believe I see the Cobras with seventy two points and the bots with sixty seven. So just a five point difference. Yeah, if we're talking racing wise, the the Cobras are definitely in the the lead. You know, but the bots are making them known. They're making it known that the that they are there and their lead can be taken from them. Yeah, and depending who had set up, so the Cobras chose this. So the Cobras chose this map, knowing that okay, we're gonna probably race through most of this track. But you know, 
as you say, it's close right now, um, 93 to 88. You know, racing wise, but you know, if the Cobras can just focus on wrecking out the rest of the uh, the bots, then they just win this completely. And so, so now we see the score cut to three point ninety to ninety three here, with the Cobras leading. We are watching Hogeki's screen. Yeah, they're definitely yeah. Even with the bus, the bots are planning to race this out. You know. It's, I guess this track really, you know, mitigates that, you know, just trying to wreck each other out. Like, okay, you're going to force the race, buddy. That's what that's what I'm looking at. You're going to force the race. If you're going to try to cut me off, you know, it's not really going to do much because, you know, from what I'm seeing in this track, there's not a lot of space. racing this out, I do think. It's tied up. Yeah, they tied up, but I think just racing it out in general, I think the Cobras will still win it as one of the bots have actually been wrecked. I cannot see who, but they still, they're still the bot they have to load in because they are one man short. That person's still not been hit, but because that bot's in, not getting any points, it it's a disadvantage. Yeah, it's this definitely a disadvantage that you're pitting. Oh. And here we see Paku running into, I think Hogeki, that's Hogeki, sure, yeah. but Hogeki has the same color as the bots. The guest trying to mix him up, but Jekyll oh my god, is Jekyll's on critical, on one just health. respawning, he is on one health, literally just to hit him once, you will take him out. Yeah, yeah, literally, he just, if the car gets sneezed on, Jekyll's gonna be out of here, so Jekyll has to play this really He good. has to play this carefully, oh but the bots are gonna know that he's low on health, they're gonna see that he's low Don't on Don't threaten yeah, yeah oh we're gonna see gosh, Jekyll wreck from behind, just hitting him. So Jekyll's taken out. We're gonna be see Strex in first place on his final lap with the score of 138 to 127. The bots did take a lead to make it 144 to 127, but Strex is gonna be able to finish this race here. Yeah, definitely they're gonna be able to finish this race. And I believe because of that, we're gonna actually see Billy, Paku, and Labamba still in with Flyboy. I believe might actually still be in. Yeah, one the, of them crashed. Yeah. One of one of them is definitely DNF'd. I don't know who, but Emir is PC3, which I'm pretty sure that's Flyboy, is literally on, like, no hell. So if he runs into something, one more, and it's done. And, and here we're going to see the Cobras actually, or the co the bots take the win here to score it up to 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, definitely. Uh, wow, I did not expect that. Look at Flyboy, by the way, on one hole. He's on yeah, he, one health crazy. and he's racing. So Flyboy is keeping his calm. Yeah, Strix finished. It seemed like Strix finished the race. So, but we still have the everybody. race to get. Yeah, we still have the race to get finished. <laughs> you see, Bubble and Cash, you want to crash for me, Billy? <laughs> 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 nice I mean, little call out from Bubbles to Billy. We are gonna see Bubbles is actually still in this. I think Bubbles uh, also finished the race. From what I'm seeing, he finished. So this game could possibly come down to a to a points from what I'm seeing. I think so as well. Cause like I said, this track was meant to like okay, you're gonna be forced to race. You know, it's not this wide open map where we're just gonna be here wrecking each other out. We're gonna be here to race. Okay, so Bubbles wow. actually spectating someone. So Hageki actually finished as well, completing the seven laps. I think that's we're gonna see fifth. the score come out to one seventy two to one forty two. The bots winning by 30 points. My goodness. With a one-man disadvantage, by the way. So, good job to Flyboy and the rest with that win. Oh, did the bots actually take that? Be a man now. It's the it's the steering wheel. I think the steering wheel gave him that win. That so, and Paku Paku knows what he's doing. He's done it before this season. He's done it again. Yeah, Paku with the wheel coming out. And so, so I, I up next, drive. so after that, we are going to see Jack wasn't able to finish this race. Uh, he was this close. He was the racer for the Cobras. Ended up getting crashed when he was on one health. Sadly, yeah. couldn't finish. We just had to wait for Hogeki to finish. And when that happened, the bots won by 30 points. After coming back, they were behind for most of the yeah. race and actually made a comeback with a bot who was AFK. Now we're going to see this switch to Super Smash Bros. Everyone's going in for the bots, but Lucky Saturn. Yeah, and if you're in the bots, you would really want Saturn in here because people, really people, people would Saturn say that here. Saturn is one of the better or one of the best the really Smash players. Saturn yeah, is in here one of the best, best Smash players in the league, and we see the points go up for the bots. So the bots do take Wreckfest, but like I was saying, they do, at this time, they would want Saturn here, but I, uh, one, they're going to be down to man. In, in Smash. They're going to be down to man, and they really, if they wanted to secure that victory, they wanted Saturn to be here, because, like I said, Saturn is considered, like, 
one of the more better or one of the best Smash Definitely players. Definitely kind here, of unlucky from them to get it to roll Wells. Oh. And the voice in my head actually told me that Saturn is here, so Saturn is going to make it. Commentator's cursed. Saturn has spawned in, guys. Saturn is here. We did the magic. Shout out to it's Global. A 5v5. Shout out to Global here. Called Saturn in. And now we're going to see a 5v5 for the it's first time this game. The bots, you know, taking Wreckfest a 5v4 and now we're going to be really able to come impressive. into games that are 5v5. So that is really good on them. So we're going to be seeing this uh, smash with who can they not take in? Let's see. So, from what I'm seeing, they're going to put in, well, who has to go in? LA, Hogeki, TK, and Raging Cajun. Raging Cajun. And I'm thinking they're going to put Jekyll. Jekyll also known Jekyll as... Jekyll does know his... Yeah. yeah. And well, he also, also known is, as one of the best Smash players yeah, in the league. And he, he always loves playing Smash. Yeah. Every time know. I talked to him about it, if Smash rolled when the Ghosts have played Cobras and Smash, if it rolled, he was excited to play. Yeah. Definitely, like... Smash is like one of his games. He was competing and here in we Smash. See Lucky Saturn highlighted on the screen, showing that he is actually here, here to play for his first game. Yep. So now he actually gets to go in. Now it depends on the order of how they're gonna play. If they want to anchor him first or anchor him last. Um, I think they would anchor him last. Knowing, oh, they're actually not sending in Jekyll. Saving Jekyll, putting in Strix, actually. Saving Jekyll and Bubbles for the next game. Maybe yeah. hoping something like a 2v2 game rolls, whether it's COD, a sports game, possibly. Possibly, like, Madden. You know, yeah, so it'd Madden be really nice would be, to have Jekyll for. And if that happens, it would be a strategic play by the Cobras. Okay. And well, from what I'm seeing, so... We're going to be So, I know Paku plays Pac-Man, and I know uh, Hogeki plays Yoshi. So, yep. So, we're seeing Paku on the Pac-Man, and we have Tekken 8 coming well, that's, up next. That's they saved, be a They saved Jekyll for Tekken. That's the, and be a he, When I talked to him about what game he wanted to play... He said that TK, his most wanted game for today would be Tekken 8. But for Jekyll himself, he really wants to play Guilty Gear Strive. Yeah, Jekyll, you know, he's known as one of the best Guilty Gear Strive players in the league. Yeah, and we cannot forget that Jekyll was the person who won last season's finals against the Eclipse. When it was Reapers vs. Eclipse, he won to in, uh, in Guilty Gear Strive. So really showing that that game he loves to play. Yeah, and he each really time he can game. talk about it, he loves it. But as we get to that, oh, who had set up for this game? It was the bots. No the bots wonder. Because okay. you see the map they're playing on. They always The bots always like going for this map with all these different like stage gimmicks. And, and so like, here we're going to see, see uh, TK playing as King Dede against the Pac-Man who is Paku. So we're going to be seeing Paku with the chance now to actually get a sweep if he does take out all five fighters. Yeah. TK going in as a second fighter. We yeah. are waiting to see them connect. And yeah, this since map, it was like their said, setup, it's... it was the bot setup. Yeah, they they picked this. They surely love this map. This map is obnoxious to say at least because you know you got to deal with all these different things you know it's a big map so getting towards each other is definitely like difficult and you see like the lava things if you hit the lava th lava things or like the points up there uh, depending on what health range you're at if you're like Depending on the health range, you just completely, like, die. So, it would be best for Paku not to hit that because he will just, you know, lose. And even if you're TK, you don't want to get hit by that because you'll just take a ton of damage. But you see... And here we see TK playing actually around. playing off those lava... The lava and you see, and like I said, he goes right out. into a lava, like I said. So at a certain it's kind rate, of a karma. <laughs> yeah, at a certain health point, if you jump into it, you just... Die. Die, yeah. So, it's kind of, you know, realistic. And we see Saturn going in. So uh, he is isn't anchored as last. He's so going in second. Saturn going up against TK Bad Moon in this. Saturn's lately been playing, uh, uh, what's his name? Donkey Kong lately. And, Here we're going to uh, see Saturn playing as Link, Link. Which I think is like actually his main. I know Donkey, he, Saturn can play a couple characters, but I think Link is like actually his main. So as we're going into it, nice rollout. Okay, see so you're going into it. Okay, going for the uh, going for the nice nair right there, going with the boomerang. Another. And here nair. we can see that Saturn's been more offensive in this round, so he is yeah. bringing this game, getting TK sent into the little lava. Yeah, nice, nice. Uh, you know, uses of the nair coming out from sat from Saturn. You know, just you know, Saturn keeping that pressure sure to going use all on. All his abilities possible. Nice reflecting back. Oh, it's just ooh, going out. Oh. Yeah, and then this is the this is the the thing about this map. It's just it's so wide range and there's so much things you gotta play around with the lava thing. So things like this are like bound to happen. And then when items start popping up, you know, 
and you see TK running into he the lava again. One, yeah, he runs into the lava. And, and then he gets, <laughs> It's like, that's what I'm saying. Why. All right, so TK is taken out. We're now going to be seeing Strix come in. Now it's a 4v3. Mm-hmm. Two taken out for the Cobras. One taken out for the bots. bots. Yep. So... This map has been seeming to be really helpful, kind of crazy to look yeah, at. We have a but Sora. A Sora versus a Link. Strix. You know, definitely, you know, Sora, I think one of the last DLC characters to come out for Smash. I know people were really excited about it. Um, and here I, we see you know, Strix is playing very offensively. Yeah, definitely want to get some damages on Saturn. Um, I think the Hormones know that Saturn is probably the biggest threat when it comes to Smash. Here we see the, the grab, grab okay. sending him into, into the, the lava. lava. Yep, and then into the lava again, both hitting the lava, trying to go, Strix trying to go for the parry. Doesn't really get it. Getting out of there. Yeah, if I'm Strix or I'm any, either player, yeah, hitting these obstacles is going to be really bad. Well, it's a, it's like a, it's a tough game to play because some of the maps that we're used to are the wide open, like the one stage. And this is, you can go anywhere and the lava pools are just, it's added stress. Yeah, it's added stress. You know, it's just like, oh, I got to play around this. I got to do all that. And it's just like, as you see right here, there's just knowing, at least knowing like where to like jump down from. And it's just, it's, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. That's why I said the stage is pretty uh, obnoxious, as I said, to, <laughs> to say the least. Because, look, just bouncing and around. And you see Saturn taking out another. So it's going down to a 4v2. Saturn taking out two so far, being TK and Strix. Now we're going to be seeing Raging Cajun go in. And let's see. We'll see who Raging plays. Like I said, this map is definitely... I keep saying it up not. We're gonna be seeing a Sephiroth coming in, so I'm kind of yeah. excited to see Sephiroth. Sephiroth, you know, that long range character. You obviously see he has a long sword. Obviously, he could charge up something like his fireball like that, depending on how long he charges it up. It goes a shorter distance, but if he charges up for long, it does more damage. And as you see, nice, nice parry coming out from uh Trajan. And then but Saturn coming in, going in for Good the grab. With the grab. Yep. We do see Saturn getting these hits off, but yeah, Saturn going getting these hits off, but you know we haven't seen any plays with the lava yet, yeah. so maybe <laughs> yeah, we're not. Gonna, maybe we'll get a round where we don't have to see the lava. Kind of, but like I said, like open. raging, he could play this range game because Sephiroth, he is like that range type of thing. Getting one of the parts for one of the items, I forgot what specifically the item is. Started it, throwing in that boomerang and the and fireball, getting item, the grab it. Oh, we see a smash ball up there, but it's all the way up there, and I'm. I doubt any either player is going to want to go all the way up there just to grab the Smash Ball. And as you can see, like... We when see these the items, second part yeah. to that item that Raijin actually needs to get to complete the set. He needs to get three. Once he does that, he gets an, uh, it gets like a lock on screen, mm-hmm. and he flies in on his ship. And if it hits uh, po- if it hits Saturn at any point, it basically takes him out. Yeah, I, it does. It does a, it either it does a lot of damage or it will take them out. And here we see the third part coming in. They still have that first part at the top. If Saturn goes for it, he can at least stop um rage and go for it you know it's really funny seeing this oh i see two of the so like, they're right both they're right next to each other oh and oh then my oh my goodness so saturn taking out region with one left being la dang uh saturn actually taking out three four three yeah three, three people three four people yeah four ish people four if he takes out la three if he does not yeah taking out three people and it's just like you know like we said saturn when it comes to Smash, he's considered as one of the best Smash players in the league. And for anyone wondering, this is this is Saturn's first game of the day. Yeah. He showed up late, and he showed up to a Smash game. He got here in time while Wreckfest was being played. He is able to play. And here he, we're seeing how ver- how important that is that he can play. Yeah, and, you know, we see LA coming in with the Samus. Um, Samus is a very, you know, good overround character. Charger in that neutral special. Didn't get the fully charge in. Um Nice from Saturn to get out of that. But as you see, um, LA just got hit Saturn with a couple good hits, and he could uh, take him out right here. But Saturn just being so good, you know, Saturn's playing around playing it. Saturn's playing offensively to make sure that he can try and take this game. But yeah, but I think LA Saturn, is giving yeah. him the... LA is putting the pressure on Saturn here. But now both players are in that range. If they hit that lava, it's done for them. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna disintegrate. They're, they're out of here. And... Like you see LA bouncing around and he hits a lava. And we see Saturn getting taken out by LA. So he was unable to get all four. 
Got three takedowns, though. So now we're going to be seeing La Bamba going in. Yeah, but Snyder, he did his job. He did three and basically just... And did basically four. If yeah. Because... LA gets hit. Yeah, he's LA... He's close to is, getting taken out. He his percentage is hit. high. Really high. I know it will go down a little Ganondorf, bit. We're going to be seeing who is a heavy. Yeah, is a heavy and does heavy damage. So, <laughs> so one good smash, one good smash hit will basically be it for it. Charging up, LA charging up that neutral special... Getting it fully charged, teabagging. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, guess they're just kind of playing around, seeing what. They, and oh my gosh, Lamar almost fell into the lava. <laughs> so I guess they're just trying to navigate how to go through it. They got the B, the B thing. Uh, you would want to throw it, but depending on where you throw it, it will track to whoever is the closest. Nearest, yeah. yeah, that's usually how it is. L.A. sending out the... Ma- uh, yeah, man, he gets on L.A. But we do see La Bamba jumping into the lava. Yeah, like I said, this stage is obnoxious. It's just an obnoxious <laughs> stage. We see a smash ball coming in through. But so is it a real one or is it a fake? Um, that's a uh, that's a real one. Um, you can tell when a smash ball is real. Yeah, or I, fake. Be, I believe it's a thinner line. Yeah, that's a real. And so smash we ball. do see the Ganondorf from La Bamba getting. Yeah, his, and if he gets this uh, hit, it will take it will most more than definitely take LA. But out. we do see but LA, LA is really taking just the running away. LA's playing it smart. He knows that if he gets hit any time, he's taken out. Yes, and just waste the timer of the Smash Ball. After a set amount of time, it will go we off. We do see La Bamba throwing the bees. They are going for LA again. Yeah, definitely a play. They're just running away, but it will do damage over time. But as you see, it gets off and charging up that neutral special again. Jeez, this is this is a, this is some smash I'm watching right now. <laughs> You're trying to play around each other. I think because I mean, LA knows if he takes. Forget that, yeah, LA is around. I can't see the full number, but I'm seeing a six in the red, so it's possibly over 150. Yeah. Oh, and that gets a healing. He item, gets a so. healing, but La Bamba needs to push him. Yeah, and that's just that's just what we do. If y'all don't know, oh, he, he falls into, into the, the oh, oh my god! So we are going to be seeing a win come here from the bots. Good job to Saturn getting three eliminations, basically four. We played the long game with uh, La Bamba. La Bamba was able to get the smash or never got to use it. We do see the bots taking a three to two lead. Next game is going to be Tekken Eight, which Jekyll is in for. That stage is terrible. That's all I gotta say. That stage is <laughs> take it out, take it out. I don't want to see that stage. That <laughs> stage is just that was that was my first time ever seeing the stage, and definitely yeah. kind of caused the game. If the to bots have it. set up, if the bots have set up, they will always choose that stage, knowing how annoying that stage is and i just knew as soon as i see the stage i was like oh, okay as soon as you saw the yeah. arrow pointing to their name saying yeah, setup like, you're like okay yeah it they're was gonna there. pick that stage because because they don't even get to say do you want to pick map or not for smash so that being their setup was probably the best thing yep. and then them having saturn as well was like a two for one deal yeah saturn taking out three people la Bamba taking out one paco taking out one that's basically the best thing you could have asked for honestly. and up next you're gonna be seeing tekken 8 we're going to be seeing Jekyll, TK, and Hogeki go in between... I believe yeah. we're going to be seeing Billy, Paku, and Lucky Saturn go Saturn in. Saturn go in. And honestly, from what I'm seeing, I think this is going to be a Cobra's win. I think we're going to be looking at a tight game. I know Hogeki... Well, TK got really the game good. he wanted, yeah. like yeah. I told. I He's going to be happy to see this. Now, yeah. Jekyll wants to get Guilty Gear. And I think, like last night, we might see all fighters get played today. I think we're down two. We're down three, actually, out of the seven. We got four left after this. Yeah. Uh, for all the fighters that wrote, we did get KOF, Smash, and now we're getting uh, Tekken right now. And we're seeing that they've won two of the three. Well, yeah. They've only won. So both teams have won one fighter. Yeah. This is going to be the decider to see who goes to. Who, who goes to one in the fighting yeah. game category. And like I said, those three on the Cobra side, that's a that's a scary three. That's in a, Tekken. You, you can take out Jekyll. You still have TK. Like, yeah. that's scary. Yeah. It's and still, a, lot it's still scary. Know, a lot of people haven't realized this. This is TK's first season. He's a rookie. Yeah. TK is definitely looking, you know, uh, definitely uh, looking for like fighter, rookie fighter of the year. No, he's looking, he's not even looking for rookie fighter. He's looking for, for rookie, rookie of the year. Of the year yeah. like, and next general. up, we're going to be seeing Overwatch, Overwatch too. 
Okay, that's actually one of the games that I wanted to roll myself. This is going to be a good game to roll. If I'm guessing right here, um, and the Azucena, that's going to be Jekyll, because Jekyll plays Azucena and the King. And we're going to be king. seeing the King. Nice. Activating uh, the heat, heat Burst. Oh, going in for that. Ooh, trying to sneak in something right there. We're going to be right seeing there. Saturn as the King here. Uh, the Saturn looking to get some grabs in, and like you say, King's grabs does like a lot, a lot of damage. So you don't want to get grabbed but here up by King. Here we see Azucena getting her grab in, taking taking out Saturn. So basically, one round up. Yeah, definitely. Um, Jekyll knows what he's doing when it comes to Azucena getting the counter here on the but power crush. We do crush. see Saturn getting the grab and oh, getting the hit, but now he's getting the chain. Yep, and that's against the wall. wall combo. Yep. And it's just, it's this just, is just Jackal. Yeah. This is Jackal just having fun. This is the fighting game champ we're looking at right this here. This dude owns the belt. You can challenge him for the fighting game belt, but will it end in a positive result for you? I don't think so. Yes. We are seeing this man beat Saturn up to now with the chance to, if he beats Saturn, could actually go a perfect 9 and 0. And the thing is, like, oh, nice heat engager to go into that. The thing is, like, with Azucena, she has these different moves. Oh, it's, oh he goes in for the power swing. And, and see the power swing actually oh, end. That would have hit the wall. That would have done a lot of damage. Going for the 3-2. Nice. Ooh, that's, that move is actually really punishable. Oh, trying to go for the combo, but didn't exactly get the pickup it needed. Going for the 1-2-2. Two, two. Running 2-3. Or 3-2. Low blow. Another low blow into the counter and hit. And it gets a close The 9-0 is not Saturn possible anymore. Saturn life. does take a life off of... Jekyll, so that's really positive looking for the bots. Nice. Oh, with nice. another that's a combo. combo. Okay, Saturn, I see you got a little something going on. Saturn's cooking someone up here. Oh, yep. Getting for the little low leg grab. But we do see Jekyll counter. Jekyll going in. And then the heat smash, that's going to break the floor. And if Saturn knows he can get another pickup off this. Nice from Saturn. Look at the damage. Going for the low kick. Shining Wizard. Let him know. Going for the low again. And now oh, we see Saturn the taking the kick. second round. So now Jekyll's on his last life. Both fighters are on their last life here. Whoever wins here will then get to go on. Whoever loses it out. Saturn showing that, hey, I play Tekken. Saturn's making sure that people know he plays Tekken. I mean, then again, I'm not surprised because the bots, you know, you have, you know, Scans, Scans Silver, Silver, you know, Mordecai as well. You know, the thing is, I know he if probably people don't realize, I'm pretty sure Mordecai just won a tournament recently for Tekken. Really? I yeah, did not know I heard that. that around. They were talking about it. So congrats to the bots and Mordecai for that. You yeah. know, showing that they know what they are doing with these games. These are strong games that they can they can take. And actually, you can, you that, can was, a... that was that was that won the te Tekken tournament. Yeah, te okay, Scans yeah. won the Tekken tournament. Was, I knew it was one of the bots. I just couldn't remember. But yeah. really good from the bots. And this is coming down to Lev's going to go into Jaguar stance. He smashed up his own going for the low. And that's going to be it. We see Jekyll taking out Saturn. And good then, job from Saturn. But now we're going to be seeing Paku Paku come in. Jekyll down to his last life. Paku Paku with all three. Yeah. And that's, I'm surprised. I didn't expect Lucky Saturn to come in here and actually show he what he knows. He took two rounds yet. after being on his final life. Kind of brought the game back in and was like, look, you're not getting away with yeah, an item. It looked like it was going to be a clean 3-0 sweet from Jekyll, but Saturn bringing it, it looked, back. It looked like it was just going to be a day where TK wasn't going to be able to play Tekken, hey, but maybe. Saturn is like, nope, we're getting Jekyll out of here. Yeah, and it's just, uh, it, it, it's crazy to see. Uh, Jekyll's down to his last life. Paku come in. I'm curious to see who he plays in Tekken. If I remember so, in the last Tekken, he played Lee. Lee? So, okay. yeah, I'm thinking we're probably going to see Lee again from what I remember, maybe. But, you know, I think it's going to be a good match. Lee is definitely, he's, I wouldn't say he's a hard character, but he's definitely one of the more, uh, you know, difficult characters to play because he has these moves called Just Frames, which if y'all don't know what a Just Frame is, it's a move where you have to perfectly hit it on time. If you hit it on that exact frame, then the move will become enhanced. And, yep, I'm seeing a Lee right here. Classic Lee, Lee look right here. That's what I like to see. But, you know, Jekyll, he's doing what he do. Running two three, running running Holding, three two again is yeah. just yeah. It is, and here we this see, looking like it's about to be a perfect. See, yeah, a perfect KO from Jekyll taking Seven a life out of Paku. Oh, and it seems like Jekyll is he's starting to he's starting to warm up now. He's like, okay, I lost these two lives. You know, let me. Maybe just he didn't up expect right. to lose it, and he's kind of like, look, yeah. I shouldn't have lost that, and wants to make sure he does not lose. Nice duck on the grab. Going in, both players are from in From Paku Paku here, but it's still getting taken down to low. Running he does two. have the ability to run his ult. 
And then goes for the heat smash and then goes into the We lows. do see Paku Paku taking down to his last life. Jekyll's still on his last, so whoever loses here is taking down to their last life. Yep. We okay. are seeing Lee now pushing in, attacking more nope. often. That's but this is where Jekyll is getting yep. his strength. Uh -uh. Running 3-2 again into the wall combo. Well, that's going to be a grip of damage. Counter hit launcher. Didn't get the full extension he needed off that. Going for the heat smash. Oh, nice job. Nice job from, uh, from Paku to deal with that. Oh, he's in stance. Yo, man, that just baiting, baiting out Paku for something. And then, yeah, Jekyll just easily. All right, so Jekyll able to take out, still in his last life, down to the final fighter, which we're going to be seeing yeah. Jekyll versus Billy the Goat. Yeah, and Billy is, you know, we all know Billy, no slouch at fighting games at all. Billy no. knows what he's doing. Billy is someone that if you play him in fighting game, he can actually take you out and you can worry. Like, it's, like we said before, Billy is the overall belt holder. You know, the first to 10 belt holder, you know. Billy knows what he's doing. He's that versatile that he can pick up a game, play it, win it. And win it in a way that it's good enough, and it's not something where it's like a barely win. He wins it by crushing defeats. Yeah, by crushing defeats as well. But you know, Jekyll is looking here to go for a sweep. You know, he could do this, but he has. What we said he has one life, one life left. You know, he did lose two going up against Saturn, and you know, against Billy. We like I said, Billy is no slouch at any fighting games. If I remember so correctly, who Billy played in seven, he played Law. I think it was it was either Law. Or Geese. I think it was Geese or Law. Oh, so we're seeing a victor, a victor from Billy here. Oh, Lord. But, you know, Victor is, you no know, pretty good character. Um, has a lot of moves that could really just just maul you, really. And it, we're going to see it as they set up their buttons. Um, this is definitely going to be a good match. Jekyll definitely looking to go for a sweep. Um, but, like I said, it's going to be... Remember how we said it's going to be a tough task when Paku was in for KOF? It's going to be a tough task for Billy, Billy yeah. you know, because he got Hogeki with and the then Lily. And you then get out, you, you, take out, you take out Jekyll, you go to Hogeki, you take out Hogeki, you then have TK. TK this yeah. is quite literally... This is that hill that, you know, that Paku had to climb. This That hill is, like, tripled. Yeah. And Billy, uh, like we said, Scans is still around the team, you know. You know, two, he's definitely two, been two able really to play good, with them. They've been able really to good Tekken players. So, and um, Billy has been taking fighting games this season. He has been winning them for the bots. He's been showing to not sleep on him. Yeah, definitely he knows what he's doing, but going in, going for the low, going for the grab. That one, that's a one plus two grab. And already the floor is, is on like breakable, breakable time. So, oh, nice. Going for the extension. Nice extension by Jekyll. And then we're going to see now. Yep. Oh, nice job, low profile in that. And again, the wall combo, that could be it. That's going to break the floor. If Jekyll can extend this. Yep, going for the he heat smash does. and extend. And then extend again. Nice combo Jekyll, from Jekyll. Jekyll's on for the sweep here. Even yeah. with his last life, he is making sure he can get this sweep. Nice, trying to go for the launch. Doesn't get it. Oh, yeah, trying to go for the running two, I think that was. Yep. And as you see, this is what Victor does. Victor, he just... You know, he tries to trip you up by doing all this teleporting things, all these moves, you know. Here like we I said, see getting the one-two again. Oh, breaking boy, that's the a floor, floor break. So we get, this we might back, be it. Back floor breaks. Can yeah, Billy keep it, it up? Yeah. Billy keeps it up, taking out Jekyll. Yeah, so now Jekyll Billy has here. the ability to reverse sweep here. But he has to do it with two lives two left. Two lives left. And so with Togeki coming so in. So that hill that we were talking about is now getting even steeper for him. Steeper. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Um, Hogeki is going to come in. I'm probably most likely going to see a Lily. Okay, I was about yeah. to ask you, do you remember, like, because I remember you mentioned it, so I was like, what character can we expect from yeah, Hogeki? Yeah, we're going to see here? a Lily. You know, Lily is a character who does a lot of a lot of things. She, Lily, she's a ballerina, so she does a lot of things, you know, to try to, like, trip you up, you know, like what Victor does with, like, all the teleporting, but Lily does a lot of ballerina stuff, trip you up. She has a snake edge, which is basically a really slow low, but it's a launcher, so you can get a combo off it. I wonder if we'll see that from Ogeki. I wonder if Billy will know how to counteract that. So I think this is going to be a definitely good tech and match going Just on. Just right unfortunate here. that Billy did lose one life before being able to take out Jekyll. Yeah, definitely. But definitely. When taking out Jekyll, we did see him get that floor break and keep that combo up in the air, showing that Billy knows what he's doing and that he is good at this game. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Billy, like I said, he knows what he's doing. We we know that Billy knows what he's doing. Everyone knows. It's, yeah. it's a constant. It's... Uh, like we've said, he is the first of ten Look, overall. Game. That was that was a snake edge right there, by the way. That totally that slow move, but it yep. launches. But that okay. slow low, but it launches. You could actually duck that gunshot, by the way. Nice job ducking uh, 
or blocking the low from Billy. Going for the classic 1-1 one, one strings. Boom, getting, getting that to floor breakable range. So next move that couldn't floor break will break the floor. But you know, we see, yep, that's a launcher, yep. Or oh, was a launcher, but you know, the wall kind of messed that up right there. Go for expulsion right there. Trying to go for expulsion again, but got hit out of it. And now that's going to be- And we see yep. Hogeki taking Billy down to his final life here. So now what we're going to be seeing is Billy is going to have to put in more pressure to yeah. take out Hogeki, but also keep his life. And if he's able to take out Hogeki, he then has to go on to yep. TK. Nice hop kick coming up from Hogeki. That's going to be a full combo. Not nearly in range enough to continue that. Nice hop kick again. Oh my gosh. This guy is crazy. Oh, going for the heat smash. And that's going to break the floor. Or no. It didn't break the floor. floor. Because he was probably near the wall. Yeah, I, I don't know. Because he hit the wall. The wall yeah. I think if he had slammed straight into the floor, it would have broken it. Oh, the classic two, 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 two string. You know, he's literally just pressing one button doing that, by the way. Nice going for the power crush. One hit from either player. Oh, nice job blocking the low. Oh, oh. No, that's going to be it. Oh, Not never yet. mind. Still in range. Hogeki's still in this with a sliver of health. Can nice job, Hogeki. Oh, with my a sliver goodness. of health. Hogeki, Hogeki takes, takes out Billy, it. getting the win. TK Bad Moon unable to play today. Unlucky. But we're going to be seeing this game going straight to the Cobras. Incredible performance from Jekyll. Taking out two, even on a final health. Took out and almost took out Billy. So we're seeing... A three to three tie with two fighters up and Overwatch two next. Yeah, Overwatch two coming up next. Um, like I said, that was that was a, that was a good match. That was a good match. Jekyll doing his thing, taking out two two players. Uh, really, the most surprise with me was Saturn. I didn't expect for him to do what he did with King, but you know, he I came didn't expect in, that either. Yeah, he, he came out and showed out that like I, I can play, I can play Tekken too. He don't say, sleep. He they showed say, up and he said, "Don't sleep on me. Don't look at this game like oh Saturn's in. Okay, easy win for our team." He he showed up. Yeah, definitely, definitely showing that it's, it's he's showing that hey, it's not gonna be easy, you know, getting taken off me, and that shows like the practice of uh, what the bots have been doing, you and know. And so now we're gonna be able to see Overwatch two with so obviously bots have their full lineup and they cannot anchor anyone, yep. but the Cobras can anchor two here. Yeah, so LA the bubbles and raging Cajun has to go in. I think those are the people you would mainly want in. And I think in. if they're smart, they could throw in Jekyll and I, maybe. Yeah. I, okay, so Hogeki's Hulk, Hulk, yeah. going in. And I believe uh, Jekyll has been DK. picking up these games. Okay, maybe not. Maybe okay. they're just anchoring. But I know for a fact the bots have played Overwatch this year. They've been doing it good. They have a good like system of getting their team down. They know what to do. Yeah, definitely. Um, and Definitely that's down to, like, yep. Billy and LaBamba. LaBamba has been really good at most of all of his shooting games he's played this year. I mean, the bots are 7-1, and one, guys. We can see that. They've only lost one game this season, and they're looking to go 9-1. and one. Yeah, definitely. And the, that one loss they took, it was against the Reapers, the reigning champions. Yeah, so, it, so I, like... It's nothing to look back we on. We can't even look down on them. Yeah. They literally have won games before with a three-man, and we've seen them do these three-mans and win. Yeah, and like literally twice, and they won it, which is insane. It's actually insane. And this is going to be the first time we're going to be able to see a shooting game of Flyboy in. Yep. So maybe he is a shooter, and this could be a game where he's strong at. Yep, definitely something we can see, like I said, when you're a newer player, when you're coming into the season, what most people are going to look at is what category do you excel at? Is it shooters? Is it fighters? Racers? Strategy? Sports? Then that's what we're here to excel at. And maybe, like you said, maybe this it could be one of his categories. Maybe that's why they brought shooter. him in. Maybe because they couldn't have Scans or Silver there. Like, look, we need someone. Obviously, with fighting games, it's going to be an uphill battle because of Jekyll, TK, Hogeki, LA, Strix. Yeah. And we see we have a timeout coming from the bots. Yeah. Okay. So the bots calling a timeout. So we're gonna be waiting. I do believe they did. They were saying it up. So now that they had Saturn here, they have their squad. And it, like we said earlier, they don't have problems with setting up games when they are low on people. Yeah. So you know, I guess it's just a little thing. You know. Maybe they maybe they're like waiting they for one of their own teams or something happened. But yeah. so while we wait. Yeah, we could talk about um, the roadmap yeah. to Michigan. Honestly, yeah, we'll bring it up. And so make sure you guys scan that QR code on the screen. It's going to get you tickets to the Devos Performance Hall where you can show up on June 8th for the finals 
which is two teams competing for a hundred grand. Hundred grand's a lot of money. That's life changing that money for a, a team. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of and money. And so we're seeing the Wolves or the Bandits in the box. Both teams are physically ineligible to get into the finals, get into playoffs. Bucks have gone 0 and 10. Bandits, I don't think, have any more games for the rest of the season. We are seeing Phantoms versus the Gorillas. So your Gorillas are facing the Phantoms. My Ghost, we are going to be facing the Wolves as a wild card. They're going to be seeing the Bots and the Cobras matchup in the playoffs. And last night's matchup between the Ravens and the Bucks saw the Ravens win and take second seed over the X Gods. Yep, and like you said, sec they take second seeds over the X gods They're gonna face them again, hey, and we got Madden yeah, coming in next, and that's a good thing that they saved Jekyll for. That is I think they good. was looking yeah. for this, was you know, just in case of Madden roll. But then again, you have Millie, yeah. who have only lost Madden once. one time, and ever. that was recently, and that was this season. He lost 100%. against a uh, Big Mac MJ Smeek, I believe. And until then, he was undefeated in Madden. So I Billy do does know what he's doing. We are going to be seeing a hey, Zenyatta we, here from Hogeki. We're going to be seeing a Sojourn Moira, Zenyatta, uh, and I believe a Reaper. Uh, I'm surprised at the comp pick they go. Yeah, usually, uh, you'd want to run a uh, tank. Yeah, you, I mean, but usually Hogeki bitch. usually goes like my. You know. Yeah, I did see the my there, but he switched over to Zenyatta. Yeah. Maybe they think to run two others. Yeah, I mean, and we're gonna be seeing, yeah, so I believe, a So we're gonna I'll be seeing a like with them. Really good, strong team comp. A good, yeah. strong uh, tank. One of the newer ones. Yeah, <laughs> has been out for a while, but can be a pain playing against. Normally, recently did get nerfed too. Yeah. Um, you know. He used to just do like a bunch of damage, just like no reason. It's just like all right. Recently, so we're gonna be seeing from one of them. They did call out. They have a Winston. We're gonna be seeing a soldier as well. Winston doing good to throw in that shield. I could not see who was playing Winston, but I believe uh, Billy the Goat normally plays as a tank in Overwatch. Yeah. And so we see uh, Ragen as this uh, Sojourn. Yeah. And as we see up there, I'm guessing that is a soldier. La Bamba. I think that's La Bamba, the soldier. We're seeing Billy getting taken down as Winston. So they kind of pushed for Billy. Oh, and we see TK, TK okay, as the Malva. Yeah, TK we have a D. Okay, tank. so we have two tanks for them. Oh, and Billy, he usually plays D.Va, if I'm remembering. So yeah, Billy does usually go for the tank type of thing. He usually goes for D.Va. And does now good we're going to be able it. to see the Cobra's actually holding point. They're able to get some points on the board. For the objective of this game, if no, if you are watching this and you don't know what Overwatch is, maybe this is your first time watching, that robot that you're seeing is pushing a like board-like thing on wheels. You got to get it to, I believe, 150 meters, which is at uh, the other team's spawn. When you do that, you are you win. Yeah, you win the game. And so whenever another team, like the bots here, if they step up close to where they are, here we are seeing a good ability from the soldier and getting the like, black hole. And we see, we see La Bamba on the soldier. Unable to get out. We out. do see yeah. Sojourn. We do see the Moira doing damage. And then we see here. Oh, this Diva looks like as Saturn. Saturn is Diva. Oh, it's not Billy or uh, the, the Diva. That's interesting. And we have the Bubbles on the Reaper right here. Really good go choice it. from the Bubbles playing as a Reaper because of the bots running two tanks. Yep, yep. And we see we see back here we TK on the Malga. We do see Malga will five percent off their yeah, ult. The so ult. once they get that ult, that's gonna be a, that could be a difference a between change, a team yeah. fight just or to not. Just, just to just lock in all the just to lock in all the bots members and just shred just shred them out, you know. Basically. Now, do you think it, I can't see what healers the bots are running? Um, yeah, I can't see that either. Um, of course we see oh, okay. we see a tracer. Tracer, yep. Or maybe oh wait maybe. are they running a healer i think they are i think they do have a moira but i cannot tell yeah from what i've seen i think so i know uh, play by the saturn to take the i know tracer. the Cobras are running uh the moira too going with the rewind right there unable no, yeah, to get out and escape out. but it's a smart choice to pick tracer because tracer can be the team wipe yeah especially and, if you yeah. know how to play tracer yeah and you know the big thing that we've heard all season is how the cobras have been struggling with shooters, shooters. but and they're proving today that they know what shooters are they're picking it up yeah and you know they're making sure people after listen hearing to them that for, we see the malga all going off and we're and gonna we see, see a a mercy off. we're seeing raging go off yeah, as the Rage sojourn yeah, I think Raging. If someone can, played, like, if Overwatch someone on the Cobras after this game wants to take a screenshot of your KDA, I want to see. I, I want to see how much damage and stuff. I want to see the numbers. Yeah, but going back to what I was saying, 
it's the the struggle. People say the struggles of the Cobra's been having with shooters. It's the shooters, and they're, and, they're not know, a shooters team. But here they are they're, proving they're, yeah. to beat a shooters like team in the bots who have La Bamba and Billy in. Yeah, in Overwatch, yeah. a and game that is a that. big game to win because it can go either way for both teams here. Yeah, and obviously knowing that. Um, obviously, the Cobras, they worked on shooters. I know they've been working heavy on shooters. And here we see Ragin on a 20. He's on a 20 streak. He's on a 20 yeah, bomb. Ragin is going off. Ragin is making sure Got the baby the people, no, people don't sleep on them in shooters games. Oh, we see the Tracer right there. Just Good ability. Yep. I'm going to yep. be seeing them at basically oh, nice. Taking their one-off. They are this close to winning their... Yeah, oh my god. Oh, he died at a 25, oh, 25 kill, kill streak. That is insane. He was five off a nuke. If anyone knows what a nuke is. Okay, so, we, so they do have a healer. Okay, so you okay, right so they so do Flyboy have a Moira. is on Moira. I did see, what's it called? I saw Overpaid. someone playing as a Mercy, but I think Flyboy might have switched off Mercy. Because I was going to ask, because I myself in Overwatch play as a healer, and Lucio is my main, and I'm... Yeah. And this could be the difference. And those Malgo ults, if you get stuck and you lose a Lucio ult, you and you'll survive. Yeah. yeah, definitely it would be a good game changer, but... I think like, now uh, that they have Moira in, maybe you can help. But we did see them win this team fight. They did take the point back, yep. taking it away from their spawn, giving them, you know, a little bit of breathing room. You know, definitely is good to see, you know, uh, fading back right here. Uh, Billy out see, of the all go, Here we go. see good play from Flyboy, by time. the way. Yeah, Billy you know, just playing his life. Get it back Flyboy playing the, his life there as the Moira. Oh, get it back out of the And baby now we're going to see a baby diva again. Right after he gets it, Zenyatta using their ult. Yeah, it's right back Diva out of it, has their ult, so Diva can use the diva bomb. And if Billy does it right, could actually swipe. Yep. And it's smart that he actually gets it now because they are going to be going towards their spawn. Going to be going for that final push. And if Billy does it, they can actually get this point back. Yeah, and as we see, like, uh, go, see Saturn going down as the tracer. And we do see, see the, the diva all. Nice getting job no getting one smart there. job from the Cobras there to get out of the area. So the Cobras are making sure they win this shooter game. Yeah. We see Hogeki playing as a Zenyatta. Yeah, definitely. This is definitely good from the Cobras. I think from what, what I think they need to win this game is to win these shooters and to win these strategies. They know as they see the line, they know they're probably going to win these Good fighters. shot from uh, Rage in there, by the way, hitting his opponent midair. I couldn't. I think that was Paku. Yeah, I think that was they had Paco there, but you know they know they're gonna win these fighters. They know they're gonna win, probably win, most likely win these sports games. You know, but you know if they take these shooters and these strategy games, then the Cobras have the chance to take this game. Take this game. And here we see Billy switching to the Malgua now, realizing maybe they need this Malgua to kind of take this game back. Yeah, they do have three minutes and thirty-five seconds. If they hold on and you know can try and get it back, then it goes to who goes who gets who furthest. Goes first, yep. And if that's the case. The bots need to get, they need to get this wall. They need to push it. Yeah, they they cannot that point stay. Moving. They don't get this point moving. This basically is looking dreadful for them. Yeah, the Cobras has basically been locking down the bots like this entire time. And just barely props getting them. can go to Ragin, who's been proving as his soldier and has been kind of the game changer for them. We're seeing TK Bad Moon as the Malgo, by the way. I've seen TK, I think, pop off his ult two or three times now. Uh -huh. Getting it, playing it smart, playing strategically. Oh, oh yeah, shit. definitely. The, the Cobras are definitely doing work, but we do see a push coming in from the bot. We, if Malgua can stay healed, we do see Bubbles pushing as the Reaper. He does have it all as well. And Bubbles is doing good as the Reaper. Oh, ended, trying to go for TP, but I ended up Good job from the Junkrat, by the way. Junkrat from uh, Paku Paku. Oh, okay, so we see a Junkrat from Paku. And then we you see Zenyatta again. This is his whole Geki. You know, going in, pushing up again, trying to get back to where there was for the point. They could, one more team battle, the Cobras could really take this. And we do see Zenyatta has their, has their ult, so Zenyatta goes down. To use it. But Bubbles uses his ult, Bubble gets taken down by La Bamba. And we see right here, we got Hogeki with the soldier in again. Oh, we see that orb going through. Yeah, it's opting to back up knowing that, hey, I'm not willing to take that fight. Both, uh, right there. I can't remember who's playing as the Moira. Um... On the, the Cobra Cobra's side, yeah. uh, that's uh, Jekyll, I'm pretty sure. Um, or no, Jekyll's not it. Someone's playing as Moira. Yeah, whoever was playing as the Moira there, smart for oh, fighting so, for the so life. Oh, so it's LA. <laughs> so LA Moira. was smart there, playing for his life, not you know knowing that he's outnumbered, not going in. Uh, surprisingly, he doesn't go for Kiriko, I guess, just for the calm. 
Does it go I'm, for character? Yeah. Last night in the Bucks first the Ravens, we did see a like three man team of DPS on oh, all. Wow. Well, it wasn't three DPS. They had Doomfist. Uh, I forget who they actually had for DPS, like the actual DPS, but then they had Moira. So Moira, a very damage based, you know, healer. Yeah. If you want a, a good Moira, gets good damage, gets kills, gets assist. Yeah. But also gets yeah. healing. Definitely, if you're running for Moira, you know you. Definitely you want to get damage. You have you to get, get damage. You gotta get also get the heals in as well. So it's but, like you know, a it's a two way play. It's a two way and play. So we're seeing LA playing as this Moira who's, you know, fighting for, like, life, not trying to, you know, rush it and get killed easily and yeah. let the co and uh, let think, the bots yeah. get the, you know, wave back in of, we're going to kill people, we're going to get a team push in. Yeah, and I think... Uh, and we see uh, Billy getting the ult and trapping, but we do see the ult go in from Hogeki, so good Zenyatta ult. Yeah, this is definitely a good play as, you know, the Cobras take back the point right here. And we do see the Cobras taking back point. Zenyatta doing really good as the healing and throwing off Discord orbs. They're going to be yep. getting a baby diva. We win. And they ended up winning. So the Cobra's yep. taking a, f a shooter. That's. I think that's what the Cobras need. And them, this entire season, all we've heard about the Cobras was they can't win shooters. They're not a shooting game team. But here they are proving that they've practiced, that they can do it, that they've done it. Yeah, and they go up by one. And winning a shooter game, and that's big. That's huge. Like I said. If the Cobras do want to win this game, they know they're going to win these fighters, these sports games. They kind of have to take these strategy gotta, yeah. and these shooter games. And, and they really wanna, especially for really the road to it. Michigan, if they want to get past these bots, they want to get into the next thing. They need to win shooters because they can't just leave that kind of category out and leave it as, you know, maybe next season. They're working on that, and they've done a great job this season to prove teams wrong, prove us wrong as the viewers. Yeah, definitely. This is good. Like you said, as you can see right here to the road of Michigan's in that third and second place spot in the North Conference. Is these two teams facing off right now? So they're going to be going against each other again in a couple weeks. Yeah, this, again, this is a chance for the Cobras to see how they can match up against this bots team. Um, I know probably this is probably isn't probably the lineup the bots would want. I don't uh, think maybe so either. Because I know they would probably want like Scans, Scans Silver, Silver, Mordecai, Mordecai Dingus in here. You know, maybe we'll see them for the playoffs. Yeah, unfortunately, they couldn't be here today. But because of that game, we saw great gameplay from Raging Cajun as Sojourn. We saw great gameplay from Jekyll, or from Bubbles as a Reaper. Hogeki doing really good as the Zen. Up next, we're going to be going into Madden. We're going to be seeing Flyboy and La Bamba going Ooh, for Oh, I just realized Billy can't go in. Billy can't go in for Madden. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. I mean, then again, but if he's coaching, Billy, Billy, Billy and Labama, they play, they play a lot together. Yeah, Usually, when they have that Madden, sync, they, they're kind of in chem. You know, like they're brothers. Yeah, the day, they're so brothers. They, they, they have that chem as brothers. But Billy's definitely, you know, kind of a shock to not have. I, I know he would have wanted to play it today. Yeah, definitely. but he can still get games that he's like the best at. Yeah. So if I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure they're gonna put Labama on QB. I think Flyboy. so as well. Yeah, and Flyboy is a receiver, receiver, but maybe Flyboy then, knows. You know, Game. Billy and then Billy can coach, you know, coach them through. Um, I know for the Cobra side, Jekyll is definitely going to be the quarterback, the QB, and then Bubbles yeah. is going to be the receiver, definitely. So there should be some good Madden. Should be some good Madden coming in. Um, you know, Overwatch. You know, Cobras taking that, taking the taking first that shooter, game. Yeah, taking the first very good of game, the game, very good showing from the Cobras. So next up, we're going to be going into Madden. Here we see it loading up. Then we're going to be seeing so a wheel spin. Oh, good. The Ravens versus the Ravens. So we got the Ravens versus the Ravens. Uh, you know, that is typical. It's usually what we see, usually mostly at the league. We're going to be seeing Yu-Gi-Oh! up next before the half. Oh, gosh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Which is definitely one of the games that I know Strix would want to play, as Strix is really good at yeah. track games. He likes these types of games. And Are shout out to Strix. Are we going to see a touch back here? Yes, we do. We see a touchback, so they're going to go out to the 25 yard line. So here we see the bots with the ball right now, I believe. I believe they're, they're the away team. Yeah, I, I think I think so too. So we see as we come about. So both Ravens team, obviously, you know, when you're using the Ravens, you're going to really want to utilize Lamar because, you know, he can, he could throw. He has a good arm. He could throw. But he can also, he run. Can also run into Like, if they don't feel confident with running, or they don't feel confident with throwing, they can have Lamar run and yep. just get them easy points. Definitely really good, as we see right here. Going for the running. And as he said, you know, he running exactly it with Exactly that. And he did get his X Factor before getting get it, get it, get it three yards in, you know, going out to the 28 yard line. 20, yeah, 28 yard line. 
And so you good. are correct. La Bamba's going to be the quarterback. Jekyll's going to be the quarterback. Okay, yep. As is sure, we'll see. So the Ravens, so the Cobras are going to be the home side of the Ravens, and the bots are going to be the away side. So the bots are going to be in the white jerseys. Cobras are going to be in the yep, purple. The poop Cobras are going to be in the purple jersey. So the bots here. Here we see them running the again. Maybe they don't trust the throwing game. Maybe they are worried about Bubbles' defense because Bubbles are controlling this defense. You could they could get a pick six. Oh, whose was that? Oh, you see Hollywood. He's like, dang man, I got it. Now look at this, bro. Oh, no. Nah. Was it? Yeah, that's that's a good question. That is a good question, but he's probably they're probably just gonna just go back into it. I think it's gonna be all good. We're just gonna go back into it. Okay. You know, it didn't really so affect. So just a technical yeah, issue. Didn't really affect it, gameplay. It, it, you know, it was Hollywood here. being the game master decided to go back into it. So yeah. good call from Hollywood. Yeah, it didn't really affect gameplay. You know, they was here as they was picking up the plays they was doing. So it didn't really affect gameplay. So they're just gonna run it back as usual. As we see, and we do throw see it throw. Oh, that's going to be an interception. Yeah. So maybe that's exactly what I didn't want to throw oh, the man, pick. And pick this could six. be a pick six. Oh, could be. Oh, no. It gets it right out to the 13 yard line. Did juke that guy. Yeah, Whoever yeah. that was in the back did get juked, but they didn't, they didn't result in anything in the end. Got them a and first. From what I'm hearing, uh, did I hear a forfeit? Oh, and that's a forfeit from the bots. Forfeit from the bots. Okay, so they're going wow. straight to. Wow. Yu-Gi-Oh. So we are seeing Yu-Gi-Oh before the end of the half, guys. We're seeing Yu-Gi-Oh. No Yu-Gi-Oh. This could probably end the half. <laughs> probably. But then again, Yu-Gi-Oh could be a quick game as well. Could be as well, yeah. Could but be. But it depends how from that goes. Bots, whatever the issue was, we saw. But here we saw um, Cobras did pretty good. They did have Optimal. So next up, we're going to be seeing Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh with a timeout called, by the way. Oh my god, they they want to get Yu-Gi-Oh with They, they want to play this. They want to get Yu-Gi-Oh they, with They're making sure it gets played. Now, is that a good thing for us? <laughs> Not for us. Not as us commentators, but you know what? Shout out to them. Uh, this will be fun to see because I know Strix knows this game. When we played against them uh, this season, we played against the Cobras. Strix did like these track games. Strix knows what he's doing. Strix is very smart when it comes to these games. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely going to see Strix here going in for the Cobras. And I'm pretty sure from what they usually go with the trend with the bots, they usually send in Paku for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Maybe. I'm going to be honest. I don't know a dang thing about Yu-Gi-Oh, but hey, we improvise over here. We improvise. We improvise. But I think it's going to be a good Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Oh game. Um, I don't know what decks either team are going to run. I know they've been running a couple different decks going in, but I think this is going to be a good game. Good game. If you're the bots in this Oh, they're actually setting in Flyboy. Okay, so okay. they're going to have a coach, but they're probably just anchoring Flyboy to okay. then get the four left after in a game that they know they can take, right? Uh, you never know. Maybe Flyboy is a, is a Yu-Gi-Oh god. Yeah, for all we know, he can be Fly, -Oh like, we, don't, we don't know much about Flyboy, so we, he is like a rabbit in the hat. A yeah. trick. So like we a really, wild card. we he, really don't know like what games. The like, bots decided to bring at. him here today, so obviously for a reason. They've decided to bring him here. He's definitely should probably imp you know impressed them. So yeah. I'm I'm kind of excited to see. Maybe he does know what he's doing. We're gonna be seeing Flyboy versus Strix. Most obviously, like yeah. Strix. Definite. Strix, I know he knows what he's doing, yeah. so it doesn't really need to talk about that any further. Now, if you're in the bots here. And you don't win this game. What game would you want rolling next? Oof. To get yourself kind of to get you on that like to get that you know mentality back to come back you know try and stop that huge win streak that blows you out of the water. Um, I would say Starcraft, but I don't think. I mean, maybe. I, I mean, maybe the Cobras league. might play. Yeah, league, league, League Starcraft. I know that would be really good for the bots. Maybe. And we're going to get Apex. Apex. I mean, that could be good as well. That could be good as well. So what I'm seeing right here, what am I looking at? I'm looking at a card. So he's going to put something on the field right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. It's going to activate that effect right there. So we're going to be seeing a fusion monster getting summoned here by Strix. They definitely are playing the smart. Strix knows what he's doing. It's a shame that I don't know what they're doing. I'm kind of just watching it. I'm trying but to see what deck they are really. Playing. I'm also trying to see. I can't because they were talking about it 
they do have multiple decks that they can play. Yeah. Knowing, knowing how the Cobras, I know like few people in the Cobras know what they're talking about. Yu-Gi-Oh! Already keep confusion in right here. Oh, he's going for a... Ooh. Okay. I see. It's some, it's some type of dragon deck. I don't know what specifically. But do we think we're going to see an Exodia deck from the bots? Hell no. Nah. Because I don't think, I don't think uh, Billy would do all that. I don't think so. I mean, maybe. But I don't know. But Maxi, definitely a good... Yes. But uh, we're going to get some help. We're going to get a special guest we're help. We're going to get a special because... guest help because, you know, me and Exile don't know what the hell we're talking about <laughs> with Yu-Gi-Oh. So we're going to get somebody who and is ex very experienced yeah, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Who will be able so. to tell us the kind of like who looks more predict like who looks more of a favorite in this and who looks more of this is going to be a win for them or this is looking bad for them. Yeah, definitely, definitely going to be good, but. As we see is going on, How's we'll see. Going? We that. Yo, when we Shout see we got Zach, Zach attack. attack going Shout on. Shout out to right Zach there. Attack, able to help us out. The so goat. we see right here, uh, both Cobras and the bots are running mirror decks. They're both running branded fusion decks. Oh, man. Okay, so pretty that's... much they're trying to see which team can play a better branded fusion deck here. So a mirror deck, that is definitely interesting. That is definitely interesting. Okay. Um, definitely, definitely see something, you know, probably they know, like, how these cards, like, are these cards, like, any good when it comes, like, meta-wise? Uh, for Branded Fusion, those type of decks are pretty good. You okay. see a good bit of them, uh, if you go online, ranked plays. Mm -hmm. Uh, main thing about Branded Fusion is that they try to get a bunch of fusion summons to bring out powerful monsters with high attacks and powerful effects. And it's usually focused around doing summons and all that on your opponent's turns. Okay. No, no, on top of doing it on your own. It's definitely, definitely interesting. They're definitely an interesting deck to go with. And the fact that they're both running the same deck is definitely going to be, <laughs> it's definitely going to be a treat. Definitely, like you said, it's going to be, you know, who can basically run a better branded deck. Yeah, like I was talking with uh, Strix earlier today. <laughs> Uh, before the game started and he was like if the bots are running their same deck that they usually run the branded fusion I'm running a mirror and it's going to be better I'm like alright we'll see I mean what do you think what do you think could make it a, a better deck like what do you think the Cobras need would to like make that a better deck as you see because they are running the same deck like you said yep. so pretty much the Cobra, literally, with how this well, mirror match like this happens, is who pretty much has a luckier hand. Okay. Because the you hear a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh players say "heart of the cards." <laughs> yep. And that's literally how most of the these duels go down to is literally the heart of the cards, just drawing from the deck and just hoping you get a good uh, card. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense right here. That and do we know if Flyboy is being coached or is he running this by himself? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't. It doesn't look like someone's sitting in this corner. But he's also been playing these cards, so maybe if maybe he does know you. Yeah, maybe this was a game, and he he's pretty good at it, and he knows what he's doing, and he's a strat game player. Yeah, could be. Could be. So I we see really he's see about to bring out another fusion monster. That's one of the effects of bringing out one fusion monster. He's able to do another effect to bring out another fusion. That's one of the things with, like I said, with the branded fusion deck, that's literally just constant fusion summons, bringing out those high attack and powerful effects. Okay. I can see as he gets the fusion they're going right here. So it's basically just a rinse and repeat is what you're saying. Just to get the Absolutely. easy. Absolutely. Okay. And we see that Max C up there. Then the effect of Max C, which you see often when people run like Exodia decks, it's when uh, someone special summons, uh, which is like any type of fusion, synchro, all special types of summons, you get to draw a card. Okay. So basically, you get to draw a card from the deck, basically. Yep. Okay. And we see here, use another effect of the fusion monster to do another fusion summon. Okay. Does you see that going on? Yeah, definitely uh, looking like the the bots, if Flyboy is being coached or not, 
Definitely that got a game dragon. plan. Now Move that it. one's uh, one of the ace monsters in any type of uh, branded fusion deck. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, the we bots do definitely see the see... bots building up. Yeah, yeah. But could this be playing like a slow game from the uh, Cobras? Like, could this be like just going straight into Strix's hand? He's letting them do this, and he can counter it. It could with the effect that Strix has on the field. Uh, that monster would never. So he was just using to in junction of the Ice Blade Dragons. He chose one card in the bot's graveyard and completely banished it so that way he completely gets rid of any card that he does not want to deal with okay and right now the ice play dragon the reason why it's good is because he gets to pick a card on the field so and completely banish it. it wow so now strix life points are completely open that's insane ready for flyboy to attack directly so he could go from a, yeah, he could go to battle phase from here. Oh and yeah. With the math adding up, that looks like it could be game. Dang, just like that. Yep, exactly. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Goodness. So Flyboy might actually know, and here we see Strix giving him the clap, the respect, the respect. Good job from the bots. A huge win to take before the half. Shout out to Zach Attack for helping us. Yeah, with shout this. out to Zach Attack for helping us with Yu Gi Oh! Of course, no problem. Thank you for helping us commentate that Yu Gi Oh! game. And the bots taking Yu Gi Oh! And so up next, we're going to be seeing Apex, but I, like, yeah, we might not know, not know a bit about Yu Gi Oh! But very impressive play by Flyboy there, whether he was coached or not. I, yeah. I kind of want to ask if the bots do win, I will ask, was he a coach or not? Yeah, definitely. Because yeah, it was, that this, was good. He planned that out correctly, and then you saw Strix give him the kind of clap of respect. Now, for Apex, you're going to be able to see one of Billy, LaBamba, Paku, or Saturn, and one of them has to stay out, but then Ellie and Ragen have to go in. Yeah, so I think for the bot side, we're definitely going to see Billy, LaBamba, and Saturn leaving uh, Paku out. And then LA raging, and I'm a guess Hogeki is gonna go in for this. I'm just trying to think. Since it's the Cobra setup, they can pick. They can pick uh, mode, right? Yeah. So I get to pick a mode, but I think the bots get to pick map. map. And I want to see if they're gonna pick the new map, like the newest map with the skull in the middle. Oh, the skull in the middle. Oh yeah, I see. I see that map. That because map is, I was yeah. thinking about that last night, but the Bucks Ravens ran control, so we could see another control here. We could see a gun run, like the Reapers Wolves ran, and the Reapers took gun run. It's so it's so funny to see control ran in same, this format. It's same just like, here. It's a three v three control and big big map, and it's just like six players this is like you have to go through all those points and it's just like oh so they're leaving billy oh. out i okay. mean that's smart i you know billy smart billy well. leaving billy always leaving billy as an anchor is is just that's, so reliable yeah. it's just so and so reliable. we're gonna be seeing hogeki la and Ragen, and once again Call another it. shooting game and all three of those in the overwatch showed out so we can't say oh it's them in a shooter like they literally showed out in overwatch yeah they definitely did good in overwatch and this could be the story of today if these cobras could take these shooters, shooters from yeah, the bots. the story of today and maybe the story of how this season plays out for them in yeah. the bots it's how the playoffs could start off is it would definitely show that the cobras been have really been working on these shooters maybe just well i definitely think with these shooters they brought in magnus sam who is exceptionally talented at shooters yep. so they have magnus sam they're gonna they're obviously improving but even without magnus sam here today we're seeing them win yeah they're doing good and you know obviously Yu-Gi-Oh didn't go the way like how they wanted yeah. to go you know strix was saying what zach told us strix was saying that okay we'll just run a better branded deck and yeah really and go unfortunately it, it didn't happen but because of that the bots kind of came back with a one point lead there's still 19 minutes in this half yeah, you were saying before, like, what games does the bots want, you know, so... Because I'm, like, start thinking, trailing. yeah, that you don't want them... They don't want to trail. They're 7-1 and one right now. This team knows what to do. They're obviously... They're second best in the division, and the only time they lost was against the best team in the division. Yeah. And so it's, it's just... like, it, it, it's expected. Like, you're playing against the Reapers. That's your only loss. Of your other team, you've shown up. You've beaten. And, like, those, those seven wins, like, they beat, like convincingly too like it wasn't like 
And we I don't think forget. like they were like, all like they've close played games. games. They've showed up to three mans against the Bucks. Billy's literally won League of Legends as a three man. Yeah. Literally taking out the Nexus as a three man against five, like doing it like that. Yeah, I mean the the bots, you know, Billy and Baba, they're really, really good. They're just league. they are like a dark horse. Yeah, they're just really, that really strong. Like, that two like, together is just like and then you can throw in Saturn, Skance, Silver, Mordecai, Dingus, you know, Flyboy, yeah, Paku. His Flyboy just showed out in Yu Gi Oh! And if he wasn't getting coached, because I don't think I ever saw him really talk. Yeah. If he got if he did it himself in Yu Gi Oh!, that's a player that they have for strat. Yeah, there's definitely they show it like, okay, we're gonna add more to our strategy game. You know, we're are they they're already, they're already like, strong, strong as strat, yeah. but it's like they're adding more and Flyboy might be good in other types of games. And up next, we're going to be seeing Formula One. So, Billy's going to be going in for Formula. Okay. That, that's good. I know Billy is pretty good at the races as well. And I believe... So, they are playing all. They just so, like so to go, go all. So, we're going with all... So, it says we're going with all legends. Going into... I do see a Mad Maggie. I see a Loba. And I see a Seer. Seer right there. So, yeah. That, okay. That's it. And this is... So, we're seeing a, a Bloodhound. Okay. Bloodhound's a smart call. Well, Bloodhound, Bangalore, and a Loba. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Pretty good. And they're good. playing on the house map. The house this is map, a really yeah. good map. They play, they're playing TDM. Yeah. So they're, okay, so they go with TDM. Usually, what what teams like to go for this? They used to go to this high point right here. Yeah, they, they hold them. For, they hold that they go map, for that point. and that's yep. what we're looking at from the bots. You see Saturn trying to get the top. He gets the top. They've been scanned. They they did get scanned by the Bloodhound and the other yep. team. We're yep, seeing right. Saturn get pushed. Nice going Switching with the peace to... make, peacekeeper. Oh, actually get a shot. But out the right person's there, but... still cracked if he can call it out. You the see Paku is... Paku up on the second level. Yeah, definitely uh really good how they're how the bots are taking the initiative in this match. Going out good with smoke the bank from smoke. Paku Paku. Still corrupted that vision, you know, making sure they don't get these shots off. Uh Paku would go with the shield battery, get that shield back up. Oh, doing it right in front of their face though. As you see, all see two of the Cobra members right there. Bring him back out the Peacekeeper. Here we see Paku Paku making oh, sure he nice. reloads. Paku Paku nice. picking up a double Suck. kill here. Good job from Paku Paku making sure he was reloaded. So good, smart team play from the bots. Yeah, kind of hiding behind the corner, you know. I, I'm guessing. The and Cobra now we can see Paku Paku that. healed up. Labamba still taking shots. Good call from the Seer, by the way, using their ability. Uh huh. Definitely, definitely good, good on Paku. Hold definitely, up. no, it's just to hide behind that little corner. I'm guessing the Cobra Go member didn't see it. Here we see Labamba going down to yeah. PC1, so which now is it's going 2 2. We see PC11, which is uh, Ragin, so good job to Ragin. Okay, nice. Paku Paku taking three, three, down another, again. so it is 3 to 3 now. Hogeki's on that house, shielding up. Yeah, and you know, and how we really run all these game modes is an eight-minute timer. So or first to twenty-five. Or first to twenty-five. So is so the timer this goes is out. Close. Or if the, the first team that reaches twenty-five, then that's game. And this game could be finished before before we really go into halves. So we could possibly get another game in. I don't know if we got that wheel spin yet. We but did. We did. I'm just trying to remember what it was. No, okay. Oh, it's F1. It was F1. Oh, yeah. Formula One. Formula One. So, we're going to be seeing Billy the Goat going for F1 as he's anchored. Ooh, Good man. kill from the bots getting the kill, I believe. Oh, no. Geki right there. So, the score has gone up by three. They now have taken a three point lead, six to three. Yeah. Bots really showing up, making sure they can take a shooter. Here yeah, we they, see ooh. Raging getting shredded. Yeah, they was like, okay, we lost Overwatch. We Let's see Labamba. Labamba, good job of keeping his shots on target. You can tell that Labamba knows what he's doing. Yep, that for sure, for sure. Yep. Here we right see here. the Cobras are actually kind of getting pushed back from their spot. Nice, nice. But good from kill Ragin. from Ragin. So okay. keeping the score to a three-point lead, making sure they're still in this game. Go for the Bloodhound ability. The sword for that sonar scan. And if you can notice, Ragen is eight at 82% for his ult. So once he gets that ult, this is when it could switch the game. Yeah. Basically, uh, whoever like he can see, they're basically marked they're red. They're highlighted red, yeah. and his screen is highlighted green or gray instead. So everything is gray, but only the opponents are red. Yeah. So it's easier to see. Go to the slide of it, trying to catch who is right here. We see a 2v1 yep. on the Seer. They Taking did get La Bamba, La Bamba down. So the score is now six, six to, seven, to seven. One the point Cobras difference. The Cobras are bringing this back, going up for the scan. No hostiles nearby. 
which is really good. The, the Cobras are really bringing this back as you see oh, see Rage going in. Oh, Rage getting it. taken down. Good kill. We're going to be seeing LA getting swam back in. Paku Paku taken out by Hogeki. Okay, we see LA with the set though right here. You know, pretty... Uh, it's a pretty good gun, to, pretty good sniper to have, you know. Well, it's a smart play, play on this map because if any of them hold angle, LA can sit back and pull off shots and take people out and let his team push in. Yep, that for sure. As you see LA, come, LA coming in, one of the boss members coming in, and, you know, LA is really showing that, okay, I could do this too, get an assist right there. Here we see two-point lead now, you 8 to 11. 10. We got uh, Rage and Action. 9 to 10 out. now. Yeah, this is a pretty close game. You see, 10 Ooh, to 10 to... now. Ooh, that actually looked like a trade right there. Might have been. It's 10 10, so it's all tied up right now. And Good job from the Cobras right now, to but... come back, make the little, you know, make the comeback, make this game pressure. Yeah, definitely knowing, like, how we run it on, like, on time. We'll get the Sentinel out. Oh, just misses the shot. That would have been it. He sees someone's body peeking out of the tree right there. You can mark them if he wants. He does have his ult. Yeah, so his ult is ready. So you could kind of just use the Popping ult just to, shots. Just to Good push job them from out LA. that way. If, if he really wanted Here to. Here we see Labamba taking out one of them, making the score go up to 11 to 10. So one point. Yeah, Ogeki definitely, gets, definitely goes really down to so a 12 to 10. But Lee, there could be a flank, and LA is unaware of it. Yeah, definitely. This is like really good from both sides. Um, they're playing good. Um, the bots obviously having more chances to really. Oh, nice shot from with the wall right there. Oh wait, no, that was that was her ability. But you're really taking these chances as you see someone going in. It's gonna be ooh, really low. They get the exactly get the kill, but get the kill. Good on job Hokeke on the right kill there. for Okeke. And now the bots are up four. So they took that back, made it a four point lead. Holding this angle. Yeah, definitely really good by the bots how they're how they're orchestrating this right now. As they're going here down. Here we see they're 10 outrageous. points off from a win here. And push, up push, by push, five, and I'm guessing not a lot of time to go. Not a lot of time left. I'm yeah, I don't think there's Oh, trying to run. We do see Lucky Saturn getting taken down, but La Bamba's popping shots. Kogeki getting a two piece. So it's now 15 to 12, three point lead. Hogeki making sure that they're, the Cobras are still in this game, and this game is not a lost cause. Yep. Oh. Here we see it's now a two-point lead. Yeah, nice job. Nice job from the Cobras, you know, coming in, taking out La Bamba right there. All right. Raging could charge up the shot right here. Decides not to. Going in, nope. Going back out because, you know, the, he doesn't want to deal with that right now. Oh, for this charge stop, get these shields back up. Playing through these smokes with the Megalore. He's trying to snipe the bomb at this point right shots. here. Oh, no, that's actually Hogeki. Hogeki hitting his shots. Yeah, the peacemaker, peacemaker, peace, not peacemaker, peacekeeper back out. Taking one out, but Ooh. getting taken out. So it's now a three-point lead. They're eight points off from winning. Yeah, three-point lead, but I think it could still be anyone's game. Yeah, this is definitely anyone's game. If Go the Cobras skin. win a team fight, they tie it up. If the bots win a team fight, they're five off from winning. Yeah, most most definitely. Um, the R99, we see... Uh, and this is how they're playing. They're playing smart. Here we see Raging treading whoever that is. I think he's going to get the kill here. He yes, gets the, he kill the kill on Paku, making a three-point lead. They did get a kill. So, Labamba took out PC12, which is LA. Yeah, this is really good. The, the Cobras, Raging is playing really good. The Cobras are Raging's playing really good. Raging's doing a really good job as the Bloodhound. It's, it's been the, really kind of the standout for them. Yeah, it's just the bots have just been finding more openings. Unlucky like to right get his here. kill, but we do see, I believe it should be 19 to 15? From what I think it should be. It should be. Yeah, 15, 15 to 20, 20, so they have gang. five minutes. Uh, golly. That is not good. And from, and from what I'm hearing, it seems like there's not going to be enough time. I don't think there's enough time. They said there's about like five seconds left. I think this is going to be a bots win. Yep. And from what I'm hearing out there, that is all right. A and the bots, bots win, win, so good overall play from La Bamba, Saturn, and Paku Paku, but also good play from Ragin as that um, bloodhound. Yeah, the the Cobras, the Cobras as a whole didn't play bad at all. You know, it's just like I said, the bots they had more openings to take advantage of, and they won those the team fights. Yep. And that double kill that Paku Paku got early on in the game kind of showed how that game was going to play out.
yeah definitely it was definitely a really good showing overall um but the bots managed to take that so now you know Cobras took a shooter. And bots so up took a next, shooter. we're gonna be moving on to F one twenty three. And how we're do you obviously, feel, how do you feel about this game? Just as someone who plays, like, if you have to play it, do you feel comfortable playing it, or do you feel like it's honestly? And like, we're going right into it. Man. We're going yeah. right. They want to play another game before halftime. But F one is definitely that. It, it's it's a hit or miss for me, cause con honestly, oh, Dre, we got five. We were one off from Starcraft, by the yeah. way. Oh, yeah, they wouldn't want to see StarCraft. But we'll see. Oh, my gosh, there's a wreck already. Already? Bubbles is already out of here. Bo okay. Just as fast as we got into it. We're All right, guys. Uh, we're going to see the transition back to us. Welcome back. You so, know, Billy some the great Goat F1. Won, some yeah. great F1 we just seen right now. So, we're going to be seeing DBZ fighters. We're going to be seeing the bots actually come back, take a 6-5 to five lead with 8 minutes left in half. We're going to be seeing the Cobras take this setup for DBZ. They've got two minutes, but they're going to be able to send in one of Jekyll, TK, LA, Trix, or Rajin. They have an optimal lineup, but then we also can see what the bots want to run. Yeah, the bots could definitely, from what I'm guessing, if they want to win this, they would send in Billy LaBamba Paku. But can but, Billy go in since he just went in for F1? But I don't know. Yeah, Billy's going to go in. They get a full reset okay. since Billy was the only one available for f1 so they get a full reset but i don't know if they will send billy in for obviously if they send billy in they can have a better chance of winning but then what but happens then, if like league rules next or something i mean billy was still gonna have the option to go because oh, he's okay. a 5v5 but let's say like another game like some like another what is another 1v1 or is that all the 1v1 games already well wrote? there's still some fighters that billy can go in like mk yeah. mk i definitely yeah. want to see billy play mk I want to see Billy and a few other fightings. Yeah, Street yeah. Fighter, Billy knows what he's doing. Like, and So it's not to say that this is a really good game, and I, that's why I want to see all the fighters play today, because the Cobras have their fighters, but then the bots also have their fighters. Yeah, definitely in the fighting game, fighting game category. And this is what I makes these two contested. teams so good, because yeah. we're going into halftime playing. This is going to be the 12th game, and it is 6-5 to five before this game. Yeah, it could go with either tied. He could go in one team up. It's a good game. Like I said, this was going to be probably one of the more... This is definitely the game, the probably the most competitive game this week. Yeah. You know, the biggest game this week. But it's also just a good show out from both. And we're seeing kind of just quality on both sides. Yeah, definitely showing, definitely both teams showing why they are in the standings, you know. like And the why Cobras, they are yeah. second and third seed in the yeah, division. Cobra's third seed in their division. The bot's second seed in their division. And, and like you said, this is going to be... they're going yeah. to playoffs. Yeah. This is the reason why, like, you're seeing teams that might not... And we're seeing a timeout, actually, here. The first timeout come from the Cobras. Yeah, so we're seeing a timeout, and, yep, it looks like the bots are full sending. They want to win this game, so they're sending in Billy, La Bamba, and Paku. And from the Cobra side, they are also full sending. They're sending L.A. TK and, and Jekyll. Jekyll. So this is going to be some good DBZ we're going to be watching here. But like you said, these two teams and these two teams this is they're showing why where they are today, you know. And it's even crazier because next week the bots get to face Eclipse. Yeah. So it's like they go from the Cobras and then they can show off again if they want. It definitely is going to be a good game, you know. The bots and the Eclipse going for that makeup game. Um obviously couldn't couldn't, couldn't play earlier in the season due to some, you know, weather Snow, weather yeah. stuff you know but definitely to get to show off here you know and and the, the bots want to take this as a win kind of yeah. they want to go into that eclipse game looking like yeah we've only lost one game and that was against reapers yeah and they want to take this win as well because like we said before they lost face them again. last yeah. season and yeah. this is and their second time playing and they don't want to go zero and two in the series yeah. they want to go one and one and then go for two and one yeah and they're gonna see each other again in the playoffs so definitely having that momentum over that team is definitely going to be a big thing going into playoffs. Knowing that, hey, definitely. we beat you. We, we already beat you once in the regular season. We can, we do, can it do it again. again in the playoffs. So it's definitely going to be a good game. Definitely the the playoffs are just looking really, really good. Um, can we bring up that road to Michigan one more time for me? 
Thank you. Thank you. I need to see this this road to Michigan. So here we're see seeing right here. the bots and the Cobras, second and third seed, obviously going to be facing each other. Ghost and Wolves are the wild card. Whoever wins will be going up against the Reapers. On the Southern Conference, we're going to be seeing X Gods versus the Ravens. The Ravens actually took over the X Gods yeah. second seed after their win last night because the Ravens are two and zero in the series against the X Gods. Mm -hmm. And the Gorillas versus the Phantoms in the wild card. Winner of that wild card will go up against the Cliffs. The Bucks and the Bandits are mathematically out of playoffs. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, like you said, the Bandits, Bucks, you know, they can't, can't really, they're done for the season, can't really mathematically make the playoffs. Wolves and Ghosts will go up against each other in the North Conference. Whoever will win that will go up against the first seed in the Reapers. The Gorillas and the Phantoms, again, like you said, wild card. They, whoever wins that go against the Eclipse, the first seed. And then we have the X-Gods, Ravens. And then the bots and the Gorillas. So today's matchup again. And so, if you're looking to, you know, get tickets for this, you're seeing the 100K prize, you can scan the QR code that is on the screen right now. It'll take you to the website. Tickets are still for sale. You're going to be able to get tickets to Devo's Performance Hall in Michigan. Winner takes 100K. That's 100K more than they start with. That's a lot of money. Yep, definitely really is as we're getting into the DBZ action. And we got yeah, we're Gears, getting of, Gears of War up next. And so from what I'm seeing right here, I'm guessing UI is going to be Jekyll because he usually plays UI. And this Janemba is going to probably be La Bamba. And UI, he's a character that just, he's annoying. He is a he he is the the annoying character of DBFZ as he gets a combo going, uh, brings him back up, and he's gonna bring him back down. Yep, going for the hard. Ooh, doesn't really get the hard knockdown. Nice instant air dash to go for the overhead, but nice job for Labamba blocking it. Good job with Labamba, kind of you know he's been blocking him. the shots, yep. and now he's switched it back. We're gonna be seeing the assist in here. Oh, going for the deflect on accident, but it doesn't matter. Labamba still going in. A uh, nice combo could go for the going for the level one. It does land. Yep. Jack will try going for the reversal, but it doesn't really work out for him. Nice. So this is going to be switching. Uh, this is most likely to be up. This is LA on the Goku Black. And so because Jack was switched out and they brought in LA, Ooh. Jack was going to be able to regen some health here and he's going to be able to, you know, we're going to be able to see LA go on against. Nice. Lamanda. Nice using the EX teleport to try to get a little mix up going in. Uh, didn't really get it. He it could have still been his turn, but he was still he was a little bit more airborne. Going into the level one, La Bamba, um, La Bamba could opt to switch out, which he does. He VACs into the TN, and TN, TN he going yeah. to be Paku Paku. TN as the Paku. TN is a character that does a lot of damage. People will call him how to say a shotgun character, which basically he just does a lot of damage. Like I said, and as we see right here, oh, going for the volleyball. Didn't really get, couldn't really go for the kill right there. Going for the block string. And here we see really Jekyll coming back. back in with regen health. Both fighters kind of are on similar health, but Jekyll able to launch him up into the air and keep this combo yeah. going. Oh, Jekyll probably could have gotten. Oh, nice 2H from Jekyll. Could possibly end this. No, didn't get the combo for Here that. we see the switch out. Good play by Paku Paku. Yep, going in. Uh, really, this could be one hit for either character. If they go in for a level, a good combo going to a level three or like three level ones could really be it. Ooh, nice job from Juggle. The blue combo, so they could have gotten out of it. Some, no, Juggle, you dropped that. But could have gotten into it, uh, wasting the level three, which is not good. But and Juggle here we in. see La Bamba yeah. being taken out, but that doesn't mean like La Bamba was staying, he was doing good. Yeah. And here we see Tien back in, so Paku Paku back in. And it, we're Ooh, still nice interrupt from Paku, and that's going to be Paku's Jekyll able out of to here. take out Jackal. So now we're going to be seeing LA come back in with a little bit of health. So both fighters between Paku, At Paku, and nearly LA. identical health too. So they just got oh nice hit. That should be dead. That should be a dead. Uh, Paku should be out of here if he doesn't drop this into the level one. Yep. Nice job from and uh, good LA. job from LA able to take out and get the destructive finish. And now this Into should be Billy. Yeah, this will definitely be Billy. On the UI. Oh my gosh, it's going raw level three. Are you insane? All right. Yep. Continue with the combo right here. He should fall out of this. Okay. Overextends a little bit. Good job to Billy Super keeping dash. kind of the pr uh, pressure off. Okay. And here we see Billy taking out LA without any damage taken. Now we're going to see a. So now it's going to be TK and Billy one on one, full health, full health. 
So but the thing, like the thing, the difference is, started. yeah, the difference is Billy has six bars to work with. TK only has one, but both have spark. Both have level three. Nice reflect coming out from TK. Going in for the nice combo with blue. Couldn't really go. No, oh, try to bait out the spark, but gets hit. Yeah, and this could be a lot three. of damage. If Billy, oh, Billy drops it again. Nice spark coming out from TK. Good, good neutral play we're playing right here. Try to go in for the cross-up. Good cross job up. from Billy jumping up, but he is still getting hit from there. Nice, blocking the overheads right there. Goes for the command grab level in the corner. He could extend off this. No, just go straight into the level one. Extends the level one. Is he going to go into level three? Straight into the level three. That's going to be a lot of damage. He's going to get that HKD, that hard knockdown right here. But um, UI doesn't really get good Oki off his level three, but he could just run up. Nice reflect coming in from TK, and that's going to be it. If TK doesn't drop this, he can just do it. Go level three, level one, go straight into level three, that's and TK, TK takes it. it for the Cobras. And here we're seeing this game end. Damn. So we're going to be going into halftime from this 6-6 six, six tied time. up. S tied up. DBZ going into... Dang, DBZ going to the to the Cobras. Like I said before, the Cobras, they know like, hey, we got to take these fighting games. We got to take these sports games. Let's focus on these shooters, these strategy games. Yeah. And speaking of a shooter, we got Gears, Gears coming out of the half. And so it's going to be a 5v5. Raging Cajun and Strix are going to have to go in. And obviously everyone for the bots are going to be going in. Yeah, definitely, definitely going to be some good, some good Gears of War. I know these... These two teams, um, especially the Cobras, they've been practicing uh, Gears of War, but, you know, they could. Uh, if they get this set up in time, we could be going into Gears. Honestly, we could be going into Gears, but uh, we'll, we'll see about that if they get this set up on time. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it as because, well. Because uh, Gears, it, it's, it's a little it's, tedious. It takes bro. a little bit. It's a little tedious, bro. Yeah, it takes, yesterday it took like three different times to load in, so I'm hoping it's not the same thing. Can you say that again, voice in my head? Okay, so we will be going into the half. Uh, Cobra's bots, 6-6. Six, six. Like we said before, this was going to be a great, exciting... Time out. It's going to be a great, exciting game. <laughs> going to be an exciting game coming in. It's tied at half. And we will see you guys back here. And this is the Ultimate End Gamers League, where gamers go pro. And we'll see you back in 15. They took a timeout. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, they took a timeout. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I saw it go timeout, I was like, oh that's weird. I was like, that's a different that's a different setup timer. Am I seeing things right now, bro? <laughs> uh, so I, I was wrong. We're not Can going we into half. that uh, outro and I'm not like, we're not going into half. We soundboard it we're so not, we don't have to say it. We're not going into half. Alright, so the using the timeout. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going into half. All right, so we're not going into half. Obviously, we're waiting for this game to get set up. And we're going into gears. <laughs> you know, I, you know, but gears of war. Um, it's not like all the other shooters on the wheel. Honestly, what mode do you think they're gonna pick? You think they're gonna play guardian? Who gonna has play who has set up? That's a good question. We'll see who has set up. I believe the setup. bots had set up. Okay, if the bots had set up, I think. I don't know if they would go for something like TDM, knowing how Billy thinks and uh, how he does this. He might go Guardian, or I he think, might go, I'm or might go Guardian. King, or King of the Hill. I think King. Of, I'm like between Guardian or King, King of, of the Hill. Hill. Yeah, either one of those would definitely work out. And so we're gonna um, obviously be seeing Raging and Strix going, but then we're gonna be seeing Hogeki, Hogeki, TK, TK and Bubbles. And the Bubbles. So we're gonna be seeing Jekyll and LA held out, and then all the bots yeah. are going in for this. Which is a good shooting side from the yeah, that is a that is a strong side, and we've seen it in the Overwatch. We saw TK and Overwatch playing as that Malgo. We saw Hogeki playing as a Zenyatta, knowing what he's doing. Bubbles is that Reaper, knowing what he's doing. Raging as that Sojourn, at one point I think had multiple 20 kill streaks. Yeah, definitely. And you see the bots going in. They have to send in their full lineup. Uh, but that's five. not downplaying because they also had Paku Paku, La Bamba, and La, uh, yeah. Saturn in for Apex, and they won. Yeah, and the bots, they're not a bad Gears team. They can really hold their own in Gears. Um, is definitely Yeah, they can definitely do their thing in Gears. So this is definitely going to be a good Gears match. I know TK, he's been working on Gears. Um, I've seen some clips of him, you know, getting these clips in and how Gears work. It's not like all the like I said. It's not all the shooters. It's, it's not, not like, like yeah. It's not like a normal it's a shooter. third. It's a third person shooter, and which really bases on like movement. how you movement. Yeah, you yeah. know, if you can wall bounce, if you can hit these, if your shots with a Nasher, you know, 
We got another timeout. What are we doing? Time okay, you know, if you hit your shots with the shotgun, the Nasher. Um, basically, it really is, but, you know, really, it just comes down to that. And we'll see which team can go. So, a team is going to go up. A team is going to go up in ha- before the half. Yeah. So, a team is going to go up. We're not going to be seeing a tie at the half. We're going to be actually seeing a leader at the half. And that could be the change between this first and second half and how this second half looks. Yeah, definitely. Definitely for sure. This could really change the momentum going into because the second half. they have a 15-minute kind of break, that period of time where they're going to be looking at what's the next game. And then it's like, well, they got to keep themselves motivated, keep that mindset of like, look, it's just keep chipping away. Don't. Look at it like, oh, we have 15 minutes. We can rest. Yeah, definitely. It's like, okay, you know, let's just keep pushing. Let's keep pushing yeah. ahead. We're gonna. We know what we gotta do. It's tied up. Let's just do our thing. Let's win these games. And you know, we got this. Like I said, again, win or lose, they're gonna face. They're gonna. These two teams are gonna face each other again. This is just a highlight. Yeah, this in is the playoffs, just like a little preview of what we can expect. Yeah, in the playoffs, we're like where it really, really matters. So definitely, the. They're looking at each other. They're going to think of game plans and be like, okay, we're going to see what we're going to do differently in this game. We're going to see differently what we're going to do in this game before they face off we're again in the playoffs. We're also looking at both teams missing some of their main players. Yeah. Like, the Cobras are missing Pop. They they had Amethyst in for a few games, so she knows what she's doing. They're missing Magna, who recently got traded, can help, and obviously is a good signing for them as he's still young and can really get them, you know, learning other games. And then on the bot side, they're missing Scant, Silver, Mordecai, Dingus, Dingus, and here they have today Flyboy as his first start, and he, you know, won them Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely really good from both sides. It seems like we're getting into this gear. So we're gonna be seeing gears. We're gonna be seeing the Cog for the bots and the Swarm for the Cobras. And they're going for the Nexus map, and the Cobras usually go. Oh, we're gonna get Valorant. Okay, back in Valorant, the map. and okay. so. I think Jekyll and one other person has to go in. I forgot who else they anchored. Um, I'm pretty sure Jekyll, LA, Strix, something, uh, Rage. I think Rage is also available, so he has to go in. But they, they usually go for this map, the, the Cobras, I think, usually go for this Nexus map. But, yeah, this is going to be... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. But, uh... Definitely uh, going to be a good... Oh, no, I was about to say Overwatch. The voice <laughs> in my head messing me up. But Blame definitely going to be a good head. good Gears of War war game. Um, we're going to be watching TK here. You know, like I said... What's going on? What is, you know, is about to leave the game. Don't uh, leave the game. We want to see this game. I want to see... Oh, I guess I guess so maybe, there, so maybe something happened yeah, with a PC I think or something. There might have been a issue and it's causing... Road to Michigan. There. Road to that's, Michigan. That's why they wanted oh, to yeah. see the Road, Road to, to Michigan. Michigan. So oh. for everyone that's wondering, if you just tuned in, yes or before halftime, but if you've scanned that QR code that is on your screen, it's going to take you to the website where you can buy tickets for June 8th's performance at the De- Devo's Performance Hall, which will see two teams competing for 100 grand. Yeah, the grand Two of the best finals. teams that, you know, from both conferences. So the number one team for both conferences or whoever can win in playoffs from both conferences will take the chance at 100 grand. Oh, it seems like we got a- Maybe a tech was cool. I think that might be a tech timeout. Yeah, but it's really good chance. You know, this is something big. This is like our first really huge event when yeah, it comes. Yeah, this to is the like this is this is at a literal performance hall. This is this is a once in like this is the first time, and I, I it's gonna keep going up. We're gonna keep going up, yes. and if you want those tickets, you can go. You can buy these tickets, and you can show up and support some gamers. You can watch end gamers. You could watch these end gamers live. Get to meet them, see the mind of how the UEL. How works. yeah, how like inside, like it, know that to be a pun intended of like inside the wheel, but you get to see it firsthand. Yeah, get to see like how we do things. You know, get to meet some of these end gamers. You know, see. Like, like I said, how the UEL works. So this and gives see a great how people, opportunity. Like, and depending on what teams go, people have belts in certain games. And when you have those belts, that means you're the best at that strat, like at that category. And people want that belt. Yeah, definitely. Definitely is. It's definitely going to be a good event. Definitely, the I think, the biggest event that we've had. Yeah, the grand finals. Being in the Divas Performance Hall. So if you yes, want to get those tickets, good. you scan that QR code, you'll buy the ticket, and you can show up and you'll get to meet us on gamers. Yep, it's right on Ticketmaster. You can get those. Then you know, come out. Come out and you know, get to meet some of these end gamers, man. 
But as we see, we're getting back into this Gears match. It seems like we probably had some of these, some technical difficulties. I believe so. But we're getting right back into it. The Swarm is going to be the Cobras, and the Cog is going to be the, the bots. bots. And it seems we're going to be watching TK here. Like I said, TK's been working on his game, so he knows how to wall bounce. He knows how to hit his shots. God no, that's dang, one of the like, positives way, having boy. TK in because TK, this is his rookie year, but he's learning these games. Yeah. He's picking them up, and he's actually playing. He's winning it. Here we see oh, TK's going to be going picking up the... Going for the boop shot, going for the power weapon, going so for the So they are playing right for here. heavies. Yep. So what I'm looking at, this might be King of the Hill from what I've seen because I see the capture point right there. So this might be King of the Hill. Yeah, this is King of the Hill. So, okay. So again, from the shots, looking for a boop shot right there. Looking to take cover. Ooh, Here we see TK right taking some shots, but he still has the boom shot. Yeah, and you know, if you get hit with this boom shot, it could take out multiple players, you know, if they're close to each other. Ooh, getting a kill right there. Good on kill PC3. from TK right there. On PC3, which that is Flyboy right there. And here we see them holding point. Yep. They have contested point, but I believe one of the bots... Oh, nice. Nice kill. Good job oh. from TK. TK still taking shots. Able to revive his yep. teammate while taking shots. You know, making sure they can hold the point. Yep. Oh, look at the movement by TK. Good getting job it. from TK getting it down. I see Getting why, another one. Yeah, I, this I see is, why we're spectating TK. Oh, get the hostage. TK the is making point. sure they win this game. Yep. Could go for the kill. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, yeah. And this is just, like, good. And this is what I said. They've been working on... We've said the Cobra's been working on the shooters. And... The way how they're just taking it, they don't got really the point yet, but the bots are still contesting the point, but the Cobras have been working on the shooters, as we can see, as they're finally get down on the point, start to get some points. You see the movement from Here TK. Here we see it doesn't TK exactly, finally going down. Doesn't exactly work out the but way. But they're still holding down. points, so they're still picking up points. They're still getting the points. Uh, I guess that Bubble's was a shot going down, right there. So good job from the bots taking another kill out. Now so they just got to get the point. The bots get yeah, the point back, 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 so back. now they're in the lead. Here we see oh, Billy oh. going for point. Yep. Flash being thrown in. Going for some Lancer shots right here. Shot grenade again. Got the shotgun out. And that, and that's the shot right here. Another shot grenade going out. There's one right here. Okay, this is just... Okay. All right, they got point. They claim point, so they're picking up points now. And, like, the Cobras... Here we see a good double kill from them. Oh, nice double kill from Billy. And this is not what you want to see if you're the Cobras. Because... You see that the good win. job from Billy pushing whoever that was. And yeah, you see the score. PC PC ten. PC seven. TK. So Billy taking out TK, who's been looking like one of the best players in the lobby so far from the Cobras. Yeah, definitely. And if you're the Cobras, this is not something you want to see so early on. Seeing such a big lead coming up, as they do have the point. But if they could keep this league again, the to win King of the Hill, you gotta hold the point until you get one hundred and eighty points. And I just see some last shot going out. Ooh, didn't take a good enough cover, and Billy ends up going out. He could get up if nobody... Okay. Gets a revive by PC6, which is La Bamba. And so we see, yep, that's a shot going out. See another kill from Ooh, a nice. double. A nice, another kill, a double kill coming out from Billy. Billy, Billy is showing that yeah. he can carry this game. Yeah, Billy definitely showing, like, hey, I can play all these games. You know, again, he is... Looks at the overall belt. Hopefully Both teams looking very solid at this. Yeah. This is a really competitive game, and it's not kind of like oh, a blowout. We got Flyboy getting getting a shotgun out of there. We do see Hogeki on the next point, by the way. He yeah, he's ready. He's ready for the next point, and we get see somebody with a flamethrower and oh, going out PC with that. A, what was that? Okay, we see you. Okay. See Bubbles going for next. Oh, getting run up. Oh, oh good my job nice, from Bubbles nice to from take bubbles. out Flyboy. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Okay, and we see. Yep. It's the it's the crazy thing that you can use the dasher for that, right? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! god. They used the. Oh they, they, my goodness! That's crazy. No way. <laughs> I think that might have been TK. If that was TK, here okay. we see Strix, see Strix going down. Strix got a little bit of movement going in. I see he got a little bit of movement in it. Movement going in. Okay, looking. That look like another shot grenade or maybe a smoke. Okay, or oh, this is a regular grenade. So here we see a two on a three v one here actually. Yep. So you see he's trying to get cover. This is a rager we're watching here. Now we're back on Billy. Go for Good. a nice shot. Now Billy just Billy's going off. Billy is hitting his shots. Billy's going off. And just to let people know, Coming Billy from is behind, not yep. even aiming in. He is hip firing. 
Yeah. I mean, again, when you're when you're playing, you're playing gears, gears, you, you gotta hit fire. Yeah, but yeah. That's a tr that's a three piece from Billy. It wasn't all like at the same time, but we did just see Billy get three kills in a row. Yeah. Bots are taking this game 142. They are holding the point. TK though is a TK is looking really good. Dying right as he took. As he's trying to, I guess, revive a teammate. Here we see Billy going for next point. So the. Oh, Billy trying, going down by PC12 by Strix. Good, good on Strix taking out Billy, who was on a run. Yeah, and now we see Flyboy right here, looking for the Lancer, trying to get some shots in. It's always good to get some shots in when Lancer gets some damage in, and then let and someone then on his team push up with push the Nasher. Push in yeah. with the Nasher. Well, I'm going so here we see the Cobras are actually on the point, oh, but the but bots are the bots, pushing. PC10 takes out a uh, PC2, so PC10 that's Bubbles against Saturn. Okay, Lice Lancer. Oh, oh but Flyboy just got behind. flanked from behind. So good job from TK yep, picking see, up these TK, kills, yep. keeping his team in the game. Yep. Nice, TK nice wall with bouncing. really good movement, by the yeah, way. Nice wall bouncing from TK. Making sure he confirms really the kill. Moving. They got the point. So they're catching back up at around 69 points. Okay, the Cobras, the Cobras, if they can hold this point, uh, it's not going to be enough to uh, get them to 180, yeah, but, but it's going to bring can, them if back they can in. Get the, if they can get the next point and keep it, then the Cobras can really come back from this. As nice job from Bubble staying at the point, making sure somebody got to secure the points because somebody's got to be in there to secure the points. A nice job from throwing out the shock grenades, you know, keeping keeping the the bots from you know coming in. And as they're gonna reach the 100 mark, oh TK trying nice from TK, not not TK Strix. The Strix also Strix getting the movement down too. Okay, Strix. So here we see the Cobras are running to next point. Strix getting a double kill. Okay, the Cobra has been, been working on these these shooters. They really have been working on these shooters. They really have been working on them. But as you see, they... Oh, the flamethrower. Oh, the flame... Yeah, oh, that's that's tough. But TK... Oh, my... Oh, my goodness. gosh, from TK. Look at look at this. This man's going... And you this said this man's going in He's definitely been playing this game. Yeah, like, I, TK I know TK's showing been playing out this. that he knows this game. Don't sleep on him. Yeah. TK showed that, you know, he's not just a fighter. He could play these shooters as well, man. Look, coming in from behind, getting him out. And it looks like they could take the lead back. I think they are taking the lead. They could take the lead back if they hold this point. CK going oh, down. No, but now the cover, or now back. the bots are pushing point. We do see Hogeki staying off point there. Literally Somebody's the still point. contesting we'll for, for point, but it looks like the Cobras are catching point. And it looks like they will they fully get point. Now it's barely getting contested. Now they got point. Here we oh, see how oh, Gaggy now is going back down. They, they just, they're always so close to getting the point back to fully capture it. And then the bots are just coming to be like, nah, we're not, we not letting that, that happen. And we see the movement. Here we was. see Flyboy going down, but whoever took out Flyboy got that taken was, out. That looked like that was Strix that took out Flyboy. Here we see TK back up. Oh, now, but now the bots are back in the lead. Oh, with the boom shot. Good job on TK. Oh, that, the heavy. Yeah, that's the boom shot right there. Nice. Getting another, another shot kill. Finish. But you know, you gotta you gotta capture the point. You gotta capture the point. Well, but they do have the point. If they can hold this, they could take the lead for the first time in the match. And they okay. are gonna be taking the lead for the first time in this match. Good job on the Cobras. Good the national shots in. Doesn't exactly go for it. So with the reloading mechanic in this game, if you, you see, yeah, yeah, you could if you want, you could time it, but if you miss time it. Yeah, you your gun will end up jamming, and then the reload duration would increase. And so now, so this now is, TK pushing up. This is brave to go for the next point. So here we see the oh, bots two, are behind. Two on one, look at the, the back Cobras are having the, the lead. Bots are holding point now, I believe. Yeah, the Cobras. We're gonna now be seeing in the two lead. push. We're gonna be seeing. Oh, ooh, did ooh, I get that everyone? Boom shot? Somebody, whoever, whoever used that boom shot. Oh, TK going down. Thing. Just keep your eyes out. Yep. Yep. I'm playing. I'm playing. Okay. Nice. Got Hogeki really pushing in. Six, one point Got it. That's two of them on there. Yeah. yeah wasn't really a good push. All right. And if they just hold point, then we'll take and the lead the back. Bots, and now the bots have a uh, point. And now they could possibly take the lead back. How much time? They have like 70 seconds. They could actually win if they're on point. They could. If they, they just got to. Yeah. So here we see both teams are 40 off. They hit the 140 mark. But the bots still have it. Oh, now it's contested. Somebody has a flamethrower. Oh. Yo, somebody's mixtape. Oh, my God. The flamethrower coming back out. Nice job avoiding that. Good job on Flyboy. But now you're, you're going into oh, a lot of swarms. 
And now the now the Cobras have point again. And they're just they're just 30 points off. Yep. That's Wilfred coming in from TK. Good job from TK shots. saving his life and making sure he can regen. Push it whoever. in. Oh, that was not good to roll right there. Nice. Trying to bait out. Oh, nice. Trying to go for the one-on-one, -on -one, not knowing that hey, my life is down. Trying to go for the revive. But now he's chasing. You see the movement. Oh, my goodness. He, this man, he's bouncing. Here we see TK going down. Cobras are winning by 12. Kogeki getting a kill here. They're going for next point. Kogeki getting taken down. Cobra, bots are taking point. Billy on point. Yep. And now, oh, the bots taking back point. This is not good for the Cobras. Cobras have to push here, or the bots can actually win this round. They still have 60 seconds before the next point goes, but if the bots hold that. Oh, here we see Billy getting taken down. And now the Cobra's going to take my, back the point. This is really back and forth, back and forth that we're having right now. Nice. Going in for the shot. Oh, okay. And now the Cobras take back point again. Can we possibly see the Cobras take the go up in shooters today? It's definitely, but it they're looks five like they're off about from to, winning, and whoever that was. And if they keep holding the point right here, and that's it. We see a Cobras winning and the Gears Cobras of War. Win that. Good game from TK Bad Mood, showing that his practice has pulled off. Very impressive show out. The Cobras have been doing their thing. The Cobras showing, and look, you see right here, TK getting a. Uh, Match MVP, obviously showing out. You know, we said it before. And TK, you can hear I, outside, yeah. they are hyping up TK because he deserves that. Yeah, TK, like I said, he's been working on gears. And obviously, you see it, you know, coming into play. This man went off. That man went off in gears. But you know, now the Cobras are up seven to, to six. six. And we're going and, into half yep. with Valorant coming back as the next game after half. So I think I can finally close it out. Uh, wrap it up. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> Voice in my head telling me the Cobras called the timeout. I was already like, what? But 7-6, Cobras up by one. Really oh. exciting game going on. It's just... It's, it's anyone's to win in the second half. We're going game. up into Val for the next game. And yeah, that's it. We will see you back here in, in 15, 15 minutes. minutes. And yeah. This is the U E. Doing the dash, now they can't catch me. I be up in the kitchen, cooking it up like give me the recipe. People be acting like we friends, now we ain't friends. Y'all boys my enemies. Niggas tryna put me on the game, but niggas know that I got it. Haters be looking over this way, they thinking that I'm a hot topic. Niggas thinking they can play the game. Oh my gosh, we better stop it. I'ma take off in this game. I'm taking off just like a rocket. I'ma stay strong for my team, cause all my ways keeping it solid. I live my life like a beach, cause I wanna be in the tropics. Whenever I can't get them keys, just give me the keys to the mosque. Then show up to the party in the mosque, then you know we're just getting it started, yeah. yeah. Beatstars.com
Dripping water, H2O in my time piece, VVS. A blind and light make them look Chinese. In the form mode, pick me up, be my dime piece. Don't start no trouble, two glocks, them bitches sign me. Blue bills, where we chasing every day. Run them over, if they try to get up in your way. Tell her hustle hard, I want the cream, I get the cake. Hustle hard, I want the cream, I get the cake. See they glaze, but they know to stay up in their lane. Smoking moon rock, cookies only, I'll take to the face. Niggas wanna rock, Cyclops red beam will make a shake. Now the block is hot, oh, what niggas dying every day. 20s, 50s, 100s, when all of these in abundance. When it comes to the women, these hoes know I can't love them. Only chasing, chase the back, drugs for the head, can't get enough of it. Try to take my money, S and W, leave you suffering. Why they wanna kill me for the cream? Only thing I'm trying to chase is my dream. Is my dream. I'm a stacky, stretchy, flipping, hating on me because I'm different. It won't hurt to get the digits, yeah, I mean. Dripping water, H2O, in my time, peace, VVS. Yes. A blind and light make them look Chinese. In the form mode, pick me up, be my dime piece. Yeah. Don't start no trouble, two glocks, them bitches sign me. Yeah. Blue bills, Bridges. where we chasing every day. Uh-huh. Run them over, uh-huh. if they try to get up in your way. My Tell way. her hustle hard. Uh-huh. I want the cream, I get the cake. Hustle hard. I want the cream, I get the cake.
Welcome back to the ultimate wrong mic. Welcome <laughs> back to the ultimate end gamers league where gamers go pro. We are back from the half seven to six. The Cobras are up seven after winning a com- <laughs> after winning a convincing Gears of War match to which TK going off, getting the match MVP, securing that dub for the team. The Cobras of a whole played a good, very good Gears of War match, and that got them up 7-6, to six, and now we're going into Valorant. And if you're just joining in, uh, I am Exile, joined here of Global today. Very good game between two division rivals, first and se- or second and third, actually. They're going to be facing each other within the next couple of weeks for playoffs, so this is just, you know, a good showing of what we can expect. Not to mention, this is the second time they've ever faced each other at- in- since their appearance in the last season as an expansion team. Yeah, you know, like you said, they got about a month to prepare because they will see each other again yeah. in playoffs. So about a good month to see, like, whether whichever team wins or lose, they have a chance to, like, you know, strategize, be like, okay, we lost these games. What could we do better in these games? What could we do so we can't, like, lose this game again yeah. against this team again? So it all comes down to strat. This is a little preview. Until then, this, this is the, the Cobras. Yeah. Of what we can watch, what kind of cinema we can expect, because yeah. what we're seeing is the bots of a five man, Cobras of a seven. We're seeing TK Bad Moon, who just came off an insane performance in Guilty Gear, or not Guilty Gear, Gears of War. One of those games with the word gear in it. So Gears of War, I tried asking him at halftime. I cannot remember. I believe he said he dropped 24 kills in that game of King of the Hill. Up next, we're going to be seeing Valorant with Rage and Jekyll, Strix, and LA going in. Yeah, definitely, definitely good. Definitely good. And then we're going to be seeing all of the bots going in. So no matter what, even if they were out, they all have to go in. Uh-huh. I don't know if they're going to be playing base or all. Yeah, well, we will definitely see it. From what I've seen, I'm seeing a clove. So I'm we're seeing, seeing clove, so we're seeing I'm all. Seeing an Astra, Astra. I'm seeing a gecko. Okay. Yeah, so we're definitely going all with Fortnite being the next game. Fortnite um, being next, kind of interesting. What a, what a cop two smokes. Two smokes, one duelist, get one initiator and a sage, because you know, Go's gotta have somebody on that heels from this look like the Cobra side. And Strix was showing me, he was telling me like, hey, I always gotta play these difficult characters. So that's why he's playing, you know, Astra right here, who is pretty difficult, you know, especially if you're coming into Valorant. Um, and we're seeing the new ki- the new agent Clove. You know, I played I played Clove when she Clove came out, is... and she's pretty she's pretty cool. Um, you know, she also has smokes like Astra, and can also smoke while she's dead. Yeah, she can also smoke depending. She can switch out, and she can smoke while she's dead depending on where she uh, uh like yeah, where, where her teammate died, yeah. is. Yeah, where she but died. She or where can she also died, revive right? herself. Kind so she's. She's like three characters in one, and mm-hmm. it's been one of the fun characters to play. And so what we're seeing is we're seeing the five that we mentioned, but we're seeing a chamber, a deadlock, and we're seeing a fade. Yeah, a sage, a raise, and a fade, which is definitely a good comp. So right here, I'm watching Strix going for the ghost, you know, and then getting, uh, getting using his uh, his credits to buy, you know, again, the little His points. abilities is C, yeah. Q, and E. So with Astra, what she does, so you see all her little ult things. So her ult is her X, but she has her things where you see right what Strix is doing, where she can set the smokes right here. Basically, she can get a full view of the map, seeing where she can smoke off. Unlike some other characters with smoke, they would have to be at a certain point to where they and can put smoke. see Strix actually keeping one of them. Yeah. So he can use that later on in the round, and I believe that's what he's going to plan on doing. He still has his E, which he's going to try and use off the bat. Yeah, definitely, and I'm seeing with LA, um, he did use to buy, uh, it seems like, a wall, which if in the pistol round, I always use a wall just to block off that one point coming into sight, so either the bots have to commit, which is see they're already breaking that down. Here we see, see some shots Strix going out. actually holding a good angle up top, aiming just so over the wall, kind of at head angle. Oh, oh we do nice see a shot, good from, shot Billy. from Billy. To... And then Saturn takes out Jekyll. Come on. Okay. okay. We see Clove Rage still up. Rage oh, takes out Labamba. Oh, oh my goodness. No so Cage is going off. Magic card, which is Raging Cajun, I'm pretty sure. 
And then we have Jekyll right. All right, Billy taking LA out right there. LA. We're going to be seeing Clove, which is Raging versus yep. Billy. And if you don't know, Clove also has the ability if she if she gets a kill or any damage or any assist type of thing, she can get uh she basically gets like overheal like a shield basically. Like like Reyna, where when Reyna gets a kill, she, she can get health the, back yeah. or she can get overheal. That's basically what Cole Clove can do where she gets a help. Oh, right there. Good job from uh Raging Raging. with a 3k. And he could get a two piece here. We do see his teammate, I believe, pushing the raise. Got the raise, yep. But the frenzy on hate helped though. Oh, oh, the get the yeah, yeah, that gets it. Oh my god. The boom box actually getting the kill. <laughs> which is that is crazy. Which is a rare thing to do because most people normally shoot the Yeah, you gotta shoot you gotta shoot the boom box so you know it doesn't like explode right on you. But I guess somebody didn't know that or it was a little too late to do that. But good play so from Hogeki nonetheless. He's playing a bulldog and he doesn't use his he didn't actually buy his C. Only bought yeah, only about like it seemed like a boombox and one of the satchel grenades. Here we see Labamba actually playing for saving, so he just bought a sheriff. Yeah. Which is good, nonetheless. You know, one good, one good headshot. Oh, one good headshot from the you know sheriff, sheriff. could really just do damage. But as we see, we see raging Cajun getting a good headshot on someone. I didn't see who. Um, the bomb was trying to get a wall bank going in. Here we um, see Saturn getting a kill on Hogeki, so a good mid peak, taking out the option that was facing mid. Yeah, they're, they're looking to either play through, uh, go into the B point right here, or to push through mid, but it seems like they're gonna commit, maybe? Um, yeah, oh, nice job from the bomb taking, oh, getting the heal. Which is that's Ragen's all. So what Ragen's uh, all does, what close all is basically, is that she can revive herself. So if Ragen gets a kill within a set point of time, which he just did, so he stays alive. And here we see the Cobra taking up a two two zero lead Golly. in Val. So they are showing off in shooters today. Yeah, this I, I definitely like this. They're definitely improving. Like. We said, we, we've is, heard it all season. This is nice to see because this is the Cobra's final game and they can take this, ride this into playoffs. But also, this being their final game means they have the time in between here and their first game to actually play. Like, to maybe pick up games that they might have lost today and look like, <laughs> look, they beat us in this game, so we're going to practice in it so we don't give them as many games if we want to win. Yeah, definitely. That is one of the things because we've said it many, many times again. Like they play the bots in the playoffs, like second and third seed. It's they like play the each same other. story with the Ravens and the X Gods. Both teams have played each other. They're yeah. playing each other now in the regular season. They're playing each other again in the playoffs. Yeah, they they they're gonna play each other three times in a row. That X and that and that Ravens. must be annoying. Yeah, like, it facing is. the same opponent. Two times and then three times to make it Raging in the playoffs. Raging getting the kill on Saturn. Raging's been showing out. I know every time every time Raging has played uh, Val, he's always shown out. And that's really good. As the close smokes goes off. Good go, go, kill going from Oh, getting, getting, getting hit by the deadlock sensor. Oh, but getting good a kill on Billy. Good job on Jekyll. Jekyll setting up the little, get, little man going in. Trying to see if he can catch someone. Nice job from Jekyll holding these angles. I believe... Here we see the uh, oh. Sage Q. Oh. Good kill from Flyboy. Oh, but nice job from uh, from Ragin getting the hit on. Oh, I like this handle skill. That's good. I like this angle from Ragin with the wall. Very smart play. Yeah, using the Sage on edge. Strix playing oh the flank. And so the here Cobras we see the Cobras taking a 3 0. And if they end up taking this, they're going to be up by 2 with the next game being Fortnite. This is, this is huge. Like. And the bots, they're not a bad shooting team. Obviously, like, we know that. Like, the this bots, are just, not a bad shooting this team. This is showing the improvement that the Cobras have done and maybe have listened, you know, and are shutting up people who are like, the Cobras are just a non-shooting team. The Cobras can't play shooters and that they, they play every other game, but they're not a shooter. This is them proving people wrong. Yeah, they're proving it right and now. And it's, it's the perfect time for them to do that because this being their last game, they're making, they're showing up. Yeah, definitely. See Strix throwing out that bubble Jack right there. Jackal taking out a pick. Going in mid. So we see uh, Rage and look. Oh, sets Go up to the wall. Go to wall by Paku Paku and a kill from him to pick off Hogeki. So now if Rage wants, if he has, he would have to commit right here or just push back into me. Smoking off the, the midpoint of the mid. Smoking off mid just to see where else he can go. Possibly looking to move through out there. 
as you see, he looks to push through mid. See Strix right there watching. Strix is getting a kill on Saturn. And then get, and then uh, Raging getting the kill on Billy. It looks like the Cobra is going to go up 4 0. Oh, Flyboy getting a two piece, but oh, then. Oh, and Flyboy getting then, taken out. It's 4 0 right TK, now. TK, not TK, LA getting the final kill on Flyboy. And here we see side switch. So now the Cobras can plant. Yes, now the Cobras are going to be on the attacking side. So now they have the bomb for the plant. So they are going to go in. And basically, uh, yeah, they just need one more. They intend that they could take a 5 uh, 5 0 win in Val, which is. Which is something I didn't and look expect. And uh, look at look at or look at uh, with Ragin ten and two, by the way, as Clove. Yeah, that's so. Ragin's been showing out today. Raven, if the Cobras go on to win this, been maybe their player of the match. Yeah, and they definitely Val just been going off, just getting these kills, getting these good smokes, and obviously it's just being really good. So we have Jekyll with the bomb right here. Here we see them pushing A with right, the see Rays kind of pushing the, middle. We said the deadlock wall coming in, kind of just shut down that site. Uh, what they would have to do, they could destroy the wall if they wanted to. They have to shoot that middle part. They could shoot the middle part because shoot the ends of it. But as you see, uh, Raging taking some shots there. Nice heal coming out from LA. So it looks like they're, yeah, it looks like they're going to, oh, oh my gosh, the Rays, Rays grenades. So it looks like they're going to, Probably to rotate into the B point as they push through mid. LaBamba getting the kill on Hogeki, which is not good if you're the Cobras right now. Unless they can get a pick in. Oh, probably going to rotate towards the other side or rotate towards B. But I think the bot. Oh. Good kill from Raging yeah, again. Raging gets a kill on Saturn. Saturn. So, obviously, that's good on the bots from having someone look at the midpoint just in case for a rotate, but the rotate still goes on. LaBama getting the kill on Strix. So, that's a 3v4 right now, and Jekyll doesn't have a lot of health right now. Setting out the little man to plant right now. Nice smoke from... Oh, nice smoke from uh, Raging. Here we see Flyboy picking off Jekyll. So, it's not only 4v2 with Spike planted. Yeah, and if you're the Cobra, this is going to be a really tough task. Um, LA getting the kill on Paku. Good La kill Bamba from LaBamba. <laughs> oh, and that's it. And they cannot, they aren't getting swept here, so the bots are able to take a round and maybe actually start a comeback. Yeah, this is definitely good for a comeback. Um, maybe the bots are like or a really a good, like a side really good team. defensive side of the team. You know, defense is really where uh, you, you can really just take it in from there and then just really just run away with it. Here we see Billy. P Let's see what he's in front. Uh, decide which to, what to run. He gets the judge. He's running judge with full shield <laughs> and his X. Okay, he's he's looking where to put the sensor. So the thing about the sensor, so you could shoot it before it goes off, but you would have to really know before, like when. And I think earlier they didn't actually notice yeah, it. Yeah, they didn't because notice of it. that. That kind of caused a couple of picks to go off. What a judge though. skin. <laughs> what a judge skin. Okay, Billy looking. Okay, I see why he's playing with the, the judge, the just in case somebody here, wraps around that I corner. Um, it's getting a good clean shot. Yeah, I mean, there. his angle is at a headshot, so yep. he's aiming at the right angle. Pretty good from Billy. All right, looking to rotate back into. Uh, nice job using the deadlock wall just to just block that side off. So now they only have one point to push. So the teammates from. Oh, yeah. They're at mid. They're at mid. So from what I'm hearing, you're mid. LA getting the, getting the pick on Paku. So the bots are down 1, 5v4 right now. So I'm seeing there's some action going on mid right now. Thank you. And we, we see Flyboy, Flyboy getting, getting the kill on Hogeki. As Billy is still locking down this point. Flyboy picking up a rolling. second. Two head taps, by the way. Yeah, LA looks shocked that that happened. Oh, did he, and he doesn't know. And Billy just Billy's sneaking him on him. They're going to be on both sides looking at bomb. And yeah, Billy gets a kill Good on... Good to Billy. And here we see Strix. And Flyboy getting the... And here oh we God. see, they're coming back to make it 4 to 2. Flyboy yeah, getting the 3 piece right there. Flyboy really I showing out that round with the one Guardian. One. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe Flyboy's a Val play. Maybe he plays Val. Definitely hey, me. I could have just... No, we... 
Oh, we gotta ask him. Yeah. Someone's gotta ask him what game. Player flew in from we're, we're guessing, and he's just showing out. Yeah, he, he's definitely showing out. He's definitely <laughs> we doing can't pick. Like a, we can't pinpoint a game. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's that's just how it is. Like you said, it's like it's like a trick in the bag. You never know who, a, who will be out there. coming out from Paku Paku. He's about a wall at one side. Uh, I lied. Over here. Too. He heard me. He didn't want a wall. Yeah, they see the Astra uh, they hit, they point hit going out, so they could possibly <sighs> smoke it off, or she would say a word like consume and then pull them in. I got you. But that's up for Strix to decide, as he as he does Good another slow angle orb. Good that slow orb, by the way. He used it twice, and if anyone was there, it hit. And we see a flyboard right here, so we see the gecko acid bomb going out right there. They pushed in. Oh my yeah. gosh, nice. And then Again, another, from another Rob pick from Flyboy. Yo, Flyboy's going off. Flyboy's going off with one the Guardian. More. Yo, one more, one more. with the Guardian. He's been doing that with the Guardian all game too. But Sage does have her ult. Sage can revive. They might want to try and get that kill fast. Okay. Still, nice job looking from heaven. Trying to look from behind just in case anyone wants to rotate, but it's just one person. And here we see Clove using her abilities after her death. Yes, so like what Exile said, Clove can... Oh my gosh, what a what a pick from LA. What Clove can do, she can... Depending on where she died, she could smoke off in, like... Depending on the area, she could smoke off. So we're seeing it right here. And LA, he has to make a move. He has 20 seconds or so. To do so, and, and here we uh, see LA going down, down to make the round go four to three. <laughs> Impressive yeah. round from oh Flyboy, by the way, picking off three with the Guardian in heaven. And the crazy thing is, the last round Flyboy got three as well. So Flyboy, he's been—he's a Guardian guy. Yeah, he's been going off, and he's, he's really been buying, the reason. You know, he's not even buying the um E or her satchel, boost the pack. satchel. Yeah, yeah, she's not buying the. And that, I feel like, would be more helpful for his game if he wants to try and push himself out. Yeah, try to, like, try to like set them off, you know, what Reigns can do, go for the satchel, you know, just basically jump off the satchel. And just Here we a, see Saturn oh taking a pick off on Hogeki. Using the op. He said, hey, no peeking around here. <sighs> oh, and they're getting... So good old, good old from L.A. I was wondering when he was going to use it. Very smart play from L.A. Yeah, definitely really smart. And Clove has her old. See, see uh, Rage and uh, not old, uh, see Rage and smoking off heaven right here. I'm not gonna lie. If if um Clove had her old before she died. Yeah, that would have been insane. But hey, we gotta see what happens. Right so we here. do see a good wall off from the deadlock, which is Bitly, and we still see that Astra P. And we do see uh, Flyboy holding that angle that he held that got him a three-piece last round in the round before. Uh, still holding that angle, making sure, you know, nobody rotates him back around. Um, as you can see, making sure nobody rotates him back around. Still holding that angle with Millie. But it seems like there's some action going on the B side of things. I believe Gecko used his ult. So uh, not, I'm so hearing in comms that they're saying they're at B. We do see La Bamba holding the angle. So, Geki getting the kill on Paku. Jekyll getting the kill on Flyboy. Strix getting the kill on Saturn. Billy getting the kill on Hogeki. Oh, man. And, and that's, that's a team ace from the Cobras, and the Cobras take Valorant. Oh, my goodness. Probably Paku. That is, that is insane. And the Cobras take another shooter, with then another shooter coming up, a different shooter. And so this is going to be an 8-6 to six lead, and we got Fortnite next. Yeah, and, you know, Ogeki, Who you can know, they Ogeki send going in? off. You know, and speaking this on that This is an impressive game, performance, by the way, from Hogeki, from the Cobras. From the Cobras in, in yeah, general. Yeah, this is, this is extremely impressive from the Cobras, and it's actually it's nice to see because they're carrying themselves, and I'm, I'm actually glad to see it. They just yeah. took foul, kind of had a little shaky... You know, three rounds where uh, Flyboy showed off with the Guardian, picking off three pieces. So, that is, he, he might know what to do yeah, with the Guardian. And Raging, and Raging Cajun, honestly, going off with the Clove. Clove, like yeah. I said, Clove, I Clove, is a, is a new, yeah. Clove is a new character. Uh, they, like I said, they're really used for, like, smokes and stuff like that. So, like, when, even, the, even, when, even, even, even when they were dead, like, you know, they were still using the smokes to still, like, 
block off these sites and everything. And it's just like it's really good, really good play by the Cobras in general into Fortnite. You know, we see who has to go in on. We see two who has to go in on the bot side, which is Saturn and Flyboy. I would guess. I don't know who is sending that as a third. Though. I don't know. And they, okay, they send in Paku. Paku, Paku. Okay. okay, which is good. Still leaving out, so they still got the four to leave out. And for the Cobras, they're gonna send in Bubbles, Raging, and let me see. Strix. And Strix. Okay. So once again, another shooting game for Raging today. He's shown out in them today. Yeah, and Raging, he's he's a good shooter. We know Raging is an exceptionally good shooter. And and it's like he he's shown time and time again, you know, the game against the you know, the trolls now known as the X Gods. You know, Raging was going off in them shooters, yeah. which ultimately won them the game. And again, he's showing that right now that hey, I can win these shooters and with Fortnite coming up next, because it could be another shooter that the Cobras can take under the notch. And look, they're up two against the bots. So crazy to me. We still have not seen League, StarCraft, and or Texas roll. Yeah, and you know, League and StarCraft both being like long but games. Those too. are long games, and we long didn't get them games. in the first half. If we get them in the second half, it'll kind of depend on how this game goes, especially if the Cobras win Fortnite right here. Yeah, this could really dictate how the game goes. You know, if the if the Cobras do end up taking another shooter, and I don't know if, so it says they're the four and zero in shooting. So they right. still have COD and Halo left. Okay, COD and Halo left, and the Cobras have taken most of the shooters that have rolled so far: Overwatch, Gears, Valorant, and then with uh, Apex going towards the bots. It's the Cobras are showing that hey, we've been working on our shooters and we can we can hold our own, which is again really really good and it shows their improvement that coming towards the end of the season going into the playoff time that hey, we are working on our weak spots and once we cover up these weak spots, you know come playoff time, there won't that won't be our weak yeah. spots like come playoffs it's, it's going to be our game. Yeah, definitely for sure for sure. So with Fortnite coming up. Like with Gears, Fortnite is not the traditional shooter, you know. And Either instead, we see yeah. someone get boxed, or we don't. Yeah, and you know, in a game like Fortnite, not only that it is a third-person shooter, but it has a, a unique mecha mechanic, which is building. You can build in that game, and building whether you build or not can really show. Like, yeah. I mean, you really play this game and fortnite is a game with like a really high skill ceiling honestly because i be seeing clips where like people are just building like i'm like yo what is going on? i can't even see i can't even see <laughs> so here we see timeout or the time for the setup timer is out we're gonna see whether it might be a technical or they load oh, into, we're getting the into it so good on the bots to get it loaded up as they had to switch from that to val yeah, definitely, definitely really nice going in. And, and we're going to be getting Warzone. Another with, shooter. And it's a smart move because Billy and La Bamba were both yeah. left out. So they, could pro so they could probably go in. Or, they, or again, Flyboy and Saturn are also left out. So one of them could probably and go in And again, as well. Flyboy is in for the shooter. And if he's anything like he is in Val, Val yeah. he could be a surprise player. He really did show off in Val. Maybe, you know, like we said, maybe shooters are Flyboy's thing. We never know, but we're here watching Saturn as he's going in. Seems what he's getting, getting a Ranger pistol, getting the shield post, the shield fish, which was what you always need. You get the dual pistol. No, decides not to go for it. Excellent. So from off the bat, like teams could decide to push off the bat right here. And we've seen teams just immediately push where yeah. they're on their base. Like last night with Stars and the Ravens pushing and actually. Blocking the rate or the bucks in their base. Oh, actually getting a good shot. Oh my goodness. Somebody's already in the spawn. Somebody's already in the spawn. But where? I don't know. That's the thing. Somebody was already in the spawn, as they see. One of them's already down. And that's this looks bubbles. like the bubbles. He's this already is in the this. bubbles in this. Look at this man, bro. Yeah, but we see the building going on with bubbles. Nice job. Nice job by bubbles building. They are both building up. Now he has the high ground. So now he can see from where they're at. He sees that one of them's down. Or now one of them was trying to revive and takes one of them out. 
And that and that's it. And that's oh my that's goodness. That's the first round down out of the two that they need to win. Very good showing by Bubbles right there to get to their base. And look, I didn't even each expect of, that. Yeah, and each of them, each of them got an elimination. Bubbles, Rage, and Edge Strix got an elimination, and that's just really good. Like the sh the Cobras are showing out in these shooters today. Cobras are making sure they win these shooters. Yeah, the Cobras are making sure they win these shooters. They, like we said, they've been working on these shooters. They said in the middle of the season, they said like, like they know that shooters are our weak point. We're gonna work on it. And we're going to make something out of it. And clearly, they are making something out of it right here. And it's just, they're looking fantastic right now, honestly. So, we hear them, or we can see them. They are actually pretty talkative in their comms. We've been able yep. to hear them. Bubble's doing really good there. We're going to see him here. See, I think we're going to be able to see how he got there so fast. Yeah, because he was in there smiling like that. And it was just like, oh, my goodness. Like, And I'm pretty sure Saturn didn't expect it, too, because he just came out of nowhere. He was like, oh, my gosh, my health is so low already. As you see, they're already Saturn hitting nice. 132 with the sniper. Oh. Actually, no, that was Ragin we were watching. So nice. And now Ragin has the bow. Nice using the using the bow to get out. Yo, what is oh he just oh, oh really low? You got built. Oh no, he didn't get the chance. Here Ragin we see three down. people down all grouped up. <laughs> so we got two down right here. And oh, we see the bots taking the bots it back to make it back. one to one. So now the last one again, uh, Fortnite is the best of two, so or best of three, so they have to win two. So now it's one one. So this is the last round right here, and whoever wins this wins the game. Really good showing out by the bots to kind of keep their calm, even after that first round. They were like, okay, they weren't gonna let that you know affect their mindset, and they played it correctly. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they're doing really good. They made the adjustments to be like, okay, we can't let this happen again. We can't just let them push out towards us and just catch us by surprise. Because I think that's what really, what really had the Cobras. And that's what, sniper the shot, by the way, yeah. from Ragin. Yeah, broke the shield. Yeah. 132. Yeah, Ragin broke. is showing this. He is believe, strong as I, shooting. Yeah, that was, that was insane. I Here we see Flyboy, Flyboy right only now. having one gun and just splash pots. I guess, like, he wants to take the initiative. Like, yeah, we got to go now. As we see right here. Which is what we are up. seeing. Yeah, what is that shooting from the ground? I don't... I cannot tell. It's... Yo, Fortnite is so weird, bro. <laughs> okay, as we see the game, the building up right now. Flyboy. What I'm noticing is that Flyboy's not building. I guess he's focusing more... Somebody has a grappling hook. Somebody has a grappling hook. But I'm guessing he's just focusing more on just shooting as somebody else build. As he's in, like, I mean, it's smart that, that he's person. doing yeah. that because when you shoot, like, at a certain point, it knocks their base down. So the higher they build up, yep. they'll just take fall damage. And as you see, and here we right see here. their first wall getting taken down. Yeah, just focusing on the shooting. Just gets, just gets an assault rifle. That's all he has. So he just has to play this range game right here. And I get that's a. I think it's a turret. And I think that is a turret. And from what I've seen so far, the turret. And this game one has been obnoxious for teams. Oh, I don't it. like it. Yeah. It's the, oh, my God. The one damage. Did somebody throw a grenade? Oh, my God. Dude. Yeah, Flyboy got to heal up right here. He has to take the time to heal up right now as somebody's taking shots. He isn't building Yeah, yet. he isn't building at all, which is odd. Oh, it gets and it ends up getting knocked down. Here we see Cabin Man with his sword. Who has a sword? Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on in Fortnite, bro? What is? No. Yo, what is one? What? I get. I guess the Cobras take. The that. Cobras take that. The Cobras take another shooter. This is their day. This is the Cobras' day. They are winning these shooters, and they are winning this in style. Right? I need to see this because I don't want to write it down saying that they won four if the bots won. But I just saw the samurai sword shred someone. Yeah, I don't know, but I was watching like somebody was getting hit with a sword combo, and I was like, <laughs> "Bro, I heard screaming from outside," and I was like, "What is going on?" And the cobras take another shooter that is in Fortnite, and whew, that's that's good. If I'm the fort, if I'm if I'm the Fortnite, if I'm if I'm the cobras, <laughs> I'm I'm counting this as a high. So yeah, they took a three point lead now going into COD. And I think we're going to see TK and LA. LA. Yeah, yeah no, TK and LA. Jekyll's going to get anchored. 
and I don't know if the bots want to win. Um, I know La Bamba is definitely gonna go in. They could either send in Saturn or Flyboy. Um, I don't think they send in Billy here. I don't think they send. I think in they want to just anchor Billy, just in case, like you know, yeah. a game in his favorite roles or in their favorite role. But COD coming up next, and again, another chance for another chance for the bots, not the bots, the Cobras to take another shooter, and that's gonna be like what the fifth shooter. Yeah, the last shooter that they have to play is Halo, and the bots have taken one shooter today, which was Apex. Yeah, it was Apex. And and even so, Apex was close as well. Like, it was close. Like, what, three, five-point difference? It was yeah, close. Yeah, it just went down to time. Like, it was close. So, again, the Cobra's showing that we can hang we can hang in the shooters, bro. We can hang in the shooters, but with COD coming up next, how we do COD, we do it in resurgence quads, but it's not really quads because, you know, it's more like a duo versus duo type of thing. So they drop into a quads map. So the two on each side. So basically how we do it is we do it by points. So if you get a kill, that's one point. And if you get like 1k damage, that's a point as well. And whichever team combined with the highest points win the game and as you see i said labama is going in for sure and he's gonna send in saturn okay and oh t can't actually jekyll going in anchoring l a i which actually is like not, that which is not bad at all not bad at all because let's see how many fighters we still have we still have mk street fighter uh guilty gear we still have guilty gear yeah definitely and mk street fighter guilty gear and dnf DNF as well? Okay, yeah. yeah. And DNF. So, definitely, so, definitely, that's good. Anchor in LA, just in case, like, one of those roles. Like, a DNF or something roles. But, you know, it, this is good. If I'm the Cobras, I'm in a good spot right now. Because... Yeah, it's a positive mood right now. They're looking at this, and they're seeing that they've won... Uh, let's see. How many shooters? Overwatch, Gears, Valve, Fortnite... So that's four out of the five that have been played today with the COD being the next. So that'll they be... They could possibly win the fifth shooter, bro. And that's insane. That's insane to say. And this is a team that people have said bad things on their shooting. So, and this happens to be their last game. So... Yeah. They're showing out. They're, like, like I said before, they're showing that, look, coming towards the end of the season, we're working on these shooters. We're working on these shooters. We're working on the weak part of our game. And once we... And once we like, how do I say this? If we work on that, then it's over. It's over. Because we know the Cobras, they're already good at, uh, they're already good at strategy. Yeah. They're good they're, at fighters. They're good at fighters. Sports, Sports they can take. Racers are a little bit, you know, it's a there and there. But once they know they can take that shooters, that's when it that's, kind of becomes like a it, collection. It, and that's when you're like, when you're going to look at the Cobras and be like, the Cobras are a pretty scary team to go up against. And you said this is their second season? Yeah, this is their, this second. Is their second. They came season. into the they came into the league last season as an expansion team. As we see in most of the players here, LA, the Bubbles, Hogeki, you know, Raging, they was here since last season, you know, picking up new players like Strix and Jekyll, who they recently signed this season, and making the team even better than what it was before. And they was already a good, te good team last season. And now they're even better. As you see, now they're taking third in the North mm -hmm. Conference. When, and they're also beating yeah. second right now yeah. by three points. And they've beaten them again. So if they win here, it's 2 all on them. Yeah, and they can possibly... We've said it before. They beat, they beat the bots last season as well. Again, people said Billy wasn't there. But Billy's here now. He's here. He's here. We, we've seen him. He is here, He's guys. here. That's a tall man. And he's here. <laughs> That's a tall and, man that knows how to. That's a tall man that knows jujitsu. Yeah. So and he's, he's here. here, guys. We didn't get a fake. We didn't get a clone or something. He's here. But the Cobras are up by three right now, and potentially can go up four. They could go up by four, and if Halo rolls next, they would be. They would finish shooters for today. And that's insane to say. And that they could win out on shooters for the day. And if I'm the Cobras, I'm. That's more, more than that's more, more than a than, W. Like I'm that more is. Then fine with that. But now we gotta end that on the dub. We gotta take the whole game. We gotta end it on the dub. And with Warzone coming up, we see a timeout going. You know, Warzone it could be tricky. You know, gotta add all these different accounts. You know, add these people. So it could take a little bit of some time. 
which is good. But what what other games are you looking to see today? I Next really want to see League. I want I want to see League. Any fighters you want to see that we haven't rolled? Honestly, I do want to see. Um, I do want to see all of them. I think they could be contested. I know Billy's really good at Street Fighter. You know, La Bamba's really good at DNF, and you know, the other ones like MK. You know. Like, both teams, they they could play MK, and the same with the what's the next game, Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be really good if Jekyll's available. Jekyll's known as one league of the guilty, best Guilty Gear yeah. players in the league, so it's definitely gonna be exciting to see. Is this again? This is shaping up to be a really good game so far. The Cobras up nine to six, what? looking to repeat what they done last season and beat the bots. I think there's just about like an hour twenty left, somewhere around that time, and the Cobras are up by three with a bright start from halftime. Yeah, and COD could be a long game. Remember, they were going into halftime tying, and they decided to. Well, they were actually losing. The bots could have won and taken up a two point lead. They ended up playing the final game at half. Cobras won, tied it up. up. Yep. And then the Cobras have just won each game since they've come out at halftime. Yeah, it is just. It's been a, it's been amazing and taking like we said taking most of the shooters because it's just been shooters going off out of half, so it's just been really really good to see how the Cobras are shaping up in shooters. It's just really good, but it seems like we just get this timer. No, I want to see some. I want to see some COD. I want to see some as well because La Bamba is really good at COD yep. and Saturn has been proving himself today. I have seen him getting kills in Val and some other games that we've had. So. And this is actually pretty good to see. Yeah, and on the Cobra side, we can't talk about TK. TK, he's been showing out in the shooters TK, as well. TK, yeah. And Gears of War, he's been showing out. Jekyll, you know, you always can depend on Jekyll for whatever he he's goes in He's just that for. versatile. Yeah, he's, he's, if I would say, he's probably the more well-rounded player on the Cobras. Because he can go for anything. He, he's dependable for it. You can just trust Jekyll for whatever game you can put in on. So we see you got TK and Jekyll going in. On the bot side, we got Saturn. And La we're gonna be getting FC twenty four next. Oh, with I, know, I Billy. know you want to see this. I know you want to see this. I got robbed of it last night because the Bucks forfeited. <laughs> you won't get robbed of it tonight, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Commentators curse maybe. hasn't worked so far today. Yeah, maybe if, if one of the teams decided not to forfeit, but maybe. But as we see, we get the pre lobby, which is probably the only games in here where you can like warm up in which is funny this is where you see people just fall from the sky and not pull their parachute right. and stuff and it's every always time, funny because yeah. sometimes people don't expect it and they're like what the heck yeah every time i'm always afk so people just killing me i'm like hey bro can i get my food real quick bro before i get in but we will deploy into this battlefield we'll see what we got going on again we do bases off points so the two teams tk and jekyll and Saturn and La Bamba do you base it off points. So every kill is worth one point. One K damage is a point. So combined together, whichever team has the highest points together, then that team will win. And now we see we're gonna see where we're gonna go in. Um I forgot which map this is. is this re This is a rebirth. Is this rebirth on? I don't know. People I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling caught in a little bit. So far, you know, I want to see, are they going to be playing like that they're going to try and take kills from the other? Or are they going to split up? I mean, from what I've seen teams do, they just drop like, wait until like the end of the map where they drop in and then wait for like, let's say the AFK players to like drop in and then get the kills on them. But as we see here, I don't think both teams are opting to do that. I think La Bamba is going for, he's just running to try and eat. Yeah, La Bamba just wants crates. to, he just wants to like, hey, if I see any, oh my goodness. And we see La Bamba already getting it down right there. And that's the Good first job kill. from La Bamba taking a kill, but he ends up going down to another. Oh, and then we see Saturn coming in using the self revive from La Bamba. So now we're here, we're watching Jekyll as we get going on. And Jekyll with the. Uh... Oh my god, that skin. But yeah, Jekyll playing the high ground, you know, usually, knowing most shooters, you know, if you have the high ground, is always. A good thing to have because you can see who's coming in you see where you're gonna go you know to picking up this ground loop right here he is being tracked though so here we do see that uh saturn and uh oh my gosh he sees something la bomba right saturn and la bomba i don't know why i blanked on that they both actually went down so now they're respawning back in somebody getting a squad wipe that's probably tk tk is probably going off a nice job from Jekyll getting a down. He's going to get the kill. He gets the kill. 
That's a double kill from hunted, Jekyll. Though. So yeah, when you're being hunted, you are tracked on the map, and we have somebody else dropping in. He was he was thinking about going for it, but he was like, nah. Here we see La Bamba going down again. Saturn going down. Okay. Yeah, Saturn going down right here. Oh my god, some here we was, see Jekyll going him. down. Bro, got somebody just, was bro him. just punched him. Someone's what? <laughs> what just happened? So it's over already. So who won? Someone hit, needs to hit tab. We need to see the scoreboard. That was a quick game. Somebody and then everybody's laughing because it's like, dang, it's over already. And let me see one. Let me see one K, three. Well, I think the two. bots took this. And the bots take it. The bots take it in like a three-minute game. That is insane. So both TK and Jekyll had one point. Saturn had two, and La Bamba had about two as well. And All right, so up next we're going to be had to be the quick. That had to be the quick. I think so as well. That had to be the quick. Can we, like, if someone can get a clip, Jekyll's reaction there, as soon as it ended, he, he was just shocked, and he goes, it's we, over. We, we ended, like, guys. It's over. <laughs> he was like, it's over. And I bet Hollywood was there like, are you serious, bro? Bro was probably chilly, and now we had a fucking... <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm it's just like... glad we get to see the score. Because it did seem too fast. I mean, Jekyll quite literally, the last thing we saw was Jekyll get punched by a dude with a pistol. Yeah, he got meleeed to death, which is insane. So here we see the bots cutting the lead, the three-point lead down to a two-point lead going into FC. So we're going to have to see... Which I think is like our second sports game we've seen because we haven't really seen many sports games so we've far. We've only seen UFC and, and UFC, Madden. which is Yeah, UFC and Madden. We've only seen two sports games. And I think the sports does go the cobra's way honestly so this could be another dub for the cobras and they can go up by three again with billy and flyway having to go in for the for the bots and la and whoever of their choosing can go in i think they're gonna throw la and bubbles in la and bubbles that would be a good choice though they can go la and jekyll but i think they would want to save jekyll for like any of the fighters that happens but so they are going to be seen, sending in billy and flyboy on the bot side all right. And yeah, we will be getting Bubbles and LA for the Cobras. We're going to see PSG versus France. So oh. basically just Mbappe versus Mbappe. Yeah. Same thing. I mean, I mean, what, what can you expect? That's basically kind of the meta. I mean, but then, but then France, you know, again, they have also other uh, yeah, players like France Griezmann, have Griezmann, Dembele, Dembele yeah. Koundé, stuff like that. So depending on how. They could choose with the lineup. Obviously, you're going to see Mbappe on both sides. If you don't see Mbappe on both sides, then I'm complaining or something. Yeah, That's mean, just game knowledge. That is just game knowledge. I mean, he is one of like... He's he like, is, what, top five Top five ratings? He's he's one of, but yeah. he's basically one of the most meta in the game because of his pace, he has dribbling, pace, good dribbling, and skill moves, five stuff like skill, that. Yeah. So he basically just... And his, like, play style plus gives him, like, speed. So yeah. each time he takes off, it's fast. It's fast, It's yeah. kind of... It's just a little meta. But, you know, but then again, I think depending on what they can go with, you know, with with the way we play FC football company, you know, it's not like regular yeah. FC, as you can see right here. We're playing, we're playing Volta. Volta. Yeah, we're playing 3v3 we're Rush. Play Volta, baby. And as we see right here, okay. so we see Mbappe right here. We're going to be seeing Billy and Flyboy in the blue, the dark blue, oh, with no. PSG being in the oh, white. No. We see Mbappe going for an overhead kick. Oh, no. Ended up looking like a cross, but... We'll talk about what we just saw later. But, as we see right here... Okay, so from what I'm seeing is I'm seeing uh, Kylian Mbappe, Griezmann, and Rabiot for France. And I think I'm seeing Dembele, Mbappe, and the first goal for them Four, yeah. with the mistake. So it's going to be Mbappe, Dembele, and Marquinhos for PSG. And you know, oh, they can go for another shot right here. Nope. So yeah, as we see right here, we see Rabio. Yeah, and I do. And see here we see to tie it up with Rabio. Yeah, kind of an interesting selection for me. Yeah, uh, I, I, don't I don't know if they if. just kind of saw, but there are some other options. But I won't complain. Especially better defender wise. Yeah, they when it comes have to, a lot uh, on France. France. But I don't know if they was just like you know we just pick him. I guess. Oh my gosh, what a steal! And that's a shot right there. And here we see this rush is causing them to kind of panic and lose the ball and get dispossessed. And each time they get dispossessed, they pull their goalkeeper up and they don't have time to react. Yeah, and now we'll see the Cobras take a 2-1 lead with PSG. So they got to figure something out. They could pass it right. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh, nice. I, I see the vision, but... I see the vision it. as well. They just got unlucky that it was too wide. All right. That's in the corner. I see a through pass right there. Mbappe. And that's a shot. Ooh, I would have... Uh, it would have been better if he did a little finesse shot right there, but that didn't work out as Clinton 10 2. All right, takes it out. Nice lob to Griezmann. And Griezmann that's with two, the two. shot, and that's 2 2. So, close game on yeah. both sides. Both people, just the bots have been, when they're defending, have made slight mistakes yeah. as. I think yellow is bubbles. Bubbles is doing really good to push them, not giving them space to try and dribble or do anything. Nice shot from Marquinhos. And here we see bubbles and LA on the attack again, but now it's switched sides to Flyboy and Billy. Yeah, definitely, definitely like what you said. Like the bots have made like little minor errors when it comes to like when defending. Oh my gosh, the skill moves. And then we see it right here. Back to Marquinhos. The Dembele. And I was just, yeah, I was seeing good ball movement. And oh my, and look at that. That's yeah, just beautiful. That's, that's team beautiful. play right there. That's great from the bot or the Cobras because they're playing together. They're connecting, showing good chemistry on both ends. Yeah, and definitely with like, with what, how, what the Cobras are running with Mbappe and the belly, two players who can definitely two pacey create, players, yeah, that pacey can players space. that could, that are good at dribbling, that can create a shot for themselves. I'm pretty sure they're both like five star skillers as well, if I'm not they mistaken. Are. Yeah. So, and it's just, it's good to see as he gets another tackle doing skill moves in the corner by himself with nobody on him. Trying to pass <laughs> it to him. Iso, Iso. Oh, trying to go for a bicycle kick from half court. That's insane to say. But nice lob pass to, to Griezmann or to Mbappe. And then back to the defender. Bots, bots are doing leaving fine. Him wide, leaving him wide open. I guess they're not scared of the defender's shot and the goal is wide open. And that is a goal. And the Cobras are up by two. And it's just good play, you know. The bots are just, like you say, the bots are just making simple mistakes. Yeah, they're the pulling defense. their keeper yeah. out. And because of that, each time it's holding them to open goals. And we're seeing Bubbles punish them for that. Bubbles is doing good as a sports player here to punish them in this game. Yeah, and look, going for the stand look right here. Pulling their keeper, like you said, pulling their keeper too much out. And nobody back there to defend the goal. Here we see six seconds left. Fortunately, the fortunately for the bots, they got away with that. But now going for the shot. Now they're going so to the, the second half. Cobras are going to be leading this, going into the second half with a two-goal lead. Bots can make a change here. Start kind of playing as a team. Should you know realize that by pulling out their goalie and bubbles pushing them, it's leaving him open goals and letting him punish them. And I just realized we are playing. We are playing with walls. Yeah. We are playing with walls. You know, depending the teams could have opted to choose to play without walls, but. Again, it depends on, like, if you're confident enough to not, like, dribble the ball out of bounds or what you want to do. Oh, trying oh to go for the God. header. <laughs> like, nobody said Mbappe was bouncing, bro. You can go up for those balls, bro. No diddy. <laughs> oh, my God. And here we see Bubbles is going for this overhead kick. He wants to get that bicycle kick. Oh, here we see nice Rabiot finesse shot from Rabiot. So, who is red? Red, Billy, that is Billy good. is dragging this game. He yeah. is playing. He's trying. Flyboy is helping him yeah. though. Flyboy, I have seen. Flyboy is seeing like he knows somewhat of this game, and Billy is improving from it. Yeah, they're definitely doing their thing. You know, it's just we've said it before. Just simple mistakes on the defensive end, like right here, pulling their goalie out too much, and every time the the um, the Cobras get a tackle, it's just a always a wide open goal. But we see a team play right here. They could go for the pass. And oh my gosh, they it do. goes! It goes to goes to like two defenders, and Dembele gets a shot in. And who is that pink? That's uh, LA getting That's the LA goal getting right goal. there. So LA contributing. And now the Cobras are back up by two. Seems like. And I'm another steal again, bringing the goalie out again, and they just just walk it in, and now they're up by, by three. three. With two minutes to go on the clock, something needs to change if the Cobra or the boss want to make a comeback. Oh, uh, well, oh, okay. So it didn't affect gameplay, so nothing's gonna come. That's what I said. Yeah, I was like, I was like oh my gosh! <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh! I was like, already? You see, and right here, I don't like the how they're just instantly dribbling with Rabiot defender. Bring him up a lot. Like, right here, what he's doing, you got to keep him back. Pass it. Oh and here we gosh. see. They're it's... getting fancy with it. They're passing it off the wall. They're scoring it in the goal. They're, they're going crazy. They're going crazy. They say we got, we, we, we being fancy right now. As to be expected, you know. Mbappe and look again the same mistake again bringing that goalie up too much and every time they get a tackle they always get that steal in and then they get it converted into a goal and then again the same uh, thing somehow there was a foul 
And the reason why, me as someone who loves to play FIFA, I love to play FIFA too. It's like it's, it's, it's one of my it, games. It's it sucks just, to see this, it's bro. different. It's a different way in the league because yeah. you're playing with a teammate. You have to. You're seeing Bubbles doing incredibly great by pushing. He's giving them pressure. Oh, that could have been a. Oh, that might that be should be a goal. Oh my gosh. Oh, you just They're like <laughs> flipping over. How is that not a foul? Ref. <laughs> ref. All right, here we see a two on one. There's no ref, bro. A okay. Nice goal okay. from Griezmann. To Bring cut the lead to four. to four. Okay, there is a chance. Okay. They just got. They still got. They still got ample time to make the comeback. They just got to get these steals in, like right here. This is a dangerous spot the Cobras are playing it from. But Mbappe being the good dribbler that he is, he does have the advantage right there. And that's a goal right there. Dembele scores it. That's LA. And now the Cobras are back up by we five. We are seeing this is a good team comp from LA yeah. and uh, Bubbles. Like Bubbles guess, is doing yeah. his job. I've seen him as Mbappe multiple times. He just pushes. And because Mbappe has that play style plus of pace, he just gets faster. So you can't, you have to react. Yeah, match with Dembele, who can basically who is a really good dribbler who can basically do the same thing. He's really pacey as well. Basically kind of the same play style as, um, as uh, Mbappe. So basically with France and or PSG, when you're playing with him Dembele, okay, good from yeah. Antoine Griezmann to score there, but with uh, Dembele, his play style plus is dribbling. Yeah. So you see the little like snake zigzags yeah, that's go, dribbling. Yeah. Mbappe is being the rocket is pace. I think Dembele actually has multiple bees. I've seen. Yeah, I seen his thing like change like multiple times. I don't know. Basically, any card of Mbappe on any FIFA that's like recent is always going to be a meta. Go for the skip. Oh, that could almost cost them a goal. But with 17 seconds left, all the Cobras got to do is play this defense, and they'll be good. Nice. And now we see good defense LA right by the here. Cobras. There, we're seeing five seconds left of a foul on the clock. Cobras really, are gonna win this. It really just got to play it out. Nothing too fancy. They could end up going for a goal, but now the time is up. The Cobras take FC. And next up, we're gonna be seeing StarCraft. And good lord. I mean, I don't know. They said they wanted to play Star. From yeah, what I've heard, they said they, they wanted to play Starcraft. Starcraft. So I don't know if it's gonna be. They and might be capping. We still got an hour about. 12 to go. So they this might is be, be the capping. impressive part. Really good play by Bubbles and capping. LA. Good team claim. We saw them link up together. So they played like a good team. They're probably capping. I don't think they're playing StarCraft. If anyone think... can hear outside our studio, we're hearing, yeah, chance by them. So they are, they are in the mood. The Cobras are not playing StarCraft. If they play StarCraft, I will be surprised. I wouldn't but, be too but with surprised. Strix, but, Strix but with Strix available... Maybe. I, I, I see it. With Strix available, I see it. Because I know he really wants to play StarCraft against Billy. Because, you know, when Billy... Billy, he played StarCraft semi-professionally. And so, he knows the ins and outs of StarCraft. Like, he doesn't like really got to think of about his it. Hand. Yeah, he doesn't really got to think about it. So, if they do decide to play StarCraft, I will be surprised. But then, at the same time, I won't be surprised. But if they do, I will be definitely surprised. I will be definitely surprised. All right, let me just mark this down for the bots. StarCraft FF. Because... Uh, Those commentators' curse is going to be crazy. Yeah. I don't think they're going to forfeit. I believe they're going to go through with it. They're, they're going to play, play it. They're going to... I mean, then again, I see why. Because for time. an hour left. Because yeah. they could play this for time. They could play this for time. So maybe they might play this. Actually, I think I think they might play this. I think they might play this. Cause I don't see the FF there already. Cause they would have been, they would have been called the FF. They would have, unless, they would, unless we would have seen them. Will we would have seen it's been, and we would have seen it. And we would have seen. So they're gonna be sending in Flyboy. Something La pop Bamba. up over here called a forfeit. But so I don't gonna think, be anchoring yeah. Paku Paku, sending in Hogeki, Strix, Ragin, and TK. Okay. Um, With Jekyll and LA, they're playing StarCraft. Yo, Billy gets to play StarCraft. I know he's happy. Yo, Billy, you get to play StarCraft. Anyways, can we get Merz in here, please? <laughs> but as we see, so Billy, we know Billy What's likes that? to play Zerg. He's Need, like, for, Need speed. for Speed. That's a good game up next. Yeah, that's a good game. All right, so we're going to be seeing Billy run a Zerg lane yeah, rush. We, yeah, we know Billy likes to play Zerg. He always talks about Zerg, you know. He always says that if you don't have these experiences, you shouldn't play Zerg. But we have a special guest commentator right now. We it's have Merz. the Gorillas on the Gorillas GM. We have Mers going in. What's up, Mers? Yeah, what's going on? 
So what are we looking at right here? Uh, as usual, it's just the resource collection. Uh, this is probably going to let you know if they're going for a greedy build, which is most likely going to be two gases uh, built out, or they're going to be the really safe one gas, one expansion. Uh, so really right now, you're just going to be looking for what what uh, race people are going to be running and where they're going to be spaced out. Um, as far as Billy goes, uh, I mean, this is the main POV to watch. Yeah, I don't think we should watch any other POV but Billy. Like, Me neither. I don't think we've got to see Billy play. Star well, mm -hmm. except once. He did play it one time against the Reapers, and he absolutely destroyed them. But we get to see Billy. Anytime we get to see Billy play StarCraft, it's always a treat to watch. It's always a treat to watch. Always, because his timing is so so correct and he's always he's always he understands his builds uh understands how to counter everybody else and what his uh race is bad against or mean the zerg um so really it's going to be a master class um up against what the meta is right now for the ueo in totality yeah most definitely and as you see like he's getting these oh, he's getting these rally points in and getting these zerglings and it's just like Billy knows what he's doing. He's already sending in some of those Zerglings into whoever is that Protoss build over there. It's yeah, Billy's just doing his work. This, yeah, is, get a Marine. this is what I expected from Billy, honestly. But yeah, this yeah, it's just this is just good. Yeah, uh, early game pressure, uh, not letting other people build up, get their resources built out, not able to really let them just sit back and build whatever they want at whatever timing. Uh, so, it's, I mean, it's to be expected, like, just throwing people off in the early game, by even by seconds in this game, just means you can pretty much lose the game, period, against someone like Billy. Because um, you don't have the resources to build up in the in the late game at whatever timing is needed. Yeah, definitely, like, throwing off early game, you know, if a team is having like a specific build or they want to go in and then somebody like Billy, as we see, you know, throwing in little Zergling to just throw them off, throw their time off. And now there's like, okay, now we got like, now I got to like improvise basically. Exactly. Exactly. But now he's just keeping it simple. I mean, a lot of just harassment, a lot of early game poke and just let, let it, not letting you get anything built up other than what's needed to defend against these early Zergs. Um, and they don't even have to have speed. Yeah. Um, to move, they don't even need movement speed or movement upgrades. They can just run in, poke at you, take a unit, and then he's still letting his teammates build. So now it's essentially a three v four if this person doesn't have the proper micros. Yeah, and what I'm seeing, like, and I'm seeing Billy with the hotkeys right here. He's definitely doing his thing. He's definitely like, as he's as he's going into attack, he is still like breaking up his workers and doing this, and it's like he's just doing his thing. And I hear laughing coming out from. <laughs> from the <laughs> from the arena you know again when you play billy you know you gotta always expect in starcraft like he's gonna do his thing it's gonna be difficult to beat him in starcraft and it's just like as you see he's doing more harassment that i'm that i'm looking at right now and it's just like not letting anybody get anything done and again this, this mind you this is a 4v4 so it's not like just billy's playing he has three other teammates to with him, and his brother La Bamba, which I'm guessing he is pretty good at StarCraft as well. So it's not only just Billy just doing it work. La Bamba is there. I'm pretty sure Saturn knows something. And I'm pretty sure Flyboy knows a little bit of something as well. So so it's not only you gotta worry about Billy. You gotta worry about three other people as well. But even then, like just having the base knowledge of what to build into, Billy's buying them all this time to where they can go off the the builds that Billy's Marine. recommended if he's taught them which he probably has yeah being most definitely a fanatic that he is like that's like having a fighting game player and not being even aware of a one two and three or four I mean on yeah the, on the num on the uh face pad yeah definitely the and it's just like as you see it right now uh, as we see some terror whoever is the terror I'm guessing that's also on the bot side oh also going in on here but Billy's still doing his thing still you know, getting getting some zerglings out. You know, getting in, just doing some harassments to letting his team, you know, do his thing. But it's just, it's just good. He just knows what he's doing. He's helping his team a lot. And again, it's, I've said it before. It's always a treat to see Billy play StarCraft. Exactly, because now, like again, the, the team's coming in with Marines, and now it's like, 
what can you do? So this is essentially going to be an entire Wolverine. base knocked out by two people yeah. at the five minute mark. And like from what I've seen, like Billy only has like what fifteen like Tech lab. little Zergling units going out, and like he isn't even like fully like expanded yet, and it's, it's scary. Yep, it's scary. I mean, it, explain to the people how scary this is with how we play in the UEL. Because you've mentioned the four v four format, but what else? How, what else builds up our our UEL format? So another thing that also what we're saying what builds up our UEL format is that once we ha- once the fifteen minute it hits fifteen minutes in the game clock or in the game clock in Starcraft, you cannot build no more. So once that fifteen minutes hit, you cannot build. You can't build anymore. You can't queue up any more units unless if the units are queued up, you can keep a queue, but you cannot queue up any more units. And so that is the scary thing about it. And as Billy is just dictating this as he's looking, like, look how many Zerglings are there. Oh, my goodness. He's harassing them. It's going by so fast. Yeah, like he's just dictating it. And like the Cobras, they know, like, okay, we only have like a couple more minutes. So we really got to do something like now. That is just like it's good what I'm seeing Billy Billy's doing is already branching out, getting the minerals in like and what Billy's doing there like he barely has any minerals on them. Oh, and which in StarCraft yeah, yeah, yeah. if you now, now. know always want to use your minerals anytime that you can. It's not, now they're moving on to this what second third base. Yeah, that's most likely the Bomba and the Terran, the blue Terran. Yep. Yep, that's the Bomba. Just walking down. And I'm guessing the Protoss who they was just attacking is probably Strix, right. I believe. Charge. Maybe it. Yeah, because Strix had quite the unit count. Oh, this might be TK. It, uh, it's yeah, got TK also issues. plays Zerg. Yeah. Yep. Which is, this is good to defend this, because uh, now they have the Terrans have to shoot up in division, and these, uh, these Zergs can just shoot down. But it doesn't matter because they're outnumbered and outgunned. Mm-hmm. Raven Guard. Yeah, this is just really good. Like, everybody from what I've seen, I'm seeing Billy do his part. I'm seeing La Bamba do his part. You know, doing their thing, going into these bases. Like what Merz said, this is probably the third base to go against this Hogeki, who is also on Zerg, I believe, that I've seen. So, looking to destroy another base, and it's just already just mowing it down. It's just more marine. This is insane. Just what can you do? It, it's just this one-two punch for now. As soon as, as soon as Billy's done his job and bought La Bamba enough time, now La Bamba's just walking in. And it's just uh, it's solid left to put after the, the right jab of Billy. Back. Like it, there's little to know. You're just counting down until the game is over. Yeah, and then you still have Saturn and Flyboy, who I'm guessing they're still building up units as well, and you know. We see Billy right here doing just still doing the constant harassment, doing a rally point to another base. It's just he's just constantly harassing the other players on the Cobras. And you see he pushes up against another yeah, base, which that is Strix through. right there. And it's just like, what is what is that? All right, get in there. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah. What is what is that? That's a bomb. Yeah. Oh, so that's a unit. Okay, so that that's a unit that can project its own force field, and it actually puts get up its own prism. So now we can actually force a artificial choke point. I don't oh, no. know the name of the unit because I don't play Protoss as much, but super good utility. It's almost like the Raven for a Bro, Look at the little Zerglings attacking that base. Oh, oh, these are- Zerglings are going crazy. Yeah, he's just. If Stalker's here. Oh my goodness. This is good to this is good to watch. Actually, seeing some variety, variety than roaches and little gremlins. <laughs> yeah, they're looking to take out Strix right here. Yeah, just oh my gosh, no more web gates for you, buddy. Look, we see these little zerglings running around. It's I have the sensor going thing. crazy. Yo, he has about 40 of them. And your Strix, oh, I think that's gonna be it for Strix. And then, <laughs> yep, <laughs> just like that, that is a win for the bots. <laughs> Thank you to Murs for the special commentating, Merz. for helping us commentate that was That, that was the Billy gameplay. show, guys. That was the Billy show. If you don't believe in Billy the Goat, there's your proof. That man is yeah. him. And if you think, like, what we say, like, oh, Billy's, like, they're just hyping up Billy and Starcraft. No, we that. just we watched. Hyping, like, <laughs> we just watched him shrug. They didn't even hit the 15-minute mark. Not like, even. They got that done in, like, what, 10 minutes, 8 minutes? 
Basically, basically, and that was like and that was barely twelve. We started at one twelve, and, and I think that was like barely Billy Billy doing anything. Like he was <laughs> just doing La these. Bamba. Yeah. La Bamba was doing good as well, and I'm assuming Flyboy and Saturn also were playing some behind the scenes part. But very good for them. So now actually going to be going into Need for Speed. Paku Paku is going to be have to going in for this. It's going to be their setup. So the so the boss can either choose to go for a cops or a racers. If I'm the boss, who would you? What would you rather go for? I'd say racers, depending on. I mean, Paku Paku literally has the steering wheel, so. I think I think they might go cops. I think they get the racer roll to the Cobras. And so then for the Cobras, they, they got they have to map. send in L A and Jekyll. Yeah, and then the Cobras get to pick map, and depending on what map they pick, it could really be disastrous because there's some maps in Need for Speed that are just straight like you start you spawn in and immediately hit a right turn and if you aren't paying attention you crash it yeah and it's just like and you know with these like highway maps with like all these pedestrians and the cars it's just like you know you gotta watch out for that you gotta move zigzag and you know also having like the cops you know chasing you and all that it's gonna be really really hard I'm really hoping to see League. We just saw Billy's StarCraft 2, so we got to see his League. Yeah, and barely ending at like barely 10 minutes, bro. Barely 10 minutes. It took less than that. And we were like, and you were even like, yeah, it's a good game for the Cobras to play this because the time that on the clock, it did not take it that long. Not, it did not matter. Because usually when we see StarCraft, when we see StarCraft this season. It hits it 15 usually, minutes. 15 even goes on past like 25, 30. We've almost seen like what? almost like 40 minutes starcraft oh one time and it's insane that we just seen a starcraft game that ended like less than 10 minutes which has happened before but it's just it's so exciting just to see that happen it shows like hey billy is really that guy in starcraft you know the bots also been working on starcraft to help him and you know the cobras didn't do bad it's just you know the bots are just that good yeah and so, up next, we're going to be seeing Bubbles, LA, Jekyll, and Strix going in for Need for Speed. We're then going to be seeing Paku Paku, Saturn, Billy, and La Bamba going in for the bots. Yeah, this will be the third racer of the day because we did have Wreckfest. So, we still need Car X, CTR. Bots. What else do we need? Forza. Yeah, and the bots did take both the racers, taking F1 and Wreckfest. So, this could be another game the bots could take. And then we'll be possibly looking at a 10 9 situation. And if, with, if this oh, goes by quick, hour. yeah, it'll be more than half an hour left. And if they get lead, they can make a 10 10, or they make a 10 10 and they get league, and it's that mental game. Yep. And then it's just at that point, it's just mental game. And I just want to bring up last time they faced off last season, it also came down to the wire. Do you remember the final score? The final score, I'm pretty sure it was 12 to, uh, to 10. So by two, and we're seeing yeah. a two point difference two right point here. Difference, two point difference again, and it's just insane to see. It seems that the Cobras hasn't slowed down, the bots hasn't slowed down. They're still going in. They're showing that hey, we're that team. Hey, we can do this, and it's just they're showing that. I mean, uh, the, this is really good. The highlights of today has to be the Cobras of shooting games. Yeah, that... Cobras definitely taking most of shooters. Raging going off and Val, of TK going off, off and, and guilty. And, 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 or gears, wait, yeah, gears, gears. Gears. I, was, I hate the whole it. the whole of the, I know it's the G's, bro. It's the G's, and then the whole of the Cobras going off in Overwatch, and it's just they've just been doing good. Bubbles going off in Fort. It's so we're insane. gonna be seeing the bots as the cops. What do you think? Okay, as I expected, go for the cops, give the races, and Guilty Gear is next. Is just. Okay, so Jekyll is the most wanted, and from what I'm seeing, what Jekyll is doing right now, he's going to be available for Guilty Gear because he is pumping his fist uh, in excitement. Hey. So Jekyll is going to be the most wanted. The so basically, the yeah, you got to either wreck box. that man out yeah, or you. bust him. Jekyll's going to be running the Nissan 370Z. So what, what map are that? They are on West Beach Freeway North. Okay. Yeah, so and the difference between last right, season and this season with me for speed is that this easy you can actually pick any card or any cop card any cop card and any racer card that's available so some of cars they are more faster some have more acceleration and is other cars you know they're more tankier yeah, they're more, more tankier they can take hits and so what i'm seeing from jekyll i don't yeah he's running the nissan you said so which i think which is a pretty good car to start off with you know has a lot of speed yeah. you know good acceleration this is going off so as we see right here 
So it's really on to his teammates to just protect him from the cops, basically. All right, as we see going in, and this is the map I'm ta was talking about with like all these pedestrians and stuff like that. And little, little things, shortcuts. Yeah, little shortcuts and that. And the thing with Need for Speed, they have different ways where you could get boost more. So if Jekyll was driving on the other side of the road, then he would get boost back because he's yeah. dropping all the he's driving on the opposite side of the so, road. So you are right with that. So when you want to build up boost for like your nitro or whatever, driving in and out of traffic, like kind of weaving, getting yeah. closer interactions without hitting, gets you boost, but also driving in and out. So driving recklessly gets you the nitro. So yeah, and it so seems we like haven't we seen have... that yet from Jekyll, but we are seeing some catch up. So we seem like we have the bomber here. Is he on the ramp? I think I don't know. Um, he's on a charge. Yeah, charger. He's on the charge. Charge. Yeah, he's on the charge. So it seems like he is almost catching up with him, but he, Jekyll does have a racer behind him. I think he has two with two him. racers. Yeah. yeah, two racers still with him as we see in one interaction right here. Managed to get past PC 11, which is LA, but does get an EMP lock. And it nice misses. Job dodging the EMP. Good job from La Bamba there to dodge that EMP. So here we see he's going to continue to go on. Now he's drifting going in by La Bamba. Oh, and he gets oh, spiked. Again, hits that was a, a spike great strip. Nice spike. Nice spike strip. Spins back in. But still in it. See the racer just zoom right past him. Jekyll's yet to been hit or crash at. He's barely taking any damage. Yeah, and it's good on his teammates because, like I said, you got to protect him. You basically got to protect him so he doesn't take this damage. He doesn't crash out or anything because then that would ball really well. But what I'm seeing from the mods is that there's only... LaBamba's the only one that's even close to the most wanted. The three of them are still in the back dealing with, like, two racers i believe i think one racer oh, we see a roadblock right here just we do see jekyll did there. make contact with that roadblock so he he lost maybe oh my oh goodness. my goodness he tried to go for the shortcut <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my goodness oh i think someone's cutting him off are you serious i couldn't did he try to go for it again oh wait oh they reverse oh no he's taking the shortcut right here Okay, so which good is job smart. by Billy and uh, Ants. For, no, for having the map knowledge to know that. It looked like that crash looked like one of those like movie crashes. Yeah, that <laughs> the way the, the cop car just flipped around like that. He was trying to take the shortcut but hit the edge of like some fence. I'm like, that what was, the heck? That was, gr that was elegant. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? And then the car just like went up. That's insane. But we see the cops are finally, or at Catching least two up. of them, trying to catch up. We're finally catching up to the to the uh, to the racers and we see Paco right here who's going to get hit by the strip again good spike strips being shown out today by the Cobras the other racers yeah good job to whoever is behind Jekyll just protecting Jekyll making sure he gets out of there you know they could end up breaking out the cops and that is the bubbles the bubbles, we know the bubbles. He is a pretty good racer, so I'm not surprised that he's the one doing all of this. One cop does pass him, which doesn't bode well for for the, the Cobras, but trying to go for the EMP. But good job for whoever that cop was, just to back off, not get hit by that EMP. Probably, cl probably closing into a DNF, probably. As we see here, bubbles trying to catch up. Nice drifting. My goodness, maybe too much of a drift. And then letting the cop go right past him. And an EMP on him. Oh, when someone hits the jam. So, usually, so usually. Oh, man, it's a spike strip. And he got wrecked. Oh, La Bamba is La out. out. The EMP him. The last cop temple. The Cobras are showing out right now. Especially Tesla. He's in cooldown as well. PC3. They need to catch up. PC3. Go, 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 go. So if one is he gonna hit the turbo? He hit the turbo, and I think that's gonna be it. With the turbo out and the straightaway right here, oh my gosh, going through the beach right here. I think that's gonna be a dub for the Cobras, unless he doesn't hit the wall. Oh my gosh, he crashed. I mean, but he's still still so far away. I I would doubt they would catch up and the oh and the 
Cobras take need for speed. The Cobras take need for speed. Oh my goodness. All right, so up next, we're going to be seeing Guilty Gear with a three point lead coming from the go. Jekyll is available. TK is available. LA is available. Ogeki is available. This is this is a really good spot. If this I'm is the a good will for them. This is a really good spot if I'm the Cobras. And I would say this would be different. Like Guilty Gear, let's say if Mordecai or Dingus was here, then this probably would have been more contested. And I'm not saying nothing about Billy or Lamamba or Paku because I know they're all good at, at Guilty Gear. I know for sure Billy is good at Guilty Gear because I played Billy in Guilty Gear before, and he has a pretty good Nago. But if they put him in for this or not, I don't know. And I don't know if they, they're they might running play their this. strongest lineup. Yeah, and they're putting in their strongest <laughs> lineup. LA, TK, Jekyll. Uh, so we're going to be seeing Pit, uh, Flyboy, Paku Paku, and, and putting in Billy. So if they're putting in Billy, they're more, more than definitely going to play this. They're trying to get a win to at least take the lead back to two but points. Then, yeah, but then against this Cobras lineup, LA, TK, and Jekyll, I played all of them. Except except TK, but I know how TK plays. Is I play them all in Guilty Gear, and they're all really really strong Guilty Gear players. Jekyll being one of the best Guilty Gear players in this league, and so it's gonna be really tough to just get through. Get trying to get through at least one of them is gonna be really tough. So and the thing is, I know Jekyll. We're gonna see that tried and true Axel. TK. Last time I seen, he played Testament. LA. I don't know. LA's been he's been he's like me going through an assortment of characters. He's been playing L Felt. He's been playing why am I seeing a pot? Oh my gosh, TK's playing a pot. But yeah, LA's been playing an assortment different of characters. And we don't know. And then Car X is next. And so we see a see a Potemkin from TK. And then we see So we see I'm guessing Flyboy is Soul. I, yeah, yeah, P one side, Potemkin, that's going to be uh, TK, and then Flyboy is going to be the sole bad guy right here. I don't know if this is a button check. This is probably a button check. Yeah, this is probably a button check right here. As we go back to the character select screen, let me let me find out TK's been playing uh, Potemkin. Potemkin. That's going to be insane. <laughs> I know TK's been saying something like, he's been, like he used to play Potemkin. But hey, that's a this is gonna be a tr treat to watch. Um, hopefully, we see uh, basically Potemkin. He's like the grappler in this game. Yeah. So he grabs people. So yeah. So we see Flyboy active on the P two side and the P one side. We see TK Bad Mood. And we see here we see the Garuda impact off rip. Okay. Good counter from Flyboy. Look, oh, going for the Garuda. He getting hit with the armor. That's gonna be a combo right there. TK, um, something is because it doesn't seem like TK is pressing at anything, and his control is like just walking by himself. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So Flyboy and TK are currently awaiting a technical issue. Yeah, so it seems like some technical issue is going on as we get that resolved. We have we do have Car X Drift next, next, which is it's a pretty how do I say niche type of game. Depending. Um well a lot of teams have been going in Car X, they've been going like Castle Road, which is like the the map with the ice. And you know, usually with the ice it's a little bit difficult to just maneuver around and everything like that. Let me put my glasses back on. <laughs> But yeah, to maneuver back around and just move back, it, it is difficult. But like I was saying, oh, looks like we're getting back into it. Um, I don't know if they're going to count that round loss. I don't know either. But if they do, then that will be up to the game master to decide. Well, see here, I think we But see. I don't think TK is like, nah, I'm not playing around now. Nah. Trying to go for a little command grab. Goes for the command grab and that's it. He's dead. God. Yeah, but... When he gets hit that's with that like command that's King, a lot of damage. That's like King, but even worse. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to and play And by against. even worse, I just mean that Devin looks even worse to like get hit going with. Going for a hammer fall. Oh, going for a heat knuckle right there. Nice stuff from Flyboy to just, just poke him out right there. 
Temp can Good obviously be a grappler, Swanboy. not the fastest character in the game. Nice burst coming out from TK. Let's see what we got going on here. Garuda impact. Another Garuda impact. That's a wall break right there. That's a lot of damage right there. Oh, we're trying to go for the mega fist, but the crouching, but the crouching heavy slash. DP in the Good air job just to get over the Aegis reflector. Boy. But one more hit could be it. Oh, going for the heat knuckle, and that's going to be it. So we are going to see TK on his final life. Yeah, okay, so, so I, I guess, guess that, that little, I guess that little um, arcade stick issue really, uh, kind of, I guess, you know, it it sucks, but, you know, it happens. Always, you got to make sure if it works. Yeah, yeah, everything's connected and everything is good. But it seems next we got Paku going in. I don't remember who Paku plays in uh, Guilty Gear, honestly. But it's going to be interesting to watch. TK with the Potemkin doing good, doing what he usually does. You know, TK is a force in fighting games, as always. So as you see Paku getting set up, also bringing out the fight stick right here. You know, Paku, obviously good at fighting games as well. Knows what he is doing, knows what to do. But we'll see who, uh, what he goes with right here. May okay. So we're gonna be seeing Potemkin versus May. And May is a character where May is a rushdown character, so she's gonna want to maul you on offense. You know, she has dolphins. You know, which has changed over the times so of this game has been out. But basically, we're having a button check. Okay, it seems like we're having a button check. Could have done that at the character select screen, but uh, <laughs> we're just gonna we're gonna move past that. But yeah, May is a rushdown character. Pressure. She has gotten a new move, by the way, where she can cancel out of her dolphin with a jump, which is good for like good mix up opportunities, you know, and stuff like that. And you know, heavy dolphin still good as ever. Being plus on block, still it being your turn, so you can just go on with the pressure. Definitely a lot of RPS situations when it comes to May. Still, even with the nerfs she has gotten with the dolphin, she is still a really good character. She can still deal out a ton of damage. So this is gonna be a sight to see. And TK, you know, rock still rocking to the temp kid. You know, so this is going to be good. Two characters that do a lot of damage. Getting hit with the Guru Impact. That causes a guard crush. Getting hit with the Dolphin. Go overhead. Dolphin again. He could punish that if he wanted to. Nice job going for the 6-6-H six, six right there. Guru to Impact. With the slide head. Guru to Impact again. Go with the sweep. Guru to Impact. He's just balling up with the Guru to Impact. They don't know what to do against that. It's just, it's been such a good move. And they nerfed that move so many times. And the fact that it's still like, still as good as it is, it's, it's just insane. He could end it right here. Going for the slide head. The jump P right there. Nice They're air to air. seeing Paku Paku getting taken down to his final life right there. Yep, and now Paku is now up to his last life. Air Dolphin right there. Nice throw coming in from TK. This time the meaty for the Gruda impact and the 6P catching the catching the uh, Buck from behind then going with the pop buster. Nice. Try to go for the little air to air right there. Gruda impact. Nice job catching him with the heat knuckle. Slide head. Yep. Nice. And so nice job from TK. TK Get the perfect. Paku Paku. So now it's, like we said, we said it before that this was going to be a tough task for Billy. You know, Billy, he's good. I, I played against his Nago. His Nago is, he has a good Nago. He has a really good Nago. But he has to go up against TK, who we've just seen. You know, he has a really good pie. And then LA, who I don't know what character he's going to play. And then we have Jekyll with his Axel, who, you know. Are we going to see an Axel low or not today? That's what I'm hoping. I want to see his Axel low. That depends if uh, Billy could. Take out TK. We might or we might not. And depending who goes in next on the Cobra side. So this is definitely going to be good. Definitely, Billy definitely going to have to put his team on his back right here. It's definitely going to be a good game. Definitely going to be a good Guilty Gear game. We're definitely going to see a Naga Ryuki coming from Billy. Because that is the character he plays. So with Nago, Nago, he... How do I say this? He's a long-range character... That does a lot of damage and has a lot of good mix-up tools to mix you up, basically. Yeah, and, I know about but, the whole yeah, blood thing. Yeah, so what, Ma what Nago had, he has something called blood meter. So depending on what the blood, there's three levels of blood meter. So there's level one blood, which basically is like this normal thing. Then there's level two blood, 
and then level three blood and then there's blood pop which is like another thing so basically every time his blood meter reaches a certain point his heavy attack ranges get even farther so you'll see it when he does so for blood meter to go up for nago he has to do a special move so each time billy does a special move which is like his dash his teleport um his clone thing he will he will basically yeah he will basically gain blood meter. so that move right there see how the blood meter is slowly going up and the more special moves he does then the more the blood meter will build but obviously there that was a button check just checking oh, the buttons to get everything situated it's just you know it's just pretty good pretty good as we see right here but billy he definitely knows what he's doing he knows how to play the game so again this is going to be a definitely good guilty gear match we're about to see right here but we'll see but i just realized another player on the bots dingus who plays pot so if dingus and billy have played a couple of times billy should know this matchup so this shouldn't be too hard for billy if he gets rolling all right starting with the slide head going in nice back dash from billy going for the Garuda impact but the uh catches the back dash right there all right Nice, nice crouching jabs just to keep just to keep Potemkin out. So what is going on? Something, something is happening. What, what happened? is going on? <laughs> something, something is happening. Seems like uh, the Cobras and the bots are talking about something out there. I was so confused. Yes, yeah, it, it is confused. I don't know if that was like a button check, but. I, I already had a button check, so I don't know uh, what else they got going on. Maybe they switched sides. I don't, but it was on the right side, so. Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're going to have to probably get some clarification on that. But it seems like they are talking. Okay. So, yeah, he, they have to check about the buttons again because it says something about the buttons. I guess that's why the Cobras was, was checking, like, they was like, nah, they already got that chance. <laughs> they shouldn't be allowed to do that again. But, you know, Hollywood, he's just like, okay, just let him get the chance. Get it on. So maybe now we finally get to get into some good gear. Billy being the last gamer standing for the bots in GGS against TK Bad Moon and his Potemkin. Starting off with the hammer fall again. Going in for the jump, for the jump D right there. Go for the sweep, going for the clone right there. Fukio back. So you see his blood meters, he's about to pop right here. He's gonna pop. Oh, he was so close to the popping, but actually didn't pop. But now you see his moves become an even longer range right here. But Billy doesn't opt to go for it, going for a super jump in. Oh my gosh, and he gets the heavenly pot buster. So that move is an anti-air. And basically, it's an amplified version of his regular pop version, and he's dead. Oh my yeah, god! The awesome. animation to that looks sick. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Guilty Gear is a beautiful game. Yeah, I think it's I one of the most it. beautiful 2D fighting games. I love it until I'm playing against an actual well. Yep. This is turn. Gonna go for Gruda Impact again. Nice job hitting the OTG. Going for the Beyblade. Going for a Shinzu, but doesn't exactly connect. Fukio in again. Tries to go in for. Uh, looked like he was going for a bite. But Billy getting the air to air right there. Let's see what combo he got going in. Going for the heavy slash. Fukio's in. Gets the okay, wall gets stick. the wall break. So now he's gonna get positive bonus. So he's gonna gain a little bit of meter. White Wild Assault coming in from, from TK. Nice Mega Fist forward to come in. Alright. Hitting the flick onto him. Oh, I think well, he's either blocking. Okay, so that's gonna push him back. So it's not really as punishable. Since he was jumping and he goes in for the pop buster, there's going to be a lot of damage. Nice. OTG, that's a meaty setup. Overhead. Is TK going to sweep? Billy has to do something. And then TK with the 6P and TK takes it for Guilty Gear. And that's another game going to the Cobras. Golly. So we're going to be seeing a 12 to 8 lead. Now they've reached Golly. their lead up to 8, and we're not going to be seeing Car X. There is about 36 minutes left. Golly. We have not seen League. I'm sad. Golly. Incredible gameplay from TK there, by the way. Golly. As a pot. Any other takeaways from that? See? Golly. I think TK did his thing. Even with the unfortunate 
controller happening in the first round. He, he had to go know. down. He had to go down a life for it. But even with down a life, he still did his Swept. thing, managing the sweep with just one life. And it's just insane. Shout out to TK. I know Jekyll would have really wanted to play it, but hey, his teammate doing his thing. And that's what's good about having no teammates to cover for you. Yeah. Like, just in case you're not in for a certain game, you have teammates who can cover for you. So, you know, you don't got to worry about, oh, if I was in for this, this would have been, you know, this way. But again, shout out to TK, who, to be honest, has been my MVP for this match in general. Insane. He's Insane been, he's been showing play. up today. And you said that's not even his main? Yeah, that's not. I don't even <laughs> think that's his main, bro. I don't, I don't know if that's that his main or... crazy I from TK. Yeah, I actually... TK that was a joyful little watch. Yeah. The heavenly... That heavenly move. Was sick. That, just the graphics on it was Yeah, sick. the heavenly Potemkin Buster. But as we're getting into... We're getting into Car X Drift. Already set up. Somebody's playing first person. Paku with the wheel. We're seeing Paku with the wheel. Oh my gosh, he's running. And he already spun out. But already resetting, which is good. And we got Texas coming up next. And I already hear yells coming out from the arena. People are excited for Texas. All right. So the way Car X Drift works, basically, you just got to drift. So you drift, you build up points. And the longer you hold your drift, you get a times point multiplier as you see up top. Apocalypse has a one time. What is going on right here? There's people hitting. Uh, yeah, I don't they know. Have, they they have Paku hit. Paku as yeah, well. I don't, I don't know what's going on. But the thing about how we play, we only play it on stock. So only the stock can be used, and I'm pretty sure mostly we have to use the Hachi Roku. If I'm not out the car, if I'm not mistaken. I believe you're right on that. And but you see, Paku is starting to build up the multiplier. Probably trying to go up to 1.5. Get the drift. Gets a drawn out drift. So different drift points. You get different drift points from doing some things, and he spins out. But you get different drift points if you have a drift for a while. You get about like 200 more drift points if you're almost about to, about to hit the wall which is called kiss the wall i think it's about like 500 more drift points but as you see right there he's about to hit the wall again but i see the map choice whoever is doing it they just they just wiggle it you wiggle it all right an awesome angle that's what there's 100 drift points so if you are drifting at an angle you get 100 drift points but now here's a good drifting point right here we're watching the bomb as you should see the kiss the wall and the drawn out drift you know bonus as the bomb is getting a 2.6 times drift points but if you go but the thing about this if you go off the road your drift points will or your times will just go out and so that's one thing to keep in mind here and whoever is pc Three is is La Bamba. That's PC3 La Bamba. Is La Bamba so then, La Bamba's in the lead. Whereas Hogeki is PC ten. Obviously, the uh, the bubbles is already finished with the race. I think this might be a win for the bots. I think this might be the win for the bots. Yeah, I think this might be the win for the bots. Yeah, this is a win for the bots because La Bamba has almost about three thousand. All goes a thousand. Yeah. And then you see the bubbles, and Hogeki has like a thousand, a thousand. So, yeah, the Car X Drift is going to be a win for the bots, and Hogeki is still trying to finish. He finishes out, but I don't think this is going to be enough points, anyways. So, yeah, as we see right here, the bots take a Car X. And maybe this is a comeback. There's still time to come back. And so a really good performance there from La Bamba. We did get to see most of the race in a first-person view. That was kind of the first time I ever saw it. Yeah, and it was cool too. to see Paku Paku with his wheel. He did do good. We then kind of saw Bubbles, which I believe was Raijin, was playing on that account, was doing good, and then Hogeki ended up finishing last. Yeah, definitely definitely was really good. La Bamba showing that he knows how knows the game knows that how to keep up the drift points you know keep up the times points yeah. to get multiply that get the points multiplier and eventually being at the top of the scoreboard getting that win for his team and you know paku doing well as well he was second as well you know getting the second most points in the whole game so even with the wheel you know we see them spinning out everything he was still accumulating a lot of points but now we're going into texas chainsaw massacre with the cobras set up and the cobras could do something that I hope they do, but I don't know if they'll do. So if you don't know, there is a new map in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is a big map. I think it's probably the biggest map in the game right now. <laughs> and I thought Slaughter... I mean, Slaughterhouse might be... I don't know. But it's a big map. And so if the bots don't know that, and the Cobras do, no matter... Let's say if they go Survivors, or if the bots pick Survivors or Killer, mm -hmm. if the Cobras know the map, 
knowledge, then it doesn't really matter what which they pick if they go for victims or the killers yeah. or family. So, yeah, this could be it's definitely funny. It's definitely funny to see what they go I for. S- oh, they forfeited. DNF. If I'm the Cobras, I'm a static. <laughs> I bet. I mean, if I'm the Cobras, I'm a static. They literally have the big three there. TK, Jekyll. <laughs> it don't matter who I put in. You got to get through Labama and Millie. Because I'm guessing those are mostly the two they're going to put in. I think so as well. Because if I'm the bots, I got to win this game, dude. I got to win this game. There's 30 minutes left. We are under 30 minutes. We just hit under 30 minutes. And because of that, there's a four-point lead. The The Cobras have been taking the second half with a lead, and they've been kind of extending it. Let's see. StarCraft was a needed win for the bots. It's yeah, just they needed that. the way that the Cobras have been playing today have been playing like I mean, obviously, they've been playing like the better team. They're the one with the lead, but their shooters, everyone that's been playing for their shooters has been showing Show out. And I think that's really what's been. The, that's that, like yeah, the... That, that and the fighters taking a couple of the sports, taking most of these shooters. Has been the standout. Has like, been the standout The shooters the is the standout because everyone was like, oh, well, they have, like, if you looked at the bots, but no one really looked Ooh. at the Cobras. And I want to know... I really hope the voice in my head could tell me if people vote uh, their channel points on anything and if anyone lost points or gained points from these shooters or the Cobras have won. So it's like, it's insane. So we're not seeing Billy and LaBamba. In fact, we're seeing LaBamba and, and Flyboy. Flyboy going up against LA and TK. So this is definitely going to be good. You know, I know LaBamba is really, he's really good at this game. You know, he has a really good grappler in this game. Uh, Flyboy, we got to see. What he brings out. Yeah. TK, I know he plays Inquisitor. A very annoying Inquisitor. <laughs> I played as an Inquisitor before. Very annoying. LA with the Vanguard. He usually plays Vanguard. Good character. Got buffs overall. Overall looking really good. Shame we don't know about Flyboy. Yeah, you know, it's, you know it happens. It happens when, you know, when you're coming in your first first game of the season. This being know. his first game, how do you think he's been doing? I think he's been doing. I think he's been doing good. He's been doing all right, showing off. Like in Valorant, he did. He was going off in Valorant. Yeah. Regardless of how, regardless, even though the Cobras won, they've been going off in Valorant. Yeah. He went off in Valorant. So maybe we can see what he can do in DNF, and this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. And yeah, it's just the story of today is just the shooters. This is the, the Cobras, Cobras taking day. shooters. Bro. Shooters, like I can put down on the list, but. That Overwatch game, incredibly done. Like, incredibly well done by the Cobras to get them that win. Wasn't really like it was a competition. And how is this going to look? How is this going to look in the playoffs? I want to know because... And then again, I know this probably isn't the lineup for the, the bots. bots would want. Like, you would want to have Mordecai. Dingus, yeah, you don't have Mordecai, Silver. Scans, Silver, like, Dingus. Maybe if they was League. here now, some of them... Oh my god, we're going to actually get to see Billy and League. That might be that might either be the second or last game today. And you hear a third out there saying, "I'm starting to riot right now." Like you hear it, like. But we have a Crusader, which, which I'm guessing is Flyboy. I think so as well. And then I know it's, uh, LA. He plays Vanguard. Yep. A Vanguard is a very good character. Used to be one of the worst characters in the game when the, when the game first came out. Now he's climbing up there in the ranks, being a good character now. Crusader. He has always been good ever since the game came out. Um, got some nerfs here and there, but still a pretty good character overall. Okay, so the thing about this move, so his moves are enhanced. But the nerf with that, he does get armor on one of the moves anymore. But as you see, LA right here going with the pressure. Going for the behead right there. Ooh, Flyball going in with the DP, actually. Yep, and then we see LA right here going in with the combo with Vanguard. Ops combo, then getting hit with the armor DP. So now Crusader is in this passive mode. So once they're below a certain threshold, which I'm pretty sure that's not gonna matter here. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Come on, yeah, Flyboy. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, Flyboy. All right, Flyboy doing pretty good here. Honestly, if Flyboy gets one, well, I was gonna say if he gets one good combo in, <laughs> then uh, Vanguard. The commentator's curse at its yeah, peak. Yeah, but 
when once they hit a certain threshold or like a certain when they're below a certain point of health they gain a little passive thing so they get powered up so with crusader he basically gets powered up booze and you know yeah stuff like that he gets powered up booze um i don't know which one la is running which i'm guessing he's running the gold cube so he also gets like powered up moves as well and different cancels out of different moves but as you see right here la going in with the vanguard pressure you know vanguard he's a character that just chips away at that guard game as you can see at the meter beside the health bar as you see it's going down he just chips away at that guard meter and it looks like if if he blocks just a couple more hits he's gonna get guard broken i think la knows that just so close it's literally a pixel yeah and right here and if, LA gets if you one can hit. hear what's it called i think i heard jackal attack go hammer oh my gosh what a reset because you can't block in the air in this game so he has to basically get that and la just takes that with ease and he takes it by time limit actually yeah. Because it didn't change a thing. It's just time ran out. He still would have won if there was like yeah. Because with all that blocking right there, you know, you just gotta commit to like, hey, you gotta commit to something. You gotta hopefully get a hit in and hopefully, you know, basically get a hit in, get a combo in, and get basically take that round. We've seen multiple times in DNF where games have gone to a timeout. So we got Labama here going up, <laughs> ignoring the fist bump. God dang, LA. God dang, bro. <laughs> okay, uh, go. okay. He, right he made up for it. He made up for so, it. So, yeah, we see... Okay, they're both going with the 50% cube. So, we see the grappler coming out from La Bamba. The grappler we see many, many times. Really good. He knows what he's doing with it. He got some good combos. Does a big damage. Big, big damage. Just make sure you just don't get gripped up, man. All right, we're going to see how this round start goes. But I think this matchup mostly favors Vanguard because Vanguard he has that rage, you know that he can play around with. But oh my gosh, he got hit. Yep, he's gonna go in really for the slam, there, and then he's gonna go for the Oki. But yep, LA knows that his the, you can't you can't miss time that meaty right there. You can just DP through it. It's not a true meaty setup, so you can just DP through it. A lot of times when you see Labamba do that, you can DP through it or you can just roll out. Nice. And the knockdown, and this is where the pressure begins. Doesn't decide to go into any can't be head cancels. Oh, nice parry coming out from La Bamba. Going for the grab, and depending how this goes, he could be dead. He could be dead. And then to the oh, we could he's gonna go into for super, but he decides to go for the grab again, and that's gonna be it. And it takes and, and La Bamba out. takes a round. Very good shell out from La Bamba there. Yeah, La Bamba definitely knows, like, hey, I'm not going to opt for the super. I'm just going to do something right here. Ellie going for the cheeky 2B right there. That just has so much range. Get hit with the stomp right there. Nice. Uh, uh, and oh, nice going. Nice read from La Bamba going for the parry right there. Oh, my God, that armor move. It's just the armor on Grappler just... It's really the dividends. He's going to try to go for it again. Actually, I don't know if LA missed time to DP, but gets caught by it. He's going to go for it again. Okay, he knows that that's his turn. And then he gets hit by the grab. I think that might be it for LA. And here we see La Bamba taking out LA. Yeah, so now it's going to become 2v2. The sound is 1v1. Both players having both lives. TK and La Bamba. You're going to most likely see an Inquisitor from TK. Um, a really good Inquisitor. He knows what he's doing. Inquisitor, she has a lot of things. She has stuff that can keep you out. She's fast. And she, you know, she has good combo. This is the only downside with her is that she has she has the second lowest health in the game. Third, second lowest health in the game. I think third, second. So if she gets hit once, especially by someone like Grappler, it will be a lot of damage indeed. But as we see right here, DK getting his arcade stick set up. You know, definitely gonna be a treat. Again, TK is really good at this game. I think, I think honestly, TK might be rookie of the year. To be honest, he's my pick for rookie of the year. It's not a bad job. You know, he he's come into this league. He's been insane, like quite literally. Going for the thirty percent cube. So getting powered up versions of the fire. So she has a fireball that can throw. She has oil, which 
when she throws something to you she has oil which she could just drench you with it when she hits you with any move that's a fire it's like a fire wheel her dp and basically any one of her moves that has fire because she has a lot of moves that could just cause fire and if she hits you with it while you're oiled up it's gonna be extra extra damage so as we see going up right here back on the moonlight tavern stage so if i'm tk i'm not i don't want to get hit because if i know i get hit it's over for me but tk knows that he said hey i don't care about all that i'm just gonna go on with my pressure and we see this combo time and time again this loop actually drops it but i don't think that really mattered okay trying to go for a dash but you can't bear parry and projectile that's the only downside about not really the only there's a lot of downsides about that parry but one of the downsides about that parry is that he can't you can't parry it with projectiles but you see TK right here is going in. TK is going into Yeah, uh, going into it's... town. I think DNF might be his best game. I think I think DNF might be his best game. He is insane. Someone yeah. needs to nerf him. Can we get like a, a nerf? Yeah. Yeah, he is he's, he's actually such a and, good player. Yeah, and with throwing out that fireball. Oh, try to go for the cross up, going with the grab. And that's a note. I don't know that. Hey TK, you're not about to get me with that next time. But actually getting hit and look what i'm talking about the damage you see inquisitor takes more most damage than than other characters in this game okay it's still his turn nice job interrupting that uh uh and then you see the combo coming in from tk and then he could get a little setup right here which i think he's gonna do he's gonna go for a setup yep bd setup right here going in with the fireball just to control that pressure just to control that space and La Bamba knows that and just blocking it out and trying to get and I guess TK's trying to wait out for a button but gets hit and then if he keeps this combo going TK's gonna win by time oh yeah oh he drops it TK oh but no and then, La, and then TK's gonna take that and TK takes that TK bad mood again clutching up another game for the Cobras and honestly, like I said, there's a five point lead now, and we're looking at League of Legends next. But the highlight of that game was TK. Yeah, that man. <laughs> that was TK's on. game. No one else. I mean, LA did great to take out Flyboy. Almost took out. Actually, no, Billy went into TK502, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, for DNF? Yeah, for DNF. So Billy went into the TK fight with two lives instead of one. All right. Oh, yeah, for DNF or Guilty Gear? DNF. It was a Bob and Flatball, right? Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. And, but we got League of Legends next. Honestly, this could be the final game. This could be the final game. Honestly, unless somebody calls a timeout, but I don't think that's going to matter. But this could honestly be the final game. Could, honestly. And overall, while we wait, Cobras? Cobra surprised me today. They really took the shooting game. It shows that their practice has been paying off, and it's and it's nice to see that. You know, I, it, it's showing. Yeah, you said it. Like they took they took what they heard. They heard the uh, Cobras not good shooting team. Cobras bad at shooting team, and they took that. They took that and say, like, okay, we're gonna grind on these shooting games. We're gonna keep grinding, and then we're gonna be the reason that these shooting games are gonna get us this dub today, and that's what we're seeing right now. And not just shooters. They took most of the fighters. I don't think. I don't think they've the, taken almost all the every fighter that's rolled, except Smash. No Smash rolled. Remember? Yeah, but they did. Yeah, but oh, the bots well, took okay. Smash. Yeah. We still haven't seen Street Fighter or MK1. Yeah, and it's. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it is funny. Then those are more of like the quicker fighting games. To go on. It's just. It's funny. It's funny. Except Street Fighter. Street Fighter could take a pretty long time. Pretty long time. But we will see League of Legends. So we're going to be seeing Strix, Rage, and TK, Hogeki, and Jekyll versus Pocket, Saturn, Flyboy, Billy, and Labamba. No which shock could, there. Which could be their optimal lineup. I mean, I know LA, he knows League as well. So here we see Brand getting banned. Lux going to be banned. Oh, we see MK, of the Devil. We see MK, MK. So we're going to see Brand, Lux possibly next. Yeah. See right there. Get the Lux banned out of there. And when I was talking to Billy during halftime, he said to me specifically that uh, Hollywood picked their team, so who they're playing. Oh, my gosh. I mean, as you know, Billy, 
Millie and LaBama both, you know, they could just carry, they could just yeah. carry it, destroy teams on their own. But then having those other players like an you Opaku, know, Baku knows lead, Satter's low. I hear the comms say, somebody, you banned my fiddlesticks. You fiddle banned my fiddlesticks. My banned my fiddlesticks. <laughs> someone, someone took that personally. Yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody really wanted to play fiddlesticks. I <laughs> you. But it's definitely, it's definitely <laughs> fun to see. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know a darn yeah, thing about league, but I always like look watching league because it's just yeah. so it's so interesting. But I don't know. I did think I heard someone on the, the bot side. They were talking about Alawi, but they go, "I Lowy. Uh, <laughs> they're having fun out there. <laughs> yeah, they're having fun out there. The Both knowing that this could possibly be the last game. Not the raging Cajun gin. You know, yeah, <laughs> not here. Not the raging Cajun. Gin. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> both teams know that's gonna be the last game, so both just having fun, just you know, playing around. So we're gonna be seeing Alawi. So we see Alawi, Lanya Jin, and I hear, I hear a third out there saying, "Oh, we boxing, Billy. We really boxing out here." <laughs> so yeah. We have a team. It's just teams having fun. We have see a racket out from Jekyll, probably. Yep. So yeah, I don't know a darn thing about league. <laughs> so I'm try. I'll try here. Thank goodness this is the last game. But this jinx is gonna go crazy. I imagine <laughs> they, they forfeit it, and then we go into <laughs> going to MK. But yeah, definitely. So like with StarCraft, once you hit the 15 minute mark. And you die in league, you're you stay dead. You stay in your spawn point. You can't do nothing about that. Yep. So that's basically how this is gonna go. These are two teams who are really good league players. So we're gonna be seeing Rage and Switch allow we actually. Oh, so now Rage is on. Yeah, Jin. So, yeah, Jin. so TK is playing as Alawi. We're also gonna be seeing a Ziggs on the bot side. It's, it's the same. You see, it's eggs. Egg flags, you know. Doo doo. Okay, I think this is going to be a good uh, league game. Again, I'm not the 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 most knowledgeable league player out there, but. You Billy know, got his two. Billy got three of his like favorite games today yeah. UFC, StarCraft, Starcraft, and League, and he got to play all three. Finally. I, I think that. I think that's the most I've seen Billy smile, bro. <laughs> bro is happy. He is happy. He got to play all of his games. So right here, they're buying their items right here. We're going to be seeing Strix play as... I'm trying to see who's playing. So, and if y'all don't know how we play League of Legends in this format, we do play ARAM. So, but it's not random. That's the thing. We have It's not random. We do have a ban phase as well. So, yeah, so we see right here, they're coming in right here. Oh, my goodness. I think I see Billy in that bush to the right. Yeah, as he's going in right here. Yeah, they're just playing around. <laughs> right here. But these two teams, they're two really good league teams, as he catches someone in that bush right there. Two very good league teams right here. And so now we have the minions coming in. And so playing, playing, you know... What mostly league is is all about poke focus. Is that a volley bear, bro? Oh yeah, that's a volley bear, bro. Oh yeah. I think I've seen someone recently as a volley bear hit like ninety k damage. I mean, yeah, and I think from what I've heard, like he's recently been buffed too. So like now he's like even better than what he was before. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, I see. I see what's going on here. But it seems like we're already getting a team fight. Somebody already flashed out of there from what it seems like. But what a bunch of League of Legends is, is you're going to see a lot of poking going on. A lot of poking, hitting uh, these minions, you know, get your get the coins up. And we see the tentacles coming out from Alawi right here. The Alawi tentacles right here. But yeah, this is so far, this is looking so good. You know, just this is how early game is going to be most of the time. But as I said before, once that 15 minute mark and you die, then that's it. But and what do we, we feel like it's going to last that 15? Um, these are two really good league teams, so it possibly could. But then again, you know, it, 
so a team could just dominate, just run away with it. And the way, another way we play League, uh, we do by points. So each point, so each kill is worth the uh, one point, and I think towers are worth five, I believe. I believe if the voice in my head can fact check me on that. But definitely, definitely a way to go, you know, you can play that early game, trying to get as many kills as you can. Trying to get these, try to play back and forth, get these towers. That's basically how it is. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely uh. Okay, yeah, they. Oh yeah, they're going in. They're going in. So again, and this is a chance for us to see what like Flyboy can do. Maybe Flyboy is a league player, you know. You still see, need to find out after this what yeah. what he is. Because <laughs> we see, <laughs> we've seen in, in the shooters like he's he's not bad at shooters. Yeah, he's actually pretty good. So, as we see them getting hit by the allowing tentacles, but this is looking good so far. Um, oh my gosh, what just happened? On? They could possibly get a hit kill here, but um, that, if they if they killed that character brother, that would have been Billy. Is Billy is the person that has the Santa skin? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, not a, usually so far what I've been seeing from these league matches, like from out through the season, there would be a kill already during like because it's about to reach the four minute mark, but we don't really necessarily see a kill. So you know, it shows that these teams are not playing too aggressive. They know what they're doing. You know, like I said, these are two really good league teams. Yeah. So they know what they're doing. They know what. Ooh. Okay, I see it right there. But you see, Strix now on level six. All the teams, all of them are on level six now. So getting pretty fed, which is good. And the thing about it, so unlike, you know, regular league, you know, Summoner's Rift, you can't recall here. The only way for you to, re to technically, quote unquote, recall and buy, you would have to die. And so what, what teams, some teams have been doing is that they die by the tower. Because if you die by the tower, you don't, you know, the, the other team doesn't get any points. But we see a team fight going in right here. And it seems, ooh, is somebody get taken out? No, We're going to see still. the first death. We are going to see oh, the first blood. we do see blood. the first blood right here. And that's 4-1. And that's that's the bots, I believe. Here we see Billy gets to side. now buy stuff. Yeah, now Billy gets to buy it's to basically uh, get more eyes to power up his character. Different, There's definitely different builds to what you can use to power up your character right here. Um, I guess that's what the bots are planning to do. It is easily for them to take it back. Uh, yep, it's 4-3. I'm coming back for you. And this is for a chance right here to basically tie it up. Getting that Alawi technical out of here. And yeah, from what I see, the Cobras, uh, yeah. The Cobras, oh, still back up by one, but so close to tying it up. But somebody getting that initial kill right there. I didn't see who. But somebody getting that initial kill, which is really good. I believe that initial kill that we saw to make it by one was on Billy. So oh, yeah, Billy's going to be swimming back in, but we can tell that the tower is a bit damaged after that team fight. Yeah. So we're going to have to really see kind of a push here from Billy and... The bots, yeah, but that's from what I've seen, like it seems like Jekyll Rage is really low. So it seems like we're seeing another team fight, and Paku oh, actually no. goes down, has a chance to get one. by some items. So now, right here, we're watching Jekyll. Yeah, so it's, he said, I'm gonna go full kidnap. All right, we're going to jail. actually also we going to Brazil, brother. Yeah, going to it seems, yeah, it seems like hey, they're taking these team it. fights, they know oh, what to oh, do, oh, oh. but it seems, oh. Oh, no, and that's another yeah, one. But the bot, not the bots, the uh, Cobras are still up by two. Oh, yeah, now up by three. Okay, this is good. Jekyll's been doing pretty good. Yeah, he has been doing very the good. The bots have been playing this strategically and smart. It's seeming like they don't want to have a happy Billy. No, apparently not. They say, hey, Billy, we know you wanted to play these games. You took, you took, you took two, you took two of the games you wanted. But we're going to take the, at least league. Off of yeah. Or at least try. There's still time, you know. We're only, we're about to hit the seven minute mark. Still time. For we are the seeing, though, an eight to five score. 
Jackal has seven assists, by the way. He hasn't died once. Yeah, Jackal is doing his thing. So we're seeing the all combo right there, dog. That's that nice land right there. Like that eight assists for Jackal. We are going to see one of his teammates shut down, but then a kill, another kill from Jackal or his teammate. I, don't, I think it's TK playing region. Oh my gosh. So now we're going to be Cobras are up by four. seven. Yeah. Golly, and they destroyed the tower, so. Up by. 12. 12 now, yeah. Golly. The Cobras are going out right now. Cobras are they, making sure Billy is not happy. They want to end this season on a good note. As they want to well. play mental games here. And imagine how this would be going into playoffs. As they're going for another T fight. So Jekyll is finally going to get his first death. Has a bunch of has a bunch to buy, so he has a lot of items that he can buy to uh, to basically buff up his character. See what build he's gonna, gonna go see with. Go to fourteen to ten. I'm trying to see. Fourteen to ten. So I'm guessing. I don't know. No, I don't think they just the tower. Talk yet. about league. It is. It really is. <laughs> so they got ten. So fourteen to ten. So the Cobras are still up by nine. I assume. So they're still up by nine points because they still did get that initial tower kill. Make that ten. Ooh. Yeah, this is yeah, the Cobras are showing out. And the Cobras are proving that they are a really good strategy team. They are showing that right now. As we see right here. See Flyboy right here. Trying to get back behind the You're tower. You're going to see them going for second, but... So... Cobras, Cobras are up by 11 points right now. Oh, my goodness. It's looking like to try and get in for another team fight. If I'm the bots, I think... I don't know if that would mean the, what I would want to do. But being down this much right now, you have to push for some initiative right here. Yeah, because they only have like six minutes now to actually do something before. Oh, and die. actually a double kill right there. Triple. And then, oh my, Ogeki is on the killing spree. They are, Somebody gets shut down. They are making sure that these co these bots know that the Cobras exist. Yeah, that like they're that showing is, like that this playoff oh, game is actually going to be more than a serious game. Yeah, and like knowing that, like the the bots. And the bots are a very good league team. Again, we've said the bots are probably, if not one of the best strategy teams in the league. And the fact that the Cobras are doing this right now is just, it's insane to look at right now. And I know like Billy's probably just playing around and everything. You know, it's last, last, last game of the night. No, so it's just like, you know, let's just have a little fun before, you know, we head on out. But... How is this going to look during playoff times? I know probably playoffs. It's going to be a whole different, a whole look, different look, but we don't know yet because... A whole different mentality, be probably. But who's to say that the Cobras won't have that same mentality? For sure. So, uh, we can hear them having fun <laughs> out there. They're having so much fun out there. They're, if, if I'm guessing this is a game both teams want really wanted to see, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to kill on La Bamba. I, I, he was going to cool down. And it seems like the Cobras are going to be up by 20. Oh, 20? My love's going off. Oh, my goodness. Five, by 15. Four, by three, 15. Two, one. Make that 20. <laughs> Make that 21. We might see this as 25. And they might go for it. They could get the Nexus, honestly. are playing the appropriate amount of time at all times. We're playing to win the game. He said we're playing to <laughs> win the game. We're playing the appropriate <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> That's, what oh I, that's like the one goodness. thing that I love about like when I, you, people are commentating and we're hearing like, like the, the player comms, comms yeah. or like you're just watching this stream as a viewer. You can hear these comms and you'll hear some of the jokes that teammates are making to each other yeah. while they're having fun. Yeah, definitely. It's just it's really funny. It looks Look like at Billy. Right Billy's smiling. He's having fun. Yeah, he's just. I'm there glad that, you know. I, I think he's glad that he just got to play all games that because I asked him if I wanted to lock in the game and they're like, yeah, we won't leak. <laughs> Yeah, this is a chance. Oh, finally, Strix going out right there. Um, I don't know if he has enough to buy another item, but just going in right there. I don't think the bots have gotten a single tower. They have not. Yeah. Not even done damage on a single tower. So, yeah, it's just like 
I would not expect this. You know, again, against a really strong league team like the bots, you know, we say all the time like how Billy and LeBron are really good at league. Man, we know that they're good at league, but we got to see what the others can bring to the table, you know? It can't just be Billy and LeBron. I know yeah. they joke about it a lot and be like, okay, if, well, if it's one of us, good, you know? And, like, look, you see it right here. Like, the Cobras have 50 points. <laughs> and the bots have 18. 51 <laughs> points. Like, that's insane. 21 points they have. As I keep changing. This is, like, it's insane. And it's showing. And you see <laughs> Your raging, raging is dancing. Dancing. Like, <laughs> like, it's just, they're just having fun. It's, it's fun to see, bro. It's fun to see. So we are th- two minutes away, technically, from that 15-minute mark where so, no one can die anymore after yeah, that. So basically, if they die, they have They're to stay out. dead. Yeah, yeah, they have to stay in their spawn, and they can't move for the rest of the game. And then so everybody else is dead. You imagine the yeah. bots just wait till 15 minutes and just change the whole game like that? That would be insane. I don't see even. I don't see the, it because they have the uh, super minions in. So the yeah. super minions are going to be going in. They're going to be damaging their towers while they're not focused on it. So they're going to be losing their nexus from that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And it's just like, like going in, double kill right here. From Ranger oh. right here. This has been a very good showing by the Cobras, actually. Showing that this game can win Strix. Strix did want to play this, so yeah, I'm look, glad they get the hit play. on this. Yep, the enemy turret. It's another one. Gonna get this other enemy turret. And then look. Then they're gonna go for the Nexus right here. Taking it up, Billy coming in to get him out of here. And for what is it? That's going to be a win for the Cobras. Win for the Cobras in league and a win for the Cobras in the game in general with a six point lead here and in the game 15 to nine. Very good showing by the Cobras. Shout out to them. They came out, they showed the rest of the league that they're they're a team that's serious. We all remember what happened against the LAX gods when they played. Yep. And it's, it's just showing it like the Cobras show that they repeat history again. They beat the bots again. The so bots have two, not been able. They're 2-0 on the bots. The bots have not been able to beat the Cobras They got the yet. bots phone number. Yeah. Like they have not been able to beat the bots yet. People last season said, hey, Billy wasn't there. You know, Billy wasn't there. You know, the game would have been different. Yeah. About but the whole, look here, Billy's yeah, here Billy now. Is here. And it's an even bigger differential than what it was the first game. So we are going to be joined here by the winners of today's game, which is going to be the Cobras and almost their entire fan base because they brought a lot of people today. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Always. Can you talk to the in the back? That wasn't the way. Were you talking about the grand? Let me that microphone. The grand is for Billy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shit. There's a lot of people in here. That boy is shit. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hey, what are those crazy? Hey. Yeah, we have the Cobras in here, we, the we winners of today. So we got the winners of today. Do you want to start with a question or you so, want to right. start? So let's just let me ask the questions and then we can do all the stuff. What you got for us, Alex? What you got for us? All right. Um, UFC. What happened? Yeah, that's Billy. What do you, what do you, what do you mean <laughs> okay. what happened? Okay. Fine, 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 fine. Okay. All right, UFC, you want to know? Yep. All right, UFC, I did my thing. I went to round three. How many people in the league can say that? Thank you. Okay. That's what Billy does for a living. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, F1. That was like three seconds. Are we going to go down the <laughs> list of to what games they lost? Did we, we come in here just to get hated? Next question. It's the third Next treatment. Question. You're getting the third treatment. It's one question, not like three. Okay. 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 But, okay. The question, but the real yeah, question. But the real question. Dead by daylight. Yes. Okay. No sound. Oh, uh, Where's Strix at? Shout out to that man. Where's Strix at? KOF. Tekken. Y'all, y'all just went off today. Here's the yeah. one thing that y'all I want to talk about. Today. So you guys, you know, have known this season, gone through, have had people say you guys are a shooter team, by the way. You know that people have said that. You came in yep. today. Let's see how many shooters you won. One, two, three, four, five. You guys won five. these shooters, right? Yeah. So yeah. as a non-shooting team, so how does it feel to win that? Going in as your final game, you won that game. Great. Uh, honest, Great. honest, and all seriousness, it feels really, really good because that's something we've been working on fixing throughout the entire season. So now that it's finally coming to fruition and everyone can see the hard work we've been putting through, it feels great. Okay. 
I got one question. Uh-huh. One question. And that's for the newest member of the Cobra team. Hey, Sam, Sam, Sam. How does it feel making the transition from the Bandits to the Cobras? I'm not gonna lie, it's very different. Um, I mean, <laughs> both both, both had their uh, both have their perks and disadvantages. And I do really like being here on the Cobras, especially after seeing today's gameplay. I'm really excited to keep going with this team and growing. All right. That, that's All right. That's so deep. basically, that's my teammate. you guys, yeah. if you want to think about this, you guys have played these this bots team twice now. One last season, one this season. You're two o two o. The bots have not them. been able to beat. Yeah, you were two o on them. Right. What's it like having uh, their number? Um, Does last season like Billy have... wasn't here. This season Billy was here, but Silver and Scans aren't here. So now the argument is: Are they? Are we the better fighting team, or they are? Because they're not here. But hey, we got y'all in the month. I love playing against Billy and the bots. They're a great team. Always. They keep th- they play straight up. And hey, I'm looking forward to running the playoffs. I can't trust nobody. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, six and four Cobras. You guys are ending off your season. I got one more thing to say. Go for it. Next time, I want a 1v1 against Billy in Rocket League. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) But all right, y'all. It's the Cobra signing out. Six and four, locked in the third. And we got to try and beat the bots in the month. See y'all later. All right. So because of that, we are going to be ending off the stream here. Tune back in tomorrow at 2 p.m. for the (laughs) Eclipse versus Phantoms. Six and four. 21. 21. Oh, my God.